Hey, chat. Good morning. How are you today? Good. Good. Oh, wow. Of course I care about you, you fucking weasel. No one cares about you more than me. You, you dirty little fucking slut. Dominic Pereiro, thanks for the 37-month resub. Fastest nutter in the West. What a fucking name. I want to see one day where we have fastest nutter in the West and Captain F Tard in the chat. That'll be a legendary game breaking day. The most legendary ever. You called? Oh, that's Olive's number. Hey, happy birthday, Coors King. 37. Look, look, you got a couple years on me. You got a decent amount of time on me. I need to make a little bit of money today. I'm fucking negative. I'm gonna be negative if I don't make fucking... 20 I gotta make 29 grand those fucking ha fuck owning that why would I bother owning a house the bills are that fucking expensive what's the point of owning a fucking house oh shit I need to protect myself now hold on Nice. I need to just get rid of this SIM card. It ain't gonna do anything but get me in trouble. Oh, I always expect someone to try and fuck me over when things are looking promising. So, ditching this piece of shit. Give it a nice little chuckaroo. Banana, na na na. Make sure I don't have anything illegal no more. Probably was a pain in the ass to get the keys sorted out to the old house, huh? I need to hurry up and I needed to hurry up and fucking transfer the house to Kevin though. Kevin sorted it out. Well, I am kind of pissed off that, like, I had, like, $20,000 on that floating counter. And then all my car parts got stolen. So it's like I lost 60 k worth of shit. I lost everything in my trash pile that actually had value to it. And people just took it. So I ain't gonna be keeping shit there anymore either. Subnautica man to you. That's what it is. Subnautica man. 
You wish you were as masculine as me. Jesus, Dennis Ledger, you're late to the party. Did I not lock my stuff up? No, I had the Kyle pile. I would... Bro, I would never wong anybody. Never in a million years. I don't... If I was to do something like that, there'd be two options I'd take, right? I'd... A, hold everybody up inside the house and make them pack shit up for me. Or B, I'd create a scavenger hunt with the loot. For them. I, I don't like that fucking sleep housewiping shit. I don't like that shit at all. I would never do that. Like, I'll go pretty far in RP against people, but I won't do things like that. Which is fine. The offline raid? Yeah, I've never was a fan of the offline raids, but you kind of have to do them, unfortunately. Wong did a wipe? Yeah, Wong wiped, uh, wiped that one house. And gave that whole, uh, dossier over to the, uh, to the cops about the besties and shit. I forgot to grab cigarettes. Can we get one good fit? What do you mean, one good fit? You don't like my fat Italian dad look? You don't like fucking fat Italian dad? How is no nicotine going? I gave up on that shit weeks ago. All's that shit, all's no nicotine did was make life worse. Yeah, they say once you get off nicotine, everything will be better. Nah, it's like a lot worse, so. How long until we get some Reddit hate watchers? Who gives a fuck? Honestly, fuck all those retards, man. Alright? Unhappy, boring cunts. Who gives a shit? That Reddit is awful. I ain't never seen a Reddit that bad. It, it has not been... It was never that... It, it was never that bad until like seven, eight months ago, I think. No posts get any upvotes anymore. It's all just shit comments, dude. The fucking communities over there are goddamn hemorrhaging and destroying the RP community as a whole. It's bad. Political reddits and RP reddits. Yeah, I never go near either one of those, boss. Mm. Nah, the dog shit vibes from GTA RP of, for the last few years have... I don't know if that's true, brother. I think that's all in your imagination. I think everybody gets I think everybody needs to move on from something every once in a while. I don't know why I'm getting the tow truck when I want to go break into people's shit instead. I'll just do both. I'll tow their car and I'll break into it. You dig? Thanks for the six months. Fuck no, nicotine. Nicotine is life. Hey, 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 I got like 52,000 YouTube subscribers now. I have better PR on YouTube now than I do on Reddit. It's crazy. That's, that's, it's nuts. 
Hey, I would not mind. Look, look, we are going to be playing some Roblox soon. I don't know when, but I am going to be doing some Roblox. All right. I just got to be careful. I don't get groomed by a by an adult. Isn't that the most? Isn't that the thing you got to watch out for the most? Like I'll be playing games, and then someone will try, like you know, to groom me. Damn, would you look at that shit. Owner of the black supercar, huh? Ah, let me go ahead and get this bitch clamped. Alright. Perfect. Alright, did we happen to leave the vehicle unlocked? I might have to catalog this. Fuck, I need some cigarettes. That is an easy fucking clamp, boys. Running for mayor? Why would I run? I never wanted to really run for mayor. Being mayor is just a bunch of people bitching to me OOC about their problems. I already dealt with that shit when I was sheriff. I'm ready to do something else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to do something else, man. Scared to lose? I'm never scared to lose anything, man. I don't give a fuck. You guys, you guys confuse me with this character too fucking much. Okay, shit, you caught me. All right, you caught me. <laughs> hey, who owns that black supercar out there? Dear Fred, try Bob's man. And then I'll, uh, I'll also take uh, two drinks. Two drinks? Hey, why don't you make that three drinks? drinks? Why don't you make that three drinks? Lucky, give him two drinks on the house. Three drinks, even. And three drinks. Yep. Appreciate you, boss. Yeah, no bother. How's there? the noodle shop going, content. Manx? Excellent, Fred. Excellent. That's what Yesterday, I like to hear. We had our we had our best day ever. Well, our best uh, 12 hours ever. We paid off all employee-related debt. All of it, except for mine and Kevin's, of course. You know, because the, the top dogs have to take the brunt of it. But all the employees... Uh, what off. do you mean? In, in American business, the top dogs take the most. There's a reason why the CEOs make 5,000% more than any of the employees. Yeah, well, maybe in the future we'll get there. But if I did that right now, I don't think we'd actually have any employees. So, you know, you got to roll the punches, they always say. I'm sure you could pay so, this guy minimum wage. I mean, what's minimum wage nowadays? Nah. Like 20 bucks an hour? Nah, nah. Lucky is, is worth far <laughs> Can more Can you replace him with he a machine? A I don't think so. And I wouldn't want to because I fuck with Lucky and his dog Omar. They've been I'm not comfort. sure. I mean, imagine this. Uh, they have really cool AI now and machines. Um, imagine a machine that you can talk to. I can imagine it. It'd be cool. Can I get like super hot girl machines? You know what I'm saying? And they can like, look, look, look. I'm, We're I'm not cool going down the rabbit hole. hole of sex robots today, Manx. Are you sure? Because that I I could do that. Like I could I could lay off. Now, you say that, that but then that. there's no going back from that uh, level of degeneracy. Once you start fucking robots, you're gonna become you some sex addicted like, some sex addicted man, and all you're gonna do is but, fuck robots. But I mean, at that point, what more would I need? You know what I'm saying? Like, that would be, that's like an ideal life, right? I don't know, maybe a, a, a connection? You goddamn savage? No, but all the connect, I, the connection. Yeah, you're right. I hate talking I, to people. Robot wouldn't be yeah, that bad. Exactly. And, and listen, I don't need to fix the robot, right? All the connections I have, I need to fix, and I can't fix them. You know what I'm saying? Now, they so have the some crazy thing, sex dolls. Them. I went down the sex doll, doll rabbit hole out of curiosity one time. And it is just you know, insane, the stuff that they make nowadays. They, they have, you know, Siri from The Witch of the Three. Now, I, like now, I, now look, I may models. have put something into a cart, but I never checked it out. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm too poor to check it out, Fred. So maybe one day, you know. To, well, once you CEO, get paid from this, once you get paid from this goddamn noodle shop, you'll be able to 
have a house filled with all types of robot sex dolls. Exactly. Life-size t -fuck. Admit what? I'm robot joking. Sex doll. Hell Jesus yeah. Christ. I can't lean into something. Boom. That's the dream. That's my American dream. That's why I'm here. I'd love to you, get a meal a... with orange chicken. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lucky, can you can you get this gentleman a meal, please? He, he needs it. He's a yeah. He's Thanks, Lucky. Right now. Oh, the orange chicken, my man. Yeah, this guy yeah. does listen. Well, wow, he's a good he guy. Does, yeah. He does. Mm. He is. He is. Lucky's a very good guy. Mm. Where's the the gang? I haven't seen the gang for the last few days. The gang? They've been around, but people have been napping early. Like, uh, I've spotted foreheads, future, love more. Uh, I see. Oh my God, they're now. they're napping early. Jesus yeah, Christ. It's... Yep. After the you know after the big the gold medal that everyone got, I think everyone was you know really very tired and it'll rest up for the next. Normally, when you get a gold medal, medal that you keep on pumping on. That's what you would think, but I mean, who am I to judge? You know what I'm saying? Who am I to judge? My, you know, my You're too smart. You're too smart, Manx. You're too goddamn smart. <laughs> I need to go get some cigarettes. I'm dying. Yep, that's it. I want to play the Jujutsu Kaisen Roblox game. Working here. That sounds harsh. I don't mean it like that. I mean like I want to go. Hey, is that your supercar outside? Uh, potentially. Why? It's illegally parked. I got it clamped. Uh, I wasn't okay. illegally parked, but thanks anyway. Well, it's clamped. Okay, no worries. Thank you. All right, I'll just tow it then. Okay, no worries. Thank you. Uh, you sure you don't want to just give me 300 bucks through this thing and no, I'll take it off? No, no we... Yeah, we got a meeting, sorry. Well, then, you get, then it's going to be twice as much to get it out of the impound. The car's worth like a mil and a half. We'll be all right. Thank you, uh, though. Well, then just pay the 300. Uh, no, we're, we're good. Just, we're just slide the 300 through the goddamn grate. We won't have any problems. We won't have any problems you're anyway. You're fine. You know what, mate? I think well, you you're going to have a problem because here. you're going to have to get your car out of the impound lot. That's, That's fine. fine. It's not a problem. Just slide the 300. Just make my life easier. Come on, just slide the 300. No, just, just go tow the car. Do you want to make I don't want to tow, tow it. Just slide me the 300. No, you should do your job and tow the car. I am doing my job by clamping it if and notifying you. You know car, what the problem is with you rich fucks? You rich fucks don't give a shit about anything. You rich fucks are all dead inside. I just need you to do You're all fucking dead inside. All you rich fucks are the same. You get everything you want and then nothing makes you happy in life anymore. You take everything for granted. You fucking disgust me. You disgust the shit out of me. You need to go tow the car, big man, all right? I am. You know what? I'm going to go dump it in the fucking ocean. No, tow it. All right, have fun. All right, have a good one, guys. So what's this meeting about? It's about fucking pizza, man. It's well, I mean, I, I like pizza. Maybe you should ask me some questions. Can I join your meeting? No, because you're not part of All right, you join. Me. Let me join your meeting. I won't tow the car. No, we want you to tow the car. I don't want to tow the car. I want to. I want to have be in the pizza meeting. Pay you to tow the car. I will pay you to tow the car. All right, how much will you pay me to tow the car? I'll pay you three hundred dollars to tow the car. All right, slide the money through. No, I'm not going to add a tip. Here, come on, slide it through. No, no, you know what? I'm going to open up the door. I'm not going to slide it through. I'm going I'm to be a gentleman, all right? All right. All right, brother, listen, you're doing God's work. You're, you know, you're, you're clamping illegally parked vehicles. You're doing a great job. I'm proud and, of you. And nice, and I'm attending pizza meetings. Happening. Here you go. Here's a 300 bucks. Thanks. Please go tow the car, all right? Gotcha. Have a great day, man. Let's have our meeting hey, about pizza. Up. Can I get, get out? No, 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 this can is... I get some pizza? <laughs> No, you can't get this. No, this isn't this, this Alexander River no, spot? This what guy, happened to this? No, he, he lost, it. Of he lost it like a month ago. Uh, okay, right. poor Rivers, huh? Yeah. Well, can yeah. I get you know a pizza what? before we, I go? We can take your order real quick. What, what would yeah. you like? I don't, I don't think we're going to buy it. Put a pizza in the oven for me, pizza bitch. I'm hungry. Yo, what the fuck? Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Hey, I'm being assaulted! I'm being assaulted by this guy with an undercut. You, you go. Come with me. You're going to prison. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Pizza time. 
Get wow. out! This is this is Leo. Right, what the oh, hell? Shit. I can't see. All right, hold on, hold on. The, the plan, see. the plan <laughs> was, the plan was to limbo oh, underneath the door. Oh yeah. Crazy, yeah. bro. Oh, the shit. old knees didn't help you, did they? Uh, hey, I'm 40. All right, get, get out of here. Get out of here. Just towed the car, man. Shit. That car's getting towed. That car's getting. Yeah, and when I come, I'll and, and I'm coming back, and I'm coming back for the pizza meeting after it. Okay. Oh, well, I'm glad you made it out there live. Should I, should I press charges? Are you pressing oh, charges for like entrapment or something? No, no, no. I want to punch him no. in the face again. Uh, the what the like, fuck? No, I'm trying to order food and you sh oh. I'm taking my business to the other pizza place. Yeah, off, you should man. go to Big Dog Noodle. This pizza shop really fell off. I remember when Alexander Rivers owned that place. What the fuck? What the fuck do British guys know about pizza anyway? All they do is they eat beans on toast. There's nothing wrong with beans on toast, bitch. Bro, you guys all eat your food the same way. It's just like your baked potato just has like a little bit of salt. Have you ever seen those fucking, those videos where it's like British people trying Popeyes for the first time? Imagine thinking Popeyes is the greatest meal you ever had. Jesus Christ, you guys uh, are bland. Not that fine, you goddamn, yeah, you're, you're fla your, your flavor you buds, about? your Popeyes flavor buds are fucking bland as shit. The, the UK Popeyes is superior to the American one. I said it. The, the UK Popeyes, the UK finished. doesn't even know how to make both. proper fried ch I'm out of here. You guys are disgusting. Hey, make sure you throw that car. I paid for that, right? I, I am towing it. Good, thank you. I am. This thing's going in the fucking ocean. Alright, honestly, Popeyes is way better than KFC. But, like, when you go to, like, a real fried chicken place, it's like fucking going, dying and going to heaven. Huh. Sonoma, thanks for the 33 months. I appreciate that. That shit's gonna blow. What do you think this car is, your mom? <laughs> yeah, what do you think this car is, your fucking mom? It's because it's on the curb. Why does this car clip into the ground like that? I'm gonna die. Huh. I know how to fix this. For what? I got a gun. I'll just shoot them first, man.
Hello? I'm awake early. Why are you calling me and telling me that? Shouldn't you be fucking, I don't know, being a well, yeah, for, for the votes? besties, for the besties. You told they, me to wake up early asleep. for the besties. They're all asleep, you. every single every single one. Fuck! Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah, every single one of them is asleep, man. They're all, I, I ain't seen them in two days. I woke up early. Fuck! Hey, okay, yeah, no, it's fine. Yep, that's good, Brad, yep. What do you All mean? Right, um, then you got plenty. Go kick. You got plenty of other campaigning you can do. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you better who hope help Neo me out with... get to him first. Nah, the best. The, if if the best is the way I think they are, I, I think I think you could even convince them for me. Yeah, I probably could. You're gonna help me, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna help you. Holy fuck, that was the most no I've ever heard in my life. Also, can you help me with the tow union? You're you're the tow guy, aren't you? People love you in that tow yard, huh? No, no, no. Actually, it's the opposite. They hate me. Jesus Christ. They call me the tow barbarian. They say yeah, the way I do shit is unethical and uncouth. What's wrong with that? You get shit done, you get results. That I do. That I really do. So what what brings you out of bed so early? What a mistake that was. I've been uh I got 2 hours of sleep last night. I woke up last night, campaigned. Uh woke up extra early this morning campaigning. And uh yeah, yeah I got a meeting with the Black Lotus. It's OTT's gang. Oh, hey, OTT's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He already said he's going to vote for me, but I want to still talk to his gang. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I would, I would bet, I would bet a million dollars he hates Nino Chavez. Why? What happened with him and Nino? I don't. I don't I'm just taking, making a guess. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, well, what are you up to, Fred? All right, now I'm trying to figure this bullshit out. I got to one sec. Give me one second. Okay. Trying to make money. I'm basically I'm towing cars, but in retro in, in actuality, I'm breaking into them. What? what? The fuck do you mean, Fred? Oh man, I've broken into so many goddamn cars. I've stole so much shit. Stole like over a hundred and fifty thousand dollars in shit out of people's cars. You'd be shocked at what people leave in their cars. Hey, how do you feel about Tyler Peters? Yeah, I like him. You know, can you imagine him as chief of police? Oh, uh, yeah, I could probably. Oh! Ah! The fuck's the matter with you, asshole? You call me an <laughs> asshole just because I'm thinking about something. I didn't do it on purpose, but uh. All that right. It was a good. Good kick. Okay. God Sorry. damn. Sorry. Oh, oh, you want to see something cool? Yeah, sure. Hey, check this out. Here, check this out. I'm gonna need you to put your hands up right now. Oh yeah, rob really that guy. Rap. Put your hands up. Wait, is that Arrow? Yes. Sorry, Arrow. Yeah, you're, that's one of your guys, man. What are you no, robbing him for? Know. I didn't know. I, see, I knew that was Arrowhead. That's because he's one of my guys. Oh my. Arrowhead, you're betraying us? No, betraying I'm just, you me and him are just friends. Oh, yeah, oh, by okay. the way, Kyle, I've got two more clamps. Do you want me to, to run them by you somewhere? Oh, he's got crap. Um, you don't have to right now. Okay, I got you. I appreciate it. Easy, easy. Take care, dude. Bye. I can't, there's something wrong with my. All right, so uh, you're campaigning. Yeah. How's that whole I thing guess. going? I don't know. Today's been okay. Last night was pretty good. Just I just missed sleep. You don't need sleep. Yes, I do, man. No, you don't. You say that because you Alexander have no. Did Alexander the Great need sleep? That guy was busy fucking anything that walked. Yeah, Jared Leto. What? 
<laughs> no, you never saw the movie. No, I don't like Jared Leto, so I don't watch any of his movies. What do you mean Jared Leto can act when he's not... The Joker? That was a horrible Joker. God, he's and then he used he was so egotistical about it, swore it was the best Joker ever. I hate that motherfucker ever since then. Did he really think that? Did he really think that Joker was the best Joker? That Joker was the most cringe thing ever. He swore it was the best. You know what's even worse? I knew people that used to text me going that they thought they were like gang, 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 you know, and they're like, oh man, this type of Joker represents me. And I was like, you're cringe. That yeah, was yeah. a real thing. The Joker should always have perfect skin and a fucking face tattoos. Yeah, it sounds like the perfect yeah. Joker to me. And his smile should totally be from his fucking hand tattoo. Man, that's so cool. Yeah, I mean... And have grills. Yeah, yeah. How the fuck does he have grills? I don't know. I wasn't a fan of that. I walked out of that movie. Fuck that movie. Fuck that movie. God damn it, this shit pisses me off. I'm about to piss some people off by clamping their car. Okay, all right. Well, if we want to hang out, let me know. Hey, what's going on, ladies? You're illegally parked. I'm going to have to clamp it. It's 300 bucks. Hey, you look like you can afford it. How you doing? How's your day? I don't know. I mean, you... if you want to talk about illegal parking, you're also not parked on the curb and you're parked in the middle of the road blocking traffic. Ah, uh, call the cops, lady. Maybe you should pay me $300. Nah. You cancel it out and it call it even. Uh, I'm not canceling anything. Once I get my $300, I'll get that clamp off you. Here you go, what, no tip? What do you think? What, do you, what no, no goddamn tip? With just 300? Nothing on top? I'll take a hot dog. I would have preferred to drink, but... Uh, that's all I had on there. Hey, and just so you know there, lady, I'm the parking law around here. I'll park wherever the fuck I want. Hey, 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 what fashion police? You're wearing a neon vest, you nerd. Nice vest, nerd. Just 17,000 more dollars to go. Yeah, I know, right? I need cigarettes. Hello? Cashier quit. I do love my tow truck. Yeah, I should start charging more, but you can't because of how much the impound is. Damn, my tow truck hauls. Vintage 93 TV totally kicked the bucket. No, it was classic, man. A Woody. 
A burger costs oh, more than you. clamp removal. That's the type of that's the type of economy we we live in, Chet. You want to know something? I don't think there's any. Uh, it's kind of normal. If forehead and them have been ending early a lot, it seems like. But then again, forehead does stream every day. I can't wait to fucking arrest the cops. I think a lot of people are burned out. Me, I kind of feel like gang stuff sometimes. Just, uh, I don't know, it's hard, it's hard for me to get into a little bit. I like it, though. It sometimes it's a little hard for me to get into. Yeah, I mean, the gang needs more people. Go rob a cop. Yeah, 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 I'll go rob a cop just for you. J. Jute. All right, how's that sound, uh, JJ? I'll go do that just for you, man. Hey, did you guys know if everybody in here gets one sub right now? It's a lot extra money now because of that extra dollar. You get an extra 70 bucks every 100 subs now. That's pretty neat. That's pretty fucking cool. I can't afford that dollar. You know what? That's all right. Get your life together. And then just remember who had faith in you. Me. Even though I didn't say it. Just remember it was me that had faith in you. Happy Pappy, thanks for the 17 months. I do appreciate that, thank you. There's a Lana at. I'll be gifting subs when I'm rich. Well, I hope you become fucking rich then. Have you thought about maybe becoming a jewel thief? Or do you have any talent? Maybe you could become a famous artist. Or maybe you could become a famous autist. Oh, Peter's uh, calling me, just reminded me. I'm gonna hide that sim so nothing can come back to me. This is a nice little spot no one goes to. All I do is just put it here. And bam. I can remember it being there. What location uh, I want you six, got please. for me? Uh, Senior Buns, we got car clamped right now, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Guy looks like he's got some money. I'm not insinuating that you should uh, exploit him because that's against the law. Hey, that's uh, all I but... do is exploit them. Okay, come on down here. I gotta, I'm got ordering your food right now. I don't want to be rude. Okay, all right, all right. I'm, I'm good. What car is it? Uh, oh, thank you. Uh, you know what, guys? You guys are okay. You guys have a good day. Uh, is it the pizza guys? No, no, I don't know. It's like a four-door, uh...
it's a four door. Uh... What the fuck? Uh, I don't know. The four door. Black what car. the fuck? I don't know. All right, I'll be I able know to what spot it. Is. it. Hey, I got a uh, Pred down here. He's coming down to tow the car. Gotcha. Which one is it? I'm here. Uh. uh I out front. What do you mean you got to change uniform? We got to stay. I gotta you want you want clamped it? This one, yeah, Pred. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Dominic Toretti, and that's. Uh, hey, can you move your fucking shitty cop car? What? So I can fucking tow it, you goddamn moron. It's oh, cops shit. like you that make everyone think the cops are fucking stupid, idiot. Well, Move forward a little stupid, bit more. So... Shit, my bad. Jesus. Wait. Got my eyes on you. you. Better. Somebody better. Cause... Hey, how you doing, sir? You know, I, I'm doing better. They told my fucking car, so... Hey, oh, yeah, shit. look, they're, yeah, they're having me do it. It's great. Love it. Hey, thanks. Uh, let me go ahead and get it up. It's a nice car you got. Why are they towing you? Now, let me see something. All right, hey, look, you passed me 500 bucks. All right, I'll put it down. Um, can you even unclamp it? Yeah, they unclamped it. Oh, did they? Yeah, what you did? Why just did, did slap me with the I fucking money? I dropped it. All right, I dropped it. I got straight for hands. You know, I just had it. Fucking... I had a lot of rice with the. Yeah, I don't work for the cops. Just... They work for me. You're a man of the people. That's a man I can respect. Yep, yep. I just gotta make a little bit of money. I mean, 500 bucks ain't much. I mean, thanks for paying for my lunch. I have this as well. I got you covered. Look. Hey! This, that's a leaderboard size fish. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I don't want a. I don't want a fucking that's fish. That's just for you. That's I, just for I, you. I, it's my gift. <clears throat> Why well, yeah, you fucking don't you fucking told uh, fucking fish in my Hey, car. listen, I'm don't don't you call me a dodgy cunt, all right? I I don't yeah, want your goddamn you fish. Bastard. Well, I respect you for doing the service, anyways. Hey, no problem. Fish in my car. Uh, you, yeah, you have a good one, Mickey. Hey CTH, you know you don't got ain't got enough power to push this. What the fuck? What the hell? My tow truck reigns supreme! How's campaigning going? Um... I already told you. Yeah, I mean, but are you doing it? Yeah, uh, OTT's not awake yet. There's plenty I of other people them. to talk to. Yeah, yeah, I was just heading over to sanitation right now. Yeah, all right, look, yeah, can you distract them while I break into their cars? Sure. They got a lot of shit in those cars. I don't give a fuck. Or how about you, all right, you talk to them and I'll throw rocks at their cars from the hill and then you can look like a hero. Dude, are rocks still that good? I can't blow shit up with rocks anymore. I blew shit up with rocks the other day. Did you? Yeah, I always carry a handful. Okay, yep, they're still good. They're still good. Yeah, I love my That's rocks. Good. Yeah, I love rocks. They're great. Who do you think I should go talk to? People? Well, yes, besides people. Because animals? Specific... Animals that are capable of intelligence thought? Maybe like dolphins or something? Have you thought Dol about trying to secure the dolphin vote? 
Of course, the Miami Dolphins are going to vote for me. You got the support of the Miami Dolphins? Yeah. Duh, even, I'm their number one fan. I don't even... I don't even know one of them. I don't even know one player for the Miami Dolphins. Tua Tagovailoa, the best quarterback of all time. Tyreek Hill, the best wide receiver. How many championships has he won? Hey, how many championship is a team sport? How many champions? Hey, how many championships have the Dolphins won? What? Two. Two. I mean, but like in the in the recent decades, though. Matter. They still won the Jets. They had, had Dan Marino, who was one of the greatest quarterbacks ever, and they never won a Super Bowl. That Marino, says a lot about Marino's them. Dog shit. He's overrated dog shit. No, he wasn't. He was great. Tony Montana was way better. Yeah, Tony Montana. Uh, Tony not Montana. Tony. What's his name? Not Tony Montana. His name's not fuck fucking name Tony. It's Joe. It's Joe, Joe. Montana. Yeah, Joe. <laughs> not Tony yeah. Montana. Listen, motherfucker. I just woke up. Give me a break. Fucking Tony Montana. Yeah, Joe Montana. He's way that, that Cuban than side of you is really coming out today. Yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. Is that what you're yeah. gonna be like, Tony Montana, when you're in fucking office? Setting up cameras all around the courthouse, doing blow? Maybe. Banging a blonde woman that's a, a drug addict? Banging a blonde, Maybe. skinny drug addict? Maybe. Uh, I can see that. I can see that working out for you. No, it wouldn't. I'd get impeached in a week. No, no, no. You wouldn't get impeached. You'd be fine. Uh, I'm going to get impeached within a week regardless because there's going to be 50 people with a lot of money that are angry that I won and they're just going to fucking impeach me. How are they going to do that? That's a law. You just have to pay 200k and get 50 signatures and you can impeach anybody. That's a law? Yeah. What do you mean that? That doesn't sound like a law. Yeah, it's a law. What's that law called? Uh, uh, it's literally like, on it is like impeachment. It's like literally on the law. <laughs> I think you need to turn your back on Andy Jones and start running on in Sandy Shores and preemptively nah. pay the 200k and get the 200 signatures in advance. And then when nah. they're and then when they have Andy Jones's inauguration, then you can impeach what? her before she can even walk into what office. What happened then you to the bread? What happened to the Pred that's like, you're going to beat Nino Chavez. Don't be a pussy, CTH. What the fuck? Well, now I thought it's... I thought you were going to beat Nino Chavez until I until I went to his rally. Yeah, did you go to his rally at 6 p.m. Eastern when there was only three people that showed up? Why don't you do rallies? Because, uh, again, I think they're overrated shit. No, that's do the carnival. Ego. Do the carnival and have your rally there. I wish I wanted to do the carnival. Everybody that helped me do the carnival is feeling purple now. Why? They're they're not happy here anymore. Why? It's not for us anymore, people like us. I think it is. I think everybody's just burned out. That's what I was saying, but you know, there's a, I'm not gonna fight about it. You know, it's just let them do whatever the fuck they want. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Yeah, I guess that's how it goes sometimes. Yeah, just gotta keep your chin up and keep moving, you know? You got lockpicks? Uh, no, but I could probably find you one if you really need it. Hmm, hold on. Ah, eh, fuck it, no one's, no one's around. Oh shit, I know who might have some lockpicks for me. I can find someone if you need it. How many do you need? Hi, many? Kyle. Hey, January. How you doing? How's your morning going? Good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. I was wondering, do you have any lock picks? I do not. Do you have any kittens that may have may have some lock picks? Um, I do not. <laughs> you don't have a lock pick kitten. I don't. I don't know. Are you okay? You sound sick. I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> You're tired? So tired? You sound awful. I'm going to be honest. You sound Okay, you sound, fuck you, you Kyle. Sound, you fuck sound you. really fucked up right oh, now. Oh, actually, I, I do have a lockpick. Oh, mm. can I have it? Do I still sound awful? You sound like the most beautiful woman in the world to me. 
come to the tavern uh, across from Liquid Library. <laughs> All right. Bye. See you soon. Bye. Water. 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 All for one lock pick? I need it. Stage name, thanks for the gift sub. I do appreciate <laughs> What? What the fuck just happened? What? What the fuck was that? That motherfucker did send it. Holy shit. Hey, how's my favorite drug dealer doing? Good. How's my favorite lawyer doing? I'm not a lawyer. I haven't been for a long time, but you can call me your favorite man. <clears throat> I just you might doing? if you give me some money. Um, hey, guess what? I'm so goddamn broke. That's such a nick. That's such a nick. Oh my god. It's an ick nick. being broke? I can't help my financial status. What? <laughs> it's such a nick. Like, what have you been doing? Like, what are you up to if you're so broke? Like, what do you do? <laughs> well, I made a lot of money. It's just my, my friends took most of it. Oh, you give it to your friends, not I didn't girls. give it to them. I, I, well, if, if I would give it to, well, if... Mm -hmm. How are you and Alana? Oh, we're pretty good. She's going to be pissed off when I tell her I lost uh, 40k of her money. Oh, my God. Yeah, can you not tell her? I got I to gotta think of a way to break the ice to her. Yeah, all right. So what you could do when you're selling drugs for a bit while you wake up, huh? Yeah. Well, no, I, I have to go to a meeting right now. A meeting? Yep. My uh, gang meeting. Bye. Oh, my God. Just skip it. Let's go make some money. Hydra. Uh, Hydra. Uh, okay. Hydra. Uh, Hydra on top. I thought you were going to be a bestie. Besties fumbled me. I, I just don't think you had any patience. We're, we're way cooler me. than Hydra. We're way cooler than them. We really are. We really are. Hydra on... Uh, wait, wait, what? No. Yeah, I mean, we're, <laughs> thanks wait, for agreeing like, with wait, me. Wait, shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah, you were, yeah, get your tired ass out of here. And then I just crashed. And then I, and then I just crashed. I don't know why I'm crashing every once in a while. Easy brainwash. Gatekeep, gaslight, girl boss. You know how it goes, boys. For some reason, it's taken forever for this fucking crash thing to go away. Besties fumbling recruits. I know. I know. I think, I think uh, January would have been a great pickup. But there is the kitten issue. You know? The kitten the kitten quarry, as they call it. Besties only fumbled OTT. I I'm gonna be honest, Besties fumbled OTT and January. Those are two people that I I I led I'd like to do more stuff with. Maybe I kind of fumbled OTT, but I tried bringing it up a couple times and no one seemed to care. It feels like the besties is like, as, uh, we have no presence past like three hours into my stream. When we do, it's great though. I guess when you have something, it doesn't matter. I mean, I mean, it's it's great regardless. But need OP back? Yeah, hanging out with OP was fun. He gets so much shit for no reason. Yeah, I've always liked OTT. 
I'm biased because I've known him for like what five and a half years. Recruiting people. Recruiting people. Kitten stuff is cringe. You guys think fucking everything's cringe. You guys think everything's cringe. Juggle the marshal and gang? I think me being a marshal is huge for the gang. I'm not gonna be overly corrupt though. Hey, how you doing, Cam? Is that really a law? 200 signatures? You can get any mayor impeached? It goes to court. Oh! It goes to court. Gang meetings. Cringe. Cringe! Wait, what is that? One hundred followers and one corrupt judge? Um, I would assume there has to be a reason to impeach them. You can't just impeach someone because they're doing a bad job because you don't like them. There has to be, like, legal precedences as to why you're impeaching them. Where is everybody right now? Marshals go after everybody. Probably selling weed, slanging that shit. was not locked in. Owns that, I don't know. Yeah, they got a fire extinguisher.
Point Blake, thanks for the 15 months. I appreciate that. Empty piece of trash. At least I got a crowbar. Uh, fucking crowbar is broken, too. Steal the turbo? I don't want to steal the turbo. Fuck's Reed's number. Reed Dankleaf. I got a plan that'll help CTH. Bum, 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 bum. Give me his number. With library. Hey, that guy's getting pulled up. They're doing a traffic stop. Oh, lemon list. Reed, I'm uh, I'm calling you because I'm worried about CTH. Oh, what do you mean? What's going it's, on? He just seems like he's down in the dumps, doesn't he? he? Seems like he's already defeated. Like he's a husk of him. Like he's a husk of a man. Well, yeah, like he knows he's gonna lose, but he doesn't want to admit it. Oh, he he's right in front of me now. He's he's right in front. He's chasing my he, he's chasing my tow he, truck. He's fighting a losing battle, man. He's like he's like someone with mesothelioma. Hey, hey CTH, how you doing? Ah! Bitch, don't you fuck with me again? I'm worried. I'm I'm worried about him. I'm worried about him, what? Reed. What should we do? I think we need to prove. We need to. What we need to do is we need to do something that elevates him. Hmm. You know what'll elevate him? What? Kidnapping him and holding him for ransom. Making sure the whole city knows. CTH! Cuban Tom Hanks! Is Valdo Pingafria? He's running for mayor! <laughs> what happens or, when no one pays the ransom? <laughs> well, that's when we'll pretend somebody paid the ransom. Okay, I'm down. Yeah, like we pretend somebody paid the ransom. Like, like we can start putting up posters. Have you seen Osvaldo Penga Free, a future mayor? He was allegedly Where? he was kidnapped by Nino Chavez. <laughs> no. No. Yeah, Nino Chavez and his goons kidnapped CTH. Uh, uh, bruh, fucking. CTH wants nothing to do with Nino. He had a phone call with him yesterday, and he was just so pissed off afterwards just having to what talk happened? to him. <laughs> Nino just fucking yells at him like he's a fucking child, and it just pisses him off so much. <laughs> it, it's, it, it's really bad. That man wants nothing to do with Nino. He hates Nino. I thought, he I hates was, Nino. 
so did that change? So now he hates Nina. Hold on. I think he did. Wait, hold on. Hey! Hey, CTH! Hey, CTH, come here! Or we're promoting you? What the fuck? Hey, CTH, meet me in the secret spot underneath the goddamn construction site. Hey. He's actually talking to cops. Can you believe that? Oh, he's campaigning. He's got to get the cop vote. Yeah, I don't know. By the looks of things, I don't think he's going to... I don't know if he's capable of getting that cop vote. Uh, I think he is. I think he is. I think... I... 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 I think he needs to start name dropping Andy Jones more. That uh, he's running with her. Yeah, but then, see, I don't know if that's a good idea. You know, now what I told him he should do, I told him he should just betray Andy and become mayor of Sandy Shores. He wouldn't win. He would not win. You don't think he, he could would beat lose Andy against Jones? No, not not a chance. What about not Nino? A chance you in think hell. Nino could beat Andy Jones? Nope. Andy Jones is unbeatable uh, political power. People love Survivor. What the, what the hell does Survivor have to do with Andy Jones? That show's been around since I was a child. Yeah, yeah, but Andy Jones brought it to Los Santos, and everyone loves it. Oh, well, Fox is not going to be happy to hear this. Yeah, yeah, Je Jeff, Jeff Probst is going to be pissed. <laughs> yeah, Jeff... Jeff Probst is going to be fucking really pissed off about this whole thing. <laughs> He's going to smack a bitch. He might. He just fucking might. Uh, fuck. So what do we do about CTH? I don't know. We got to think of something because I'm watching him. He just has his car parked in the opposite lane of travel. While he's There's literally a fucking nightclub having a grand opening right now, and he's not there campaigning. Oh, shit. Would you, all right, maybe you need to become his manager and try and get him a paid appearance at that nightclub. Well, the people organizing it, we kind of just robbed their house, so... Eh. Oh, well, tell them that you'll rob them again if they don't pay CTH to go to their nightclub. Go rob their... Go shoot up their nightclub. Go rob it. Okay. You're going to do that? You're going to go rob the nightclub? <laughs> Maybe. Where's it at? Uh, I have no idea. Hey, hey, Nori, where's that nightclub thing? Nori, hey, Mac, where's the nightclub thing? God, you guys are useless. Oh, it's in Vespucci, son? Okay. Vespucci, son. No, 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 I was talking to my son. No. Yeah, I, have you met my son? I didn't know you had a kid. Yeah, I have a biological oh, he son. He just got ran over by a car. He, he's going to lose the election, man. He, he's he, he's already thrown in the towel. Well, yeah. how can we help? How can, I mean, it's, it pains me to see him this defeated. Yeah. I you should take a look at him right now. He's falling apart. His he just got hit by a car. He's got a broken leg. He's standing. I in the I, middle I of the heard street. he's been abusing painkillers. He's been abusing painkillers. Yeah, I've seen him in the sewer, and he he's been he's he, he's been asking people for painkillers nonstop. It's crazy. Good God. He's also apparently been gambling. You've been gambling. Easy. Easy. Okay, you got Frank's vote. Frank? The guy that works. Wow, he got he got yeah, Frank's no, vote. Got vote. Yeah, you got Frank Yippee. the missile's vote. Oh. Yeah, that guy's awesome. Hey, we got a nightclub we gotta go to CTH so that you can uh, tell everybody about yourself. I already went there. Oh it's, it's a Nino event. He said he already went there, it's a wait, no, they just opened it. They just opened one up. I drove yeah, by yeah, yeah. The guy that, it just the guy opened at a lot like, like 15 minutes ago. Nino guy. I'm not apparently, going apparently that. it's a Nino event. Wait, it's a Nino event? Yeah, apparently it's a Nino event. Okay, well, why can't he show up there anyways? I told him to show up there and cause a scene, but he doesn't want to. He said he wants to do things uh, his way. My fucking way is working. You see that cop? Doors unlock, bozos. Like, I, hope, I really hope he wins. What'd you say, Reed? He's telling me about how his ways work, and I don't think it is. What were you saying, Reed? Nah, I, I, he, like, you Nino's doing all this campaigning. Work. He refuses to campaign 
uh, anywhere at the same time Nino is because he hates Nino's guts. Do you, do you hate Nino's guts, CTH? Do I what? Do you hate his guts? No, I just think he's an asshole, man. And well, I Reed's I offering to shoot him for you at this club event. No, I'm not no, offering to shoot Nino. Nino's you want, want him to do it? Club All right, hey, Reed, you got a green light on that. Go ahead and shoot Nino at the event. <laughs> I, I already have someone who's willing to do that if CTH actually signs off on it. CTH, you know, Reed has someone ready to shoot Nino if you if you sign off on it. No one will ever find out. No. Have you ever heard of John Murder? Bitch is like a little child when he, when when something happens he doesn't like. I'm so over him calling me. John Murder is like the new Mike Block. John He'll do anything. The new Mike Block. He'll do anything. Yeah, he found, he I, I asked him yesterday if, if he likes political assassinations, and he said it's one of his hobbies. Yeah, you're right. CTH hates this motherfucker, Nino Chavez. Well, I'm going to go check out this nightclub and event. All right, if you need anything, Pratt, call me. Uh, also, is Forehead around? Uh, No, I ain't seen him. God damn that bitch. He needs to wake up. We need to have a meeting. All right. <laughs> There's something wrong with CTH. He's, if you notice how CTH is sounding more like Cuban Kermit the Frog every day. <laughs> Does he really? I've never noticed that. Because my throat hurts when I do it the other way. He says I've his throat. Oh, this. he says his throat's hurt. He said he's sucking too much dick. Okay. Oh, lucky. I've got the offset problem. My throat's bored. Uh, your, your your tonsils are. No one's knocking them around. Reed, sorry. To yeah, hear that. no one's knocking them around, man. Well, I'm gonna head to that Nino rally, and I'm gonna try and All convince right. CTH to attend it. Uh, All right, I'm going to talk to McGregor and try and clear my board throat. You have a good one. All right, bye. <laughs> don't worry, CTH. I believe in you. No, you don't. You yes, I do. I, CTH, I believe in you. Stop ramming me. Help! I'm faster than you. Hey, CTH, where's this uh, nightclub at? Hey, CTH, where's this nightclub at? You broke my car. You broke your car. Where? Vespucci. What, where on Vespucci? It's a long road. I don't know. It's just on Vespucci by the beach. Oh, it's oh, at Vespucci. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, Bobby, how you doing? You know, I just just surviving by election. They denied my application, Fred. So you know, I've been running for mayor. You know, just. What do you mean they denied your application for mayor? Uh, they denied you? No, no, they, no, no, they denied my police application. So now I'm running for mayor because I'm better than the goddamn police force. Well, how are you going to be mayor? Hey, where's that nightclub at? Where? Speak up. It's right here, bro. All right. Where you at, Brent? I got to show you my new hog I bought. I'm down at this nightclub thing that Nino's doing. Where's it at? Bahama Mamas? I can send you a ping. What's your number? It's, uh... So you're running for Marin Sandy, right? Here you got your competition's Andy Jones. Apparently no one can beat her. Uh, well, that's... Well, nobody can beat her. Well, I don't gotta beat her if she has a goddamn felony, do I, Prit? You ever thought about it like that? Uh, no, I, I never have thought about it. You know, it's a good idea. Hey, how you doing? Hey, 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 hey sir, no, co hey, hey, no cars allowed beyond this point. I'm Wait, what do you mean no car? Head. I thought this is where you, is this not hey, the parking? All uh, right, cross you, brother, right cross you. I'm in a tow truck, though. Can I, I can't park over there. There's not enough space. There's some more on the right as well. There's some more on the right as well. Yeah, this is like, can I just park yeah. it here? 
Hey, hey you can park on the right, but there's no parking guy. on this one, brother. All right, I'm attending the event. I was just thought I could okay, park well, here. Don't, don't, don't put taking up like three or four parking spaces, okay? I'm not, well, uh, I mean, I'm in a tow truck. It's hard for me not to take up parking okay. spaces, Listen, man. That's your problem, okay? Well, where do I take the vehicle to then? On the right, bro. On the right, where? That's a red curb. Right there. You see that fucking parking spot over there? Yeah, over there. Parking over there. See? I don't oh, see it. There. Oh, I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh! This is my Republican hog, Brad. Oh, that's a nice hog you got. You already showed it to me, man. Bobby, you already showed this to me. Showed this to me a week ago. I regret buying it. It cost ninety thousand dollars. Well, you sold your car that for half the money that you paid for it too. I mean, I, uh, I joined a gang, by the way, Marabunta Grande. There's like one person in it, my OG. Why'd you join a gang? Uh, you know, I just I just put my applications everywhere. Is this, is this the nightclub? No, this isn't the nightclubs across the street where the guy's standing, you dipshit. Come on, Bobby. You ever, let's go clubbing. Hey, listen, all right, so it's important to know this. When you go clubbing, it's not really about dancing. You just let them grind on your dick. You just kind of stand bread, there and gyrate a little bit. They the silver fox, you know that, bread. Killed black man with the 39 months and... Tell, uh, uh, Falasi, thanks for the three months. Fucking kiss me, man. So cool. Hey, thanks for coming, guys. Come on through, come on through. Hey, is admission hey, free? He does look like my, Mike Pence. Fred, Fred, this is my Hefe. Oh, Your Hefe oh, looks like he's falling apart, man. I ain't falling apart. We talking shit, you motherfucker. I'm not talking shit. It's you just don't OG, look good, Fred. man. You don't look good. Give me a cigarette. No, I look better than you, and I'm not gonna give you a cigarette unless you pay give me, me a for cigarette. it. Come on, I'll give you money. All right, give me money then. No, you cigarette is first. All right, I'll give don't you a worry. cigarette. Don't worry, my hefe, yeah, I got yeah. you. Here's eighty-four dollars. That's my gang tag. Yo. Oh, there you See? go. Here's your, my here's your cigarette. Yours. Yeah, all right, all right, bro, chill, man. <laughs> you fucking bitch. Motherfucker! Hey! I'm being attacked! I'm being attacked! Yeah, no fight on the nightclub. I'll say to go ahead. Hefe! I have I'm I I'm sorry, Hefe! Go easy on my OG, Brad! Nah, I gotta shoot him. That's my OG, Brad! Nah, I got. I gotta go. Up, I gotta go up there and shoot your OG, man. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure, my OG will understand. He knows that I'm a politician. I'm not going up there. He's got a trap. <laughs> Come on, Bobby. We gotta go clubbing. Fuck you, Carson. Thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for coming. Come on I'm through. Kidding. All right, coming on through. Hey, what's the uh, girl to guy ratio here tonight? There's more guys. Bro, there's I got a Cialis just for this, Fred. Hold up, isn't Cialis the dick pills? Yeah, Cialis is a dick pill, man. I brought my Cialis. You want one, Fred? I don't. I don't want to be walking around a club with a hard on. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I don't know Excellent. where the fuck you think you're going. How much? You're not going in here. Why not? I'm here for we're the rally. Guys, we're paying customers. We're civilians. Come on, I mean, let it's, us in. It's it's free to get in here, but listen, Kyle is not getting in here. Well, what did I do? Why is Kyle getting in here? You just nailed me. I didn't see you. I'm in a big ass truck. You shouldn't be standing I around. Didn't see you. You sh I, how did you see you? Just a big Holy misunderstanding. Shit. You're like five four, man. How the fuck was I supposed to, to see help? you when I was in that tow truck? <laughs> <laughs> fuck off. Do you guys have any weapons on you guys? Yeah, we got guns. You gotta yeah, put them up. You're gonna have to put those away. Yeah. Where do I put them? In your car or whatever. Or, I mean, Why would I? Someone's just gonna break in there and steal it. I mean, we can hold you know, on. What, what if I give you my? What if I hand you safe. my magazines? 
No, no, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna, no. I'm Bro, gonna we're gonna give you your gun back, bro. I mean, this is the honest request. It's not, we ain't trying to fucking run your shit. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. All right, I trust you, you guys enough. You Here's put, my you gun. Put them, you, can, you put them away or you can give them to us. It's, there you, know, you go, Santi. Hold on to that for me. Don't get right. it confused with anyone else's. I don't got a gun. I got you. Oh. I thought you, you said you're a legal gun owner. owner like I am a legal yeah, gun I'm owner, right. but I know no, how no, you no, guys no. might try and fuck me. No, no bro. You're going to get your shit back 100%, bro. bro. No, I, I don't have a goddamn gun. I was lying. He's got a gun, man. He's got a gun. He's a, no, he's I, a Republican. No, I don't have a gun. Don't listen to Fred. Get I, your hands up. I am a... God, yeah, get your hands up, Bobby. <laughs> yeah, frisk me. Sick. Come on. You know you got a gun. Do you have any weapons? I got a wrench, but... I mean, yeah, so I you can clean. put it on the side over there, or you can take it back. You got a, went, a wrench a a wrench it. rack, like a coat rack, uh, where you just I'll go put, put your wrenches? <laughs> yeah, All right, talk to my boy Odin over here. He should count you in, and then he should be good to go. All right, it's nice seeing you, Santi. How's the vibe going? Yeah, this is uh, Bobby Charles. Oh, it's going really good, man. Charles, I got you, man. That's great. Future mayor of Blaine yeah, we'll County, Republican. Oh, that's good, Santi. Republican. What's good? What's good? How you doing? Kyle, Fred. Kyle, Fred. I got you. Yeah, it's been a minute, uh, it's been a minute, free. it's been a minute, yeah. Enjoy. What the hell? I've never been in a fucking nightclub. Where we that's go? Not, that's not so, you go into the nightclub, Bob. What do we do? I told you, you just let him, you just let him, when you dance, you just let him grind on your dick. Should I take my Cialis now or later? No, you don't take the Cialis. Damn. When do I take it? Hey, listen. You need to go up. You need to go up there and tell everybody that you're running for mayor. No, no, Fred, they're gonna fucking kill me, dude. Nah, yeah, you'll be fine. Can you see my latest propaganda post? Look at that, Fred. I swear to God, if it's a picture of someone on Je Jeffrey stop, Epstein, I'm gonna lose it. I was thinking about doing that one, but then I, you know, I have one of Andy Jones and the Taliban. I didn't know if I should. I didn't know if I should post it or not. Send that one. Email that one to me. I want to see it. Yeah, you don't think the Andy Jones Taliban one is too much, is it? That's well, I mean, I, I ain't seen it yet. Cholesterol, Cornwood can't run the length of himself. How can we expect him to run Blaine County? Vote <laughs> Bobby Charles. Did you email it to me? Uh, I'm finding it somewhere in... <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't really think you should. You know something, do whatever you want. If it makes you feel any better, five years ago I would have combined, uh, compared people to the Taliban. <laughs> Kitten, thanks for the seven month resub, I appreciate it. Oh! You got a lot. How many, do you have a lot of ads? Oh, he just sent it to me. I have an unbelievable amount. Look at that when I emailed it. Bye bye. See, I didn't. I didn't know if that one was. Very good. All right. All right. So. What's good? What's good? Oh, there he is. Ah, it's been a ride, man. You still doing that? You called her Talibandy Jones. I have a Pablo Escobar one of her, too. I probably just saw him shoot. <laughs> and now at the moment, I'm helping my friends with the launching of the club. It's a okay, I'm looking for the last club. song. Maybe, maybe, uh, mm -hmm. maybe Andy, maybe you should try and partner up with Andy Jones, Bobby. I'm going to be honest, I think Blaine County needs you to be mayor. They need an unstable maniac. Uh, Fred, have you heard of my ideas? I'm going to open up the PBS show. I'm going to open up Hey, shh. Go up on stage and tell everybody here. No, no, no. I Nobody's gonna vote for me if I kill them. Yeah, I'm gonna close the borders, Frank. Right, and I'm gonna invade Los Angeles. Go up there and be political, man. Hey, get some hey, votes. Hey, get it. You gotta do this, man. Just go up there and interrupt a song. And tell them to shut the fuck up, and then tell them you're you gotta you gotta. You gotta kill me. No, they won't. You'll be fine. 
Yeah, you gotta get down, man. Hey, how you doing? Hello. What's your name? How are you? Uh, BB. Beanie? BB. Oh, like BB-8 from Star from Star Wars. Come on, no. <laughs> Just Betty. You can call me Betty. What do you prefer, BB or Betty? Uh, my friends call me BB because it's nice and short. Well, are we friends now, it's... me and you? I mean, what's your name? Kyle, Fred. Hi, Kyle. Yeah. So you come, you go clubbing often? Uh, just here with a friend. Only club and I do is baby seals. Uh. You ever clubbed a baby seal? They don't really get too far. Mm mm. I'm, I don't think I've ever seen one. Yeah. I've seen killer whale, but that's about it. I like your dress. It's real nice. I'm killing. Thank you, Kyle. You're a beautiful woman. Aww. That's very sweet. So what you doing after the uh, club? Uh, normally just goober. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Do you want to hang out sometime? Go crazy. Sure. Oh, my, got... my number's on LL. Oh yeah, I'm looking for Betty. Should, should Betty be Black. Yeah. yeah. You know you yeah. Do? You Here, I'll send you a text. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This is my friend Bobby. I was gonna say, is he okay? Nah, he's never okay. Nah, he is. He is he's fucked up. Look at that one. Well, I'm the future mayor of Blaine County. Of course, I'm okay. you see that one, Brad? That's sad. Let me oh. take a look. Cocandy Jones. <laughs> you know, back in the uh, early '80s and '90s, she uh, imported cocaine into Columbia. <laughs> Hey, you know she murdered a guy when she was mayor. What's Two of them. <laughs> what? Yeah, there was a drink in it. Did yeah. She? Yeah, you should ask her about uh, Bassam. All right, all right. All right, all right. Samir Bassam. He was a deputy mayor. She killed him. Money, money, money. What the fuck? I could only prove she kidnapped him though. But I couldn't prove she was the one that killed him. Good shit. Uh, look at this one, Pred. This is unbiased news source of the unemployment rate projected under my leadership. They definitely weren't the first I called to book for the event. But anyway. One second. I see. I see. Good job, like a true Republican, Bobby. Hmm. Bobby, it's your time to go up there. Guys, this is a club. Can you fucking dance and not talk politics? Come on. Hey, can you guys This is goddamn America! Oh, I'm good, Ollie. Thank you. You're good? I. How about you? Oh, yeah, Bobby. Dance. Loosen up if you want people to vote for you. Bobby, you gotta go You gotta go up there and tell them that you gotta make it. I'm gonna loosen up. I'm loosen up. Hell yeah. You got Bobby, you gotta go up there. This is your time. Bobby, this is your time, man. You go. Uh, no, thank you. No, you gotta go up there, Echo! Let's go, Echo! 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 Come on, Echo! Enter. Yo, 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 can you hear me, yeah? Loud and clear? Yeah, yeah? Let's What's happening, yeah. guys? Okay. All good, all good. All right, cool. Listen, my name is Echo Versetti. Thank yes. you for so coming down. Hey, how you doing? I appreciate the opportunity. I'm going to go the Echo. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. All right, listen. All you got to do is run, uh, jump, jump the fucking, jump the VIP thing, and then run up on stage and start talking. Oh, that's my uh, shit right there. Hold I on. Hope you, I hope you guys me, like the song. You know, it's one of them songs. I don't think they will. Or I could just. Where's that woman with the black hair at? Without further ado, this is my track, Keep Talking, featuring Cloud Mellow. Mm. Oh, there she is. That's my shit right there. Hey, excuse me, ma'am. Can I, Is this your nightclub? Yeah. Um, hey. yeah, sure. Hey. Yes. Can, I, can we go upstairs and I ask you a private question real fast? Okay. Yeah, sure. Bobby. This is uh this is Bob Bobby! Bobby! Uh, one, one second. What do you mean? I'm not. I 
Yeah, Bobby, get the fuck, get the fuck over there. I mean, you is though. Hey, this is uh, this is Bobby Charles. He's running for mayor of Blaine County. He was hoping he could maybe give a speech uh, uh, today. Entrepreneur, mm. cars. I'm out. Republican too. Gotcha. All right. So, what are, what are you exactly? Um, what are you fighting for? Like. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm tired of these pussy liberals in office in Los Santos. Oh. Um. I'm sorry, I'm ESL. What'd you say? I'm ESL. What's that? English is my second language. I don't understand. Oh, liberals are like, uh, like, like, uh, like Joe Biden. Well, actually, not like, more like Bernie Sanders and like Hassan. Oh, I don't, I don't know who those are. I'm Filipino. So. Hassan is. Not real. All right, put it this way. He's he's a good guy. He's a good man, and he's yeah, running for go, mayor. Go. Uh, uh, a Republican oh. running for mayor. Yeah, he's a good, a good guy. He's a I'm good a Republican. Republican. All right, all right, all right. Mm, so that was okay. my first well, track today. I'll have to um, call up my oh, investors like real quick and, oh, yeah. and see if they would be fine with that. And I will let you know in like 10 minutes. Is that okay? Today. Can we maybe uh, do that? Can we maybe like find out in a minute instead of 10? With my boy Lucifer. Okay. Yeah. Five minutes, so got you. Got you. All right, perfect. I'll, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Oi, oi. I'm really, really excited. Right. Uh, so, uh, I saw I her. Kind of liberal. Some, some little nice She's not. Mom. She doesn't oh, even know what a liberal is, Bobby. I you guys but guys I agree. In the air. That's what I'm, I'm putting this in the ground here. Right? Don't let it. might tempt you. I don't know. Give me one moment. If I can. Fuck. There you go. Three bubbles. Amongst you get drunk? Bobby, you need to get drunk before you go up on that stage. You know, I'm gonna legalize moonshine in Blaine County too, Brad. Is that a good idea? Bobby, I think you're the mayor that this city needs. Yeah, I know. Brad, you know, um, my first three weeks in office, I'm gonna invade Mira Park, and I'm gonna annex, and I'm gonna hold a vote. That's... Kind of constitutional if you like annex the region. You're gonna, you're gonna have to beat. You're gonna have to beat Hydra though. Well, no, they're gonna want to join Blaine County, Fred. That's why I'm just gonna hold the vote to see if they want to. I succeed. thought they hated you. I think I think Flippy's my gang leader. I thought that guy that was the Marabunta guy was your gang leader. You know I'm. I have a lot of gang leaders, Fred. Okay, I'm open for options. When I start robbing banks. You got this, Bobby. You see his Valdo? I'm, I'm cringing. I don't think you're talented enough. No, like every song in the city is kind of just about sex. You just gotta like tie in sex. And yeah, like gonna I'm gonna be blowing loads in office and blowing loads of money. You're gonna be blowing loads inside of Los Santos' metaphorical mouth. Yeah, so that's the. Yeah, let's go, Echo. Oh yeah. That's, that's yeah, Lucifer. yeah. That was right, maybe they'll be able to get you up there now. Echo. Why'd you throw a stick? So I was gonna play a house track just to keep the vibes going. Small soldiers, good or bad film? So you guys may have heard of this song. Small soldiers, good film. Okay. Yeah. I'm glad we agree on that. Listen. The club yeah. is the, Nino ain't here, and there's a whole bunch of people here. This this place is prime for the picking. There ain't nobody here but Bobby Charles, and he's running for mayor of Sandy Shores. You should come down here. He's running for Mandy, running for for mayor of Sandy Shores. Bobby Charles, bro, tell him to stop wasting his time because he's not gonna win. Listen, you know what I like about Bobby? He refuses and he's to give up. Yeah, you know what he told me? He's just trying to do that so he can get into the PD because his friend got hired and they won't hire him. The guy's a lost cause. 
Yeah, he's pretty fucked up, isn't he? Yeah, he's a lost cause. He's a sad man. Okay. Are you coming? Uh, probably not. I got uh, I got something I gotta do. All right, I'll see you soon. I right, love you. Uh, why do I keep crashing? Why do I keep crashing? Is it just me? Is it just me? I'm crashing out, man. Fucking crashing out hard. We're loading. Underclock your GPU. Underclock this. Underclock this. Remember to hit that follow button if you're new chatting to get those subs in. Bung. Bung. Bagung. Clock this. I could figure it out. I could get somebody a team viewer in and do it for me. Miss, thanks for the three months. Last tequila for all of you. Yo, brother. Fuck, you know. Thank you, Bobo. This last time here. I taught him everything he knows. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate that. Where'd Bobby go? <laughs> you got them robotic you. knees like Robbie. Yeah. Oh. I did give you brain damage a few times. Oh. Oh. I want to know where you're going. Is that smacking his head off the headboard, or? Oh, no, damn. no. Hi, Pred. Hello. Hey, Pred. Hello. Have you guys Where's seen Bobby? He, he walked was over out. there a minute ago. Oh, I've been pretty good. How's uh, yeah, how's my favorite outside, stripper Fred. doing today? I'm doing good, thank you. I'm Fred. doing great. Oh, you. not you, Thanks Robbie. And highly booked. It was me for a change. He went outside. Oh, okay. Right. See what he's doing. Yeah, go, go, go on, Links. Go on, Links. He's coming on. Go on, Links. Huh. Where'd Bobby go? Um, there is... Hey! My gang leader just told me to kill Tobago's. I don't think you can pull that off. You don't think I could at least just, like, kidnap one? Hey, how's it going? I love the yellow, by the way. It looks really good! No, I don't think so, man. You don't think I could pull it? I think I could. Bobby. I think you gotta focus on one gone. thing at a time. Yo, you got your gang mask? Put it on. No, I, I think I might be the gang mascot. Oh, yeah, I know what that's like. What, you're a gang mascot? No, I was a PD mascot. What happens when I lose the election? I don't know. Maybe you can come work with me. Where are you working? <clears throat> hey! Wait, I think uh, Slacks has been trying to kill me. Why would Slacks try and kill you, Bobby? Well, uh, we, like, met up at this dock, and then, like, I think he tried to kill me, but he failed. And then, like, How'd he try to me? kill you? Well, I'm pretty sure he was trying to hit the back of my neck. Then he, like, messed up, and we kind of just, like, stood there for, for, like, 30 seconds, staring at the ocean. 
and like it was like pretty it was like an awkward silence for like a little bit you're gonna have to kill him and then he keeps on telling me that he has a job for me to do and that i fail at everything that i've ever done and that i'm not gonna fail at this he that he also keeps on saying that uh his revenge is far sweeter than death that i, I don't know slack's been like fucking giving me riddles every day what do you mean giving you riddles like the riddler <laughs> okay what if somebody walked up to you and said my plans for revenge on you are far sweeter than death what the fuck would you do Brad? i don't know what that even means i would probably shoot him in self-defense i don't i don't know what it means either and then he started telling me that i that i fail at everything that i do you do that, that's that's not necessarily true i don't fail at everything yeah, you do. Um, I I didn't fail at running for mayor. I'm I'm still running. Because anybody can do that. I I, I didn't fail at. At um. On what? I think I have failed at everything that I've done. Now that I hey, think listen. About it. But but it's only up from here. You see, you're at rock bottom. It's only you can. It's only the ladder only leads up. They accepted <laughs> Carmine's PD application. <laughs> they accepted Carmine. What about yours? Uh, McNulty. McNulty denied it. What about uh? Wait, so they accepted Carmine and not yours, and Carmine yeah. didn't say, hey, we're a package deal? I don't know. I wasn't there when he had his interview. Hello. I have an ace up my sleeve, though. I'm going to convince the chief before Nino replaces him to hire me. Kind of like how Donald Trump pardoned a bunch of rappers right before he got out of Av right before he got out of office. That's what I'm going to do. Are you ready to go in there? I'm gonna fucking die, dude. No, you're not. I'm getting you permission to go on there. No, you're good. Okay, okay. <laughs> VIPs coming oh, through. The the VIPs. Oh, oh my god. god. VIPs. Kyle's VIPs, guys. Guy. <laughs> I gotta go buy a gun later. Why? Did someone take it? The other one? <laughs> oh, I'm just poor. <laughs> Yeah, you're well loud. Go, 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 excuse me, pardon me. Sorry. Oh, my brain's going wild right now. <laughs> Y'all ready? Hey, you got an update on uh, Bobby Charles being able to go up there for two minutes? No, my investors are still deciding. I'm so sorry. What do you mean your investors are still deciding? Well, you know what? I'm still fucking deciding if I'm going to let you in Blaine County when I've got damn mayor. Um, excuse me? Well, he has Tourette's. What he meant to say was, hey, you sweet woman, you. Uh, who are the investors? Maybe I could talk to them. Oh no, they're they're silent investors. They don't want other people to know. So I tell him Bobby will pay him ten grand. I think that ten grand. Yeah, tell him Bobby will give him ten grand. How about fifty? Give me fifty thousand dollars for this goddamn rundown nightclub. No. Uh huh. You know, I'm actually a promotional piece. I should be up. You should be begging me to go up there. I'm a goddamn promotional piece. Okay, I'm like first really round draft. I don't think so. I don't know I'm you. I, I, I'm He's the future mayor of Blaine no, County. No one knows you, sir. I'm sorry. I, 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 I'm famous. I'm super famous. Famous means people know you. I, 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 I am famous. Yeah, he's like Ka famous. Kathy Griffith, uh, Griffith, whatever her name is. His life on the D list. Um. Well, I think you gotta work on marketing first. Mar market yourself first before you. Damn. Decide she your said, "Fuck you, Bobby." 
You know something? You're a very nice woman. No, we appreciate no, no, you for no, no, your you time. Are not nice. I think she's very nice. Thank you. No, I hate you for your goddamn time. I think I she's. Think a, I think she's a lovely woman. No, no, this is all a goddamn lie. Thank you. Wow. Hey, how you doing? Good. I like your uh, tattoos. Thank you. Oh my god. I don't really like her tattoos. Well, you I was just being polite. From, uh, oh. Rings. <laughs> Do you like the music or not? Yeah, I like all music. I'm a music guy. Uh, I'm gonna build the wall. I'm gonna close the board. Genre is nice. You know, beautiful thing. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go. Come on. It's a nice place. The lights so are really weird. nice up there. Two. Yes. Of course. Yes. One second. I got to take an important call. Mm -hmm. All good. Yeah, where's all the single people at tonight? Make some noise if you're single tonight. Come on, come on. No, you are not gonna have sex with my Bo sister. Bobby Charles is single and he's yeah, looking no, to no. become mayor of Blaine County. I thought Bobby was buying Carmine. Hey, you over the music, bruh. Are you gonna vote, you gonna vote Bobby Charles for Hey, Bobby, nobody gives a shit about you. Hey, you guys need more drink? You guys, let's smooth it out. Let's smooth it out. Oh, friend, some guys, some voter just said, See me, yeah, I'm voting for, for me bread. If I legalize incest. Who's that person so I can call, so I can call the police and have them arrested? <laughs> uh, I don't know his name. He just said that he, he wanted to fuck his sister in peace. You gotta find the right one, D. Alright, alright. See, that well, guy's too Republican. Now. That's what we call too Republican. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Yep, that sound, he, does around. sound like he's a little too Republican if he wants to be a sister fucker. Yeah, yeah, follow me then. He, uh, he does uh, support my, my wall building idea. Maybe talk to BB. BB's very nice. Maybe she'll <laughs> hear your ideas. Uh, if it's in that area, then I have no idea. Oh, you, uh, that's you that's not my slicker? genre. Um, a little bit. Dabble. You want any property up in <laughs> Blank Town? No, not right. Not at the moment, no. I'm just happy I have a car. Look on the interwebs, Fred. Tell me that doesn't make you want to vote for to the grand of a club. Uh, definitely no. Are you sure? That's a real change. Wow. wow. I don't want to see him. Oh. You? No, I don't. Hello? I think he's so lonely. Do they just call you B? Yeah, they call him no. Bobby. Bobby C. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did they call him Big B? That's a real tank. Mm. Did you see the sniper rifle? Do you want to look? No, I see the... Hey, the, hey, hey, you know how rude it is to be on your phone in a nightclub? Okay, Fred. You're at a goddamn nightclub with, on your phone. Aren't you on your fucking phone enough, lady? Oh, I, bet, yeah, I bet you're droning on that thing on TikTok 24-7. No, that girl's a bit too short to be phone. talking to her like that. Hey, I'm six foot four. I can't help it if you goddamn women are fucking Amazon. Give me a small man and a boy now. Shut up, Bobby Charles. Uh, you you're five foot two. You your, no, oh, you're five foot two. No, I'm five foot eleven. You're five foot two, bitch. I am five foot eleven. Every guy like that's five seven giant. says they're five eleven. Mm -hmm. What if you say, shorty? Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. Here we go. Bobby, maybe you should try and pick one of them up. Yo, is this a felony if I if I start punching? No, it's only a misdemeanor. Not gonna affect my so election. Here, nope. Man. If anything, people oh, you respect get, you more for beating up women. Hey, don't panic, man. You got this. Are you gonna yourself. help me if I do this? I can't yeah, just. Start no, beating no, I'm not gonna do that. You do that. I can't just start beating up women. Talking about beating up women. Oh shit! It is yeah, Bobby, stop man. loudly it talking about it. Just you do it. This will be funny. I got a Oh shit! I mean, oh shit! Oh my god! Wait, no, 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 no. What the fuck? I'm not with that, man. 
this is I don't know who that man is. Get security! Security! When Linux has come off. Hey, you alright, BB? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I got a little I got a little blow at the side. Hey, I hope you're okay. Yeah, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. You have a fantastic time at the club. You should call me sometime. Okay, okay. I'll see you later. Ooh, hey, what? hey, watch where you're running. Mm -hmm. Yeah, who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. Watch where you're running, fast, fast legs. I'm not with him. You leaving? Yeah. Bobby attacked a bunch of women. Jesus oh, Christ. Typical, typical Bobby. Got my gun. There you go. yeah, now, you sure this is mine? Yeah, double check. Yeah, so your double number check. should be on it, no? Yeah, it should be. Should be good I didn't now. document it. Okay. You should be good. <laughs> this is yours. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Alright. Stay safe, Fred. You too! Hey, hey, what are you gonna do? Well, I'm, I'm asking. Well, I mean, you're talking about it in a public place. I feel like it is my business. If you didn't want me knowing about it, you'd probably be in, a, well, a, in, a, in an area where I couldn't hear you, where I was walking past. I was whispering, so you shouldn't be eavesdropping. Yeah, you were really whispering. I was until now. Yeah, sure you were. Sorry. So what's your name? With someone screaming in my ear. Uh, my name is Yuki. Oh, Yuki. You know, it's a very lovely name. I love your teal hair. Thank you. You got lovely cat ears. Thanks. So what you doing? You, you looking for someone to go home with or something? Or what you, what you up to no. here at the club? No. No. I'm on the phone with my boyfriend right now. Yeah, just hang up on him. Who cares? Just, who cares no. about him? No, no. I mean, I do. Why? You, you need to come over there right now. Okay, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. All right. <laughs> Sounds like Justin Bieber. Hey, Bobby. Well, uh, Fred, everybody thinks that I beat women now. I think that might the election help your campaign. Might be you think that that's going to help my campaign? Debate, I mean, what would happen if when you debated Andy Jones, you just started beating the shit out of her instead? Have you thought about that? When you're in a debate with Andy Jones, you start beating this, start clobbering her right in the fucking face? Might make might make Who? people be like, damn, I would I wouldn't vote for that guy. He doesn't hold back. He doesn't pull his punches. Andy Jones is the queen of the No, she's fucking not! She's a goddamn washed up politician, Fred. That's who fucking Andy Jones is. I don't know. People talk about Andy Jones like she's like Jesus. What does Andy Jones have that I don't have, Fred? Friends, money, successful television show. I talent I'm as well, on my she can sing. I'm working on my television show as we speak. Yeah, it's but... It's called, um... The Bobby Charles Saga. I don't think anyone's gonna watch it. What? What do you mean? I don't think anyone's gonna care. Well, I'm gonna have Ryan Gosling play me in my movie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna yeah, be my life story. If anything, I would see, like, maybe, like, Steve Carell with his hair dyed white. No, it's going to be Ryan Gosling. It's going to be You're not a Gosling. And I'm going to have, gonna have uh, like, Robert De Niro be Carmine. Yeah, but didn't didn't Bobby, uh, didn't Carmine kind of betray you now? I'm not sure. I mean, I mean, it sounds like he did. When are you going to realize I'm your only, like, trustworthy friend? Oh, 
Carmine did a betray me at all, I'm sure. He's I mean, dumb. he's joining the PD, ain't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm sure. He's... And wait till you find out. And wait till you find out what I'm doing. What are you doing? I can't tell you because you'll tell everybody. Do you get a gun? Like I said, I can't tell you about anything because you got loose uh, lips. By the way, my, uh, You're my, like a horse uh, pussy. Gang leader, my gang leader kicked me out because he said I can't be affiliated with somebody who beats women. You got a gang got leader kick kicked you out because of that? Yeah. Oh, you better go back in there and finish them off then and finish beating those women. No, no, Brent, I, I, I accidentally beat some women like three months ago and everybody fucking talked about it for like a long ass time at the VU. Now I'm not all, afraid to hit a woman. Again. Just go in there and By hit the way, that woman again. No, no, you go in there and you hit her for me. See, this is this is for Bobby Charles. Uh, Bobby, Republic. I don't work for you. You work for me. No, I don't. I, I yeah, you I do. Work for... Bobby, you're my lackey. You did you didn't know this? You're my goddamn lap dog. I'm more like. I'm like a smart, I'm like a smart lap dog, though. Nah, you're a fucking tard, man. No, I'm, I'm completely smart. I mean, no, you're not, brother. Not in the slightest. Well, what are you gonna do, Fred? I think you need to Is fucking take cold? running for mayor serious, and you need to go in there and go up on that I stage. Don't have, no, no, Fred, I don't have a fucking Bobby, chance. Bobby, you can beat Andy. Andy. Bobby, stop this. You don't have a chance, shit. You can beat anybody. Now go I in there and take charge. Look, there's I'm those gonna women. Kidnap Andy Jones. Hey, there's That's those what ladies. I'm going to kidnap Andy. What? Oh, did they just hear that? I think no. they heard that. Well, listen, I'm going to kidnap Andy Jones and I'm going to like plant a gun on her. Go in. Th listen, you and CTH actually have the abilities to beat the goddamn competition that you're up against. You got to lock it in. Now go in there, Look, go Fred, up on stage I have an and start. Idea. Hold on. Oh my god. What? Andy Jones is selling crack at a nightclub. <laughs> Did you do that anonymously? Yeah, that was anonymous. Boom, Fred, we got her. All right. Now you just got to start making documented calls of Andy Jones. You got to you got to find a woman to dress up like Andy Jones and pin a drug sales charge on her. Oh, and we can like use AI to like use her voice and be like, "My name's Andy Jones, and I want to sell you crack today, sir." Yeah. You can get her to make a call to the police through a burner phone using AI. Bob Eagle? You need to steal her phone. I'm I'm at a nightclub and I'm orchestrating a kidnapping, so one second. You need to go in there and hit the stage and tell them about yourself. Come on, man. Time is of the essence. Alright, listen. You're just gonna run in there and you're gonna run up on stage. Hey, Santi, is the party still going on? One, two, three, nine, one. No, we just finished. Mm, all right, never mind. Do you remember mind. me? I don't know. I do remember, yeah, but I don't know. Party's over, Bobby. What do you mean the party's over? It ended. Well, how hard is it to kidnap a politician, Fred? I'll just beat her up and steal her phone. It is actually a good idea. Well, you know, I know what it is, Fred. I need a chief of staff. I need a deputy mayor that is better than Andy Jones. You got any ideas of people that people like more than Andy Jones? Um, now people kind of love Andy Jones. I was going to do Tessa Lamb, but she has a felon. People do love I I Tessa. Can do, I can do Maximilian Thoroughbred. Yeah, what a... About Max, I do love Max. You could do like Chief Keith, maybe. You could get Chief Keith to make an appearance. Well, I have an edited photo of me with Chief Keith that I've been twatting. But right, I know what you need to do. 
What's that, uh, website where it's like you go on and you pay the celebrities to say shit? <laughs> I've already... Cameo. Yeah, you need to go on Cameo and pay every... and drop, like, five grand on paying... getting celebrity endorsement. You see that? That is Chief Keef right there, Fred. Look on Twatter. You need to get a credit card, and you need to just go crazy booking cameo shit. Let me take out like a few personal loans and just buy celebrities to endorse me? Pay them to endorse me? Yeah, but I got a lot going on, Bobby. I don't know about... Uh... Uh -huh. Listen to music. You know what I need to do? I need to go to a Chief Keith You know what I need to do? Are you a caveman? I'm from Kentucky, Fred, okay? You know what I need do? I need win. Listen, I'm from Kentucky, and I, I have me... Listen, I usually drink, like, five Red Bulls a day. I'm only on my first Red Bull, Fred. I need you my drink caffeine. five a day? Yeah, yeah. You're gonna die! I mean, it's, it's like, the only thing that keeps me awake. Buddy, you got an addiction. Like, one time I spent, like, a thousand dollars on Red Bull in, like, a month and a half or something. That's crazy. You drink that much? Hey, CCH, how you away. doing? I know how to drive, you dumb bitch. Hey, Brad, how's it going, buddy? I'm doing good. I... Bobby Question. just beat up a bunch of women at a nightclub. What is this, the 80s? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is the 80s. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, hey. Ninja Turtles, 1990, good or bad film? Uh, I love those movies. Yeah, me too. Except for the third one, that one sucked ass. Third one sucked ass. First and second ones were dope. Yeah, Ninja Rap. Looks go Ninja, dope. go Ninja, go! Yeah, this should go so hard. I, I thought you were yeah. supposed to be campaigning right now. Why do you keep calling me about movies? I am campaigning. I just, I just every time I think of like a cool movie, I just call you. And I'm like, let's see if he likes it or not. Yeah, I love those movies. Okay. All right, I'll call you in like 20 minutes when I find out another one. All right, bye. All right, bye-bye. I'm going to see if my ex-wife's around. Your ex-wife, Angel? Listen, Bobby. Huh? Bobby, I want you to know something. Mm -hmm. You're my best friend. One of them. Well, how many friends do you have, Fred? Only you and CTH. What about, like, Forehead? Is, is he your best friend? We're more like business associates, but yeah, he's a good friend of mine. We don't really hang really? out much, though. I think I just have you and Carmine. Uh, so, which, are you, so if I tell you something, are you going to fuck me over? No. Why'd you say it like that? See, I can't tell you anything. I can't trust you. Brett, you can't... I can tell you something. I, uh, I killed my brother Booby inside of prison. And I All killed your dad. All my brothers that ever come around are dead. Like, uh, I had a brother Robert come around a few days ago. I think he's dead. I had another brother Charles come around. Pretty sure he's dead. My bloodline just comes around and I usually kill him off. There Charles, can only be one. Charles? Yeah. But is, is Kentucky like the village of the mist? I mean, it's, it's, I mean, you ever woke up at 3 a.m. to somebody trying to steal your catalytic converter with like a sawzall? No. You walk out there with like a fucking like, you walk out there with like a like a Mossberg shotgun and like scare scare them off. <laughs> no. Or uh, they try to steal your water heater for all the copper. That that's fun. I'm trying to do like an eighty pound crack to carry that. Hmm. Yeah, Bob. Oh no, I'm at uh, I'm at City Hall right now with Fred. Hello, just it seems. Hey, to... how's things going? Oh, hey, I'm just doing lots of paperwork. How much paperwork? A lot, you know. Just so holes to be filled, and you know, I just got to yeah, do it I still all need myself. To read so. a bunch of things. Oh, you don't need yeah, to do you it all do. by yourself. I got a whole bunch of stuff for you. Okay, well, I meant more so like stuff that you can't do, like penal I code. I can help and... you with that. I mean, I, I'm good with I good with Word. 
I don't really think you are. I, I actually remember you like explicitly doing anything besides word stuff. So yeah, that's you why I do text Carmine, to speech. Since Carmine, yeah, okay. Me, you're going to um, be my side. Well, listen, I'm just doing some paperwork right now. I'm just filling up some legislation gaps. So that's all I'm doing. I'm just sitting bored at a bench trial. All right, I'm, well, oh, I'm ready to go when you are. Tomorrow is go day, right? For what? Uh, exp the, the expungement. Oh, yes. Tomorrow's go day for the expungement. Yeah, that's right. But when's go day for the thing? When, when, is, well, when is that go day? We need to have SOPs first before we can even really... Uh, get started you know we need to have documentations going over like um our basic procedures and how we operate and you know stuff that dictates how we rate ourselves in and what we're supposed to be doing on a day-to-day -day basis so we're gonna mean you were gonna all right how about we write that tonight yeah we can do that tonight all right all right we'll write that tonight me and you over uh you know i got my bean bag i'll put on gossip girl all right and uh i'll uh i'll make sure i wash my leopard print sheets Okay. Yeah, sounds good. Sheets? All right. I'm looking to forward bit. to that uh, writing session. All right. Bye. I mean, I got okay, a decent. Bye. I got a decent amount already. Okay. All right. You know, well, we gotta dress it up and make it look nice. So. Yeah, that's that's the like, thing. It doesn't these... look good at all. It's, in, it's made uh, in yeah, word pad. I'll... Yeah, I'll do that part. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Okay. Bye. Let's go take a look at some Bobby. Come on. He used to smoke weed in those old ass cars from the '70s that had like that carpet interior. I smoked weed in an RV or a garage. Fred, by the way, uh, you're or gonna be my new sidekick uh, when Carmine joins the police force. I'm not your sidekick at all. What the no, fuck do you no, mean? No, you're my sidekick. Definitely not. Well, I'm not. I'm not yours. I'm. I. I you're a hundred percent. You're a hundred percent my sidekick. Yo, Kentucky's a beautiful place. Fred, you know, uh, one time I was uh, filling up my car with gas, and uh, there was like this, uh, there was this guy who barely spoke like any English, and he was on pump 10, and this lady was on pump 9. This lady put money in pump 9, and then the guy just grabbed the fucking nozzle, ran it over to pump 10, and just filled up his car with somebody else's nozzle. It was like super fucking funny. Yeah, one time a homeless guy came up to me and he smelled so bad I just threw twenty dollars at him so he'd get the fuck away from me. I'm imagining you pred me as mayor, my police escort everywhere I go. You know I'm gonna make a law that everybody you. used to kneel down to me. I don't think that's gonna happen, man. They hate your guts. You know the first time I become Hey, civilian! <laughs> you know, future oh, mayor of Blaine no. County, I'm not talking about my plans for world domination and destruction and oh. my reign of tyranny and bloodshed that's gonna... that's gonna go across Blaine County and eventually... Do you really want to see Santos. another another Andy Jones mayorship, or do you want to see Bobby run the show? Look, everybody has dreams, you know what I mean? I, I don't judge That was my dreams, favorite you know? Republican. Republicans, because Prince are Republican. Yep, I'm no. a Republican too. Okay. Fuck those All liberals. I gotta say is dream high, bro. Reach for the stars, bro. You got it. Yeah, AR-15s and shit. Yeah. You like AR-15s, Bobby? I like more than AR-15s. Bobby, I'm worried um, about you. I don't like think I don't think you, I don't think, you, I don't think you got this man's vote. <laughs> well, listen, I I, bet I usually do my rallies on Mondays. No, it isn't. Robbie Williams. Today's you know. Saturday. Fred, yeah, today is Saturday, Spain's. man. Hey, Brent, say Spain's gonna win. Say Spain's. Gonna Spain's gonna win. Oh, yeah, man. Spain's gonna win, Matt. I'll kill you. I'll get the whole man in to pull up and kill you, Bobby. Oh God. Is it about to be 1776 all over again? What the hell is this shit? Hey, what's like uh, soccer. is it was some type of soccer thing going on? It's like England versus. Oh, Spain. I hate you, as well, Fred. Suck your mother. I don't follow your. I don't follow that sport, man. I'm my bad. It's soccer, bruv. Yeah, we call it soccer it in is America. It's soccer. It's How soccer. How do you spell bro. Robbie? What? Is it R O B B I E or is it R O B Y? It's R O B B I E. 
Like the name Robbie? Do they not have double B's in England? Uh, <laughs> R-O-B-B-Y, isn't it? Like Robbie? Like if somebody's named yeah, Robbie? About Roby. Roby. No, you're thinking of the criminal that constantly robs uh, businesses yeah, and that's... people for their money. Uh, you don't spell it R-O-B-B-Y. You talk about like the name Robbie because I know somebody who's named Robbie. I guess that must be a Kentucky thing. Well, I think that might just be someone's nickname because they rob a lot of shit. Like copper wiring no, no, out of like their Bobby's actual house. ID says R-O-B-B-Y. That's like a normal name. Actually, hold up. Maybe it's not R O B. Hold up. Maybe I'm fucking stupid. I might be stupid. I think you're fucking stupid, man. I might be stupid. He is from Kentucky. Kentucky's a beautiful place, Bob. Yeah, I don't know. I gotta make sure that I'm not stupid. There has to be Robbie with a Y. I gotta look this up. Hey, uh, sorry to interrupt you, but I got a quick question. Are you familiar with mm -hmm. the current PD's SOPs? I uh, not really, no. Do we have access to that? I could get them pretty easy, yeah. I think you should get that, so um, I think it would kind of help with our stuff. Okay, you want to come with me to the PD? Somebody help yeah. me! Help me! Right. Nah, fuck you, Bobby. You're, you're melted for once and for all with the rest of City Hall. Poor Bobby. Yeah, I think it would. Uh, I think it would be helpful. Uh, helpful for us. Also, I wouldn't mind Sorry. getting the EM, uh, EMS SOPs as well. Uh, yeah, it would be nice to have a, a copy on hand. The knowledge is power type of shit. Knowing how they conduct themselves means we can find loopholes in the design of their infrastructure. I mean, we already know how they conduct themselves. We know how they conduct themselves, but we don't know their SOPs. I mean, for all we know, it could be completely different than what we're used to. And I have tons of old SOP uh, documents. Considering they're using my SOPs, it's probably not oh. any different at <laughs> they're, all. So. They're using yours? Yeah, they just copied and pasted them and just changed the name a couple of uh, sections. So they changed felony stops to a high-risk stop. It's Why? The same in every single... I don't know. No one calls it a high-risk stop. They always... They always call them felony stops. Listen, the only impression that I got, it seemed like the new captains that were being put into those positions were, um, uh, not, uh, the... Uh, I heard bad things about all lazy. of them. They're all lazy. They're all lazy, and they didn't want to actually do the effort of writing new stuff, so they just kind of changed some stuff to put some Well, I, well, I got a lot of stuff, but one of the things is, um, so can I tell you one of the issues we're going to run into? Yeah. An issue it. we're going to run into is where cops try to aid and abed the escape of a wanted officer. Mm -hmm. So there has to be a, a charge. Too. Yeah, there has to be like, it has to be known that if they aid the, the officer in any way that they're to be charged as well. But, but I didn't, yeah, but, I I, but I can't think of what, a, what law that would be currently that we have that really fits the bill for that. I can think of a few. I can think of a few, but not all of them stick in every situation. Somebody could just be tipping someone off on information that, you know, someone's coming for him and stuff. I don't know. Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Maybe I'm looking too deep into it. Yeah, I think uh, you might. Oh, look at that. It's a, gun. it's a nice gun. It is pretty nice, yeah. Hey, where'd you get the toothpick? Uh, it's not a toothpick. Pick, well, it's a you just got really short all of a sudden. Yeah, I took my heels off. Come on, let's head over. I mean, you should just remember that they're not obligated to give it to me, so. I mean. They might, so might as well say no. So. Aren't they obligated, though? No, not really. I mean, isn't I mean so they're not not obligated. Well, it only, I mean, it's well. I guess it doesn't matter if we have it or not, but it would be helpful. 
it would be helpful. I mean, I can get them pretty much either way, so... I mean, in, in truth, I mean, I already have access to the document. It's more so I would just like to uh, get it through more official means. So. Yeah, sometimes that's what you got to do. I get it. You got to politic. Yeah. I me, mean, like, I would I just, just... If I was your marshal, I'd just go in there and kick the doors down and get them to give it to me. Okay, well, we don't need to do that. Yeah, you're right. We don't need to. I won't do that. That's not necessary. But yeah, I think that uh, having a <laughs> list of a complete list of all the recipes is gonna be very helpful in, in this day. Hey, look at that, the perfect person for our request. Who? Anita. Uh, she's kind of fallen off for me. Okay, well, she'll probably be fine for me. Uh, she's she's kind of fallen off a little bit. She ain't the same. It's Anita, right? Yeah, yeah, Anita May. Okay, Anita. So. How you doing? I'm okay, I'm okay. Hey, right, Denzel, right, how you doing? That'd be nice. I am being nice. I'm, I feel like okay. I'm being pleasant. You're hey, forcing, you're forcing it, though. My you're man! You got, you, got you got that You got that thing. What thing? Sorry, I didn't mean to bother you. The SIM card. The SIM card. Shut the fuck up. Hey, when you're done on the phone, can we talk really quick? Yeah, yeah, okay. Thank you. You, sh you shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up! You shut the fuck up! You shut the fuck up! Oh my god, it's uh, it's a uh, vision seeing the two of you guys together. Yeah, I can imagine it just might be. So, hey, hey I had a simple, right, pretty simple request. Cash, I just right? wanted to mm -hmm. inform of uh, a command yeah, member you. of the LSPD. Um, okay. I need a copy of you guys' SOPs. Oh, you know what? Fuck okay. it, I got okay. another one for you. Uh, it's, uh, not to be, it's not to be it's not to be distributed. It's you know for internal use only. So. Yeah, yeah, internal yeah, use only. Or um. I mean, just, just a link to the document itself document. is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I got you. Is that right yeah, I, just, now? I just need to have access to it in some form or fashion. It's my Tommy Bahama. Mm. Ain't you ever seen an overweight Italian man before? Yes, I have. I don't like the hair, man. Yeah, I didn't get a retwist. I'm going through some shit. Okay. Vegetarian, I remembered this time. Thank you, thank you, Duncan. You're a vegetarian? Uh, yes, yes, sir. Hey, I'm a vegetarian. Is that you? <laughs> 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 I'm you now. I've been for a good, good bunch of... You know what? Same Pred. No, you it's are great. what you eat, Pred. It's a great diet. It depends on what day it is. I'm getting my car repaired too, real quick. Okay. Then we'll get out of here. Pred, why do you say stupid shit like that? I was just being, I was just making banter, that's all. There you go. It's, not, it's not appropriate to bring up vaginas in front of people. Where's the, where's the Aubrey? You're right, I should have said I eat yeah, ass. No okay, that's, that's even less appropriate. Why is eating ass less appropriate than eating vagina? It's like inherently more taboo than the other. I mean, not asking is cool. It really depends though. I and mean, then Peter's comes to the what? Okay, fine. Whatever. Maybe I'm the only maybe I'm the only one that's with this opinion. You're very conservative. I am not a very conservative person. You're a very conservative woman. I'm not. I can assure you I'm not. Hmm. It's, How's good, to going? A, it's good to have a conservative woman in office, okay? Make Los Santos great again. Are you gonna build uh, a wall okay. to keep I'm Sandy not, out? I'm not in office. I mean no, I'm not doing that either. You could ask Nino actually to put up a wall. You might be down for that. One of the mayors might authorize that anyway. Yeah. That's true. They just might do it. Yeah. It might take know, more than two at, months to build a wall. I was at a I rally for Nino and he was saying some pretty weird stuff. What was he saying? Like what? I don't know. He said we gotta do something about all those people in Sandy Shores. You know. And then he started just like he started screaming and just banging, just banging on the fucking stand. He just started banging on it, screaming and shouting. I'm not gonna lie. That sounds like a been... Bobby rally. Let me, let me, let me, can I talk to you on a, uh, you see, no, nah, I don't want to do a sidebar because the thing is, it's What do you want to talk right? about? No, I, you, what's going on with you? You okay? What do you mean what's going on with me? What? You've been on your best behavior the last two weeks. What do you mean I've been on my best behavior? Like best behavior. Like you don't even shit talk anybody unless, I don't know. 
That you know of. I'm a professional. Yeah, that I know of, true. You okay? I just want to make sure you're okay. Yeah, I'm good. All right, that's that's it. Have you gotten a shot awesome. today? Uh, not no. I almost I almost did though. Why are you wearing a SWAT vest? Um, uh, I'm, I'm TRT shift one lead. Yeah, but why are you wearing a SWAT vest? Because I can. Are you sure about that? Yep. I don't know. You know, you know what's crazy? You do the same spill ever, ever since you were a lawyer. What's that? Are you sure about that? that that's, that's like your go-to. Yeah, are you sure about that? I'm asking you if you're sure about that. Yeah, yeah. Is that uniform SOPs? Yeah, for me it is. It is, yeah. For you it is. Yeah. For the tactical team it is. The tactical team, huh? Yep. Who's all on that? Um, no, a couple, couple good people. Who? You want to name all of them? Yeah, I think I could drip act you right now if that was still a thing. I don't, I don't think you could do that. It's yeah. gone. That. It's gone. You can, I can't. I was just saying, I think, no, no, but I'm I might have saying, been well, able even to. Even if it was, why would you do that? Well, I don't see you in a SWAT truck right now. <laughs> I don't think we even have one. We don't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I heard, I heard we're getting tanks before interceptors, so it's going to be interesting. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, the tanks are not for us. Yeah, I mean, what are they for? I need it. Can you uh, send me the real quick? Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, now you're doing that laugh again. Actually, I'm just getting a nod now. Yeah, sure. Have you noticed that? Our page. Really at the top of the first page of the SOPs. What's it say? By Brittany Angel. It says San Andreas Law Arrest Enforcement Easter. That's crazy. I know it. I know, right? Hi, what hi, is guys. this? Hey, hey Viv. Uh, hi, Viv. Hi, hi. How's it going? It's going Chilling great. Life is really shaping up. Fred is laughing evilly every single time he sa I said something no, about No, I'm teams. not. Yeah, you, yeah, you are. You just Definitely laugh like not. The, just now. The other day you made me read what That's a marshal is how and I you laugh. laugh evilly. Hey, That's by the way, just how I, I wrote laugh. those uh, those those PD class twos into law, so they're not illegal for you guys to have them anymore. Nice. We just gotta wait. I think uh, Frost is so spearheading it's up to you. the yeah, it's up SOPs. To you guys ever you work that out. Yeah. Cat, so. I need your it's energy exempt, today. Coming under the law now. Yes. I need to pull your energy in, chat. So I, wait, so I can hold. I need one to now. absorb you. Not getting fired. Legally, yes. Um, whether you get fired, that's that's a whole other question. You know. I'm just I'm saying not you're, not gonna, gonna, you're, not, you're not gonna you're not gonna get any frost, legal trouble if you hold it. Hey, you don't gotta worry about that. You're a good cop. Uh, yeah. You're a good cop, man. I was trying to help you out there, Fred. No, that's all right. I don't need you to help me. I'm here to help you. Oh. I, I, listen, I, you're being you're really... What's go okay, what's going on? Yeah, hey, I requested to be changed the title. Uh, come here, Fred. Come on. Okay. Uh, w one second there, uh, Your Honor. I need to talk to Mr. Shiesty. Okay, all right. Okay, why, 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 why are you, what do you, why think are you sitting make... the, why What you, up, cunt? Why, is, why am I being called a cunt? I said, what? Well, no, it's like, what up, cunt? Oh, okay, like, like, what's up, cuz, type shit? Yeah, yeah, what's up? All right. Like, so what, what's going on? What, what, you gonna be a marshal or something? Is that why I don't you keep worry. making me look at it? Hey, me, don't worry about what I'm... Get, you're gonna get tanks? Actually, if you do get tanks, can we use them? Exactly, I know, right? No. Why not? Because you can't just patrol in a, in a tank? Right. No, not, okay, why would we patrol in the tank? We're not gonna patrol Isn't that for, like, martial law? Stuff like that? Like, that's not, where tanks I mean, come in. Yeah, we're not gonna patrol in the tank. And I've seen you saying, drive. Like, what makes you think you can handle a tank? Um, you seen me drive? Yeah, I've seen you drive. When? Oh, I've seen you drive a whole bunch of times. I mean, yeah, we're in, yeah, you did, you did live PD with, you know, with me a couple, you know, once. Yeah, 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 that. That's where I've seen you drive. Alright. Well, oh, what's on you're your doing mind? Okay. What you worried no, about? Nothing. No, I'm not worried about anything. Yeah, can I, uh, let me talk to Den over here real quick there, uh, Peters. Hey, Den, come here. Okay. I want to talk to Angel. Now, listen, shit's coming and, it, and it's coming fast. 
All right. Okay. You better get in line. You're gonna be my inside man, or I'm gonna fuck you up. And you are such an easy target. It's ridiculous for me. So you know what you better have for me? I expect you to start documenting, writing reports on the officers around you, or I swear to God, I'm gonna come after you hard as shit. You got me. You work for me now, and no one's gonna know about this but me and you. You're gonna be my little guy, and we're gonna be best friends. We're gonna be best friends, me and you. You're gonna like being my friend. Oh, okay. All right. So you keep yes, your sir. eyes on everybody around you. Otherwise, my eyes are gonna be on you. Yes, sir. All right. Hey, you know what? You don't have anything to worry about though, because you are a good guy. I like you a lot, Den. Yeah, maybe. Thank you. Um, You're one of my I, favorites. Thank you. thank you so much. But don't make the but don't excuse my kindness for weakness. All right. I need an inside man, and it's gonna be you. And if it has to be someone else, you know how quickly they'll throw you hey, under listen, the bus. Listen, I'm going to let you know something real quick, okay? What's that? I'm, listen, the streets are talking. They're saying Captain Slacks killed some guy named DeMarco. I don't know how truthful it is. All right, hold, hey, listen, I, what you need to do, keep it under wraps. We'll take care of investigating that once, I'm, once this ball gets rolling. We're going to put him behind bars. Me and you. Nah, just you. I... Pfft. Listen, let's, let me be the let me be the fly in a in a cup of milk. All right, yeah, you can be the fly in the cup of milk. <laughs> Feed me all the intel you need. Yep. All right. All right. I appreciate you, friend. Hey, you know what? You're a good guy. Of course. Of We're course. gonna be best friends, me and you. Yeah, we are. That's for your command to figure out, really. Have you yeah, shot him idea. yet, Angel? What's that? Have you shot the, uh, the the AR? I have not, no. You should. I'm going I'm to see if, you, if I can let you shoot it tomorrow morning if you're around. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah, like to take a look and see what it's like. Yeah, it would be pretty cool for you. I mean, you guys got to kind of understand, you know, the, the kind of power, you know, that we have. So you can, well, you know, I mean, write the it's going to be kind of a baby stuff. toy compared to some of our stuff. Uh, It'll be nice to see what you guys are playing with, you know? Oh, hold on. Uh, Justice Angel, here's my phone number if you need it for okay. anything. Hey, how you doing, uh, Anita? Zero six one six two one six. I'm doing good, Brad. Um, you know. Hold on now. What, what do you mean by a toy compared to what you guys have? What, what else do you guys have? I uh, listen. I don't, I don't think he. I don't think he that. needs to know. No. I, don't, I don't think. You don't he need to worry to about that. I did a good job with the. You know, Bye guys. The, the other thing. Take care. Uh, sorry. What'd you say? I did a good job with the. You know, the other. You know. Remember the other tea? I got told I did agree. I, listen, I am not a tea spiller. I actually don't remember the other tea that you're talking about. The um. You know? Fuck is that, man? I know. I really don't actually know what you mean. Why are you speaking yeah. to her like your like your bobcat from fucking Police Academy? <laughs> Taking all these. You the, got Tourette's um, or something? Like, what the fuck no, are no, you the, doing? Yeah, it's the, uh, I, I can't, I can't say. But God, okay, can I just get one more thing? Just one more. Just one weapon system other than tanks. Okay, sure. What's your number? Oh, don't text it to me. No, I'll text it to you. No, don't text it to me. Okay, then I guess you don't want to know. Why don't we, why don't, why don't you want her to text it to you? Let's, about this. My, Let's my, go inside and use the projector. Yeah, okay. let's go use let's the go projector. Yeah, let's go. I'm, I'm Come on, Park Peters. What's this I, I'm dead. I'm gonna dead drop it to you. Oh, what's taking so long? My, I can't enter my barrel. Are you fucking a marshal? What is that? Oh. <clears throat> All right. So listen, I, uh, I really don't want to say too much. But I'm more than happy to give you this small sneak peek into the future of the state marshals. This is, uh, I'm going to let your imagination fill in the rest of this, okay? Okay. You're going to like this. You're going to be so jealous. This is just some you're of gonna, the equipment that is gonna going to be, be uh, given to the state marshal. Oh, actually, I need, I can't uh, put this picture up. I have to go grab my keys from the front desk really quick. One second. Yep, no worry. Let me open the door for you. Thank you. Hey, what's your ping? I'll handle it right after this. Do I need to do I need to fucking apply for the state marshals? 
I mean, you can go for it. I don't know. I don't know who all is going to be brought on in the beginning. Eight fifty. Okay. Eight fifty. All right, I'll take care of you. Hey, ma'am, is there a way to apply for said state marshals? Yeah, I'll open up applications and interview process. Okay. There you go. Oh um, my God! It's an okay, armor-piercing no, sniper rifle. I saw it. I mean, we got flashlights on our pistols. Yeah, but they increase our, they, I don't understand because I feel like weight would reduce the kick, but for some reason we have, uh, I calculated it's 10% added kick with a flashlight. I yeah, your guys' PD guns are pretty shit from, from what I hear. Hey, you still got those pictures of Mary on your phone? <laughs> Say again? <laughs> those pictures of Mary. I, I wanted you to show Pred. Yeah, hey, can you put um, that on up there? Pictures? Th no, those were not my pictures. Jack Voss sent me those pictures. I know. Uh, I'm going to be honest. Come on, man. Just, listen. Come on. Just throw it up on the projector. Yeah, okay. throw it up on the projector. You could, listen. Okay. Put that ass out on display. I'm going to screenshot the whole message thread so you can see I did not respond to him after he sent me those pictures. Hey, Den's going to put some put something cool up on the screen. Okay, sure. Is that it? Mary Mushkin's Is that ass. Mary Mushkin? Yeah. Uh, listen, Jack, sent me that. I, listen, I n I never responded, as you could see. There's no response. How do we know you didn't just scroll up? Okay, all right. I'm, I'm gonna take. The, I'm gonna take the picture of the rest. Just leave it up there. Well, why did you up, do Bobby? that? Why didn't you just put the picture up? Where are you at? Handle no, because the thing is, I don't. Business. I, I want to make sure it's not. You what know what it's type not of important business? You don't. The less you know, the better for me. I'll tell you when I can. <laughs> Bye, Bobby. Okay. Yeah, Mary Mushkin's got a lot of ass. Mm. Yeah, thick with two C's. See, I never responded. I, yeah. You barely mm, even yeah, scrolled down. Yeah, but what about down. below that though? But what about below that though? Okay, okay. There's, there's more. It's just more pictures from Jack. It's just he just yeah, sends me pictures. But what I'm picture. saying is, you can't possibly say that this is proof of everything. You know, how about this? How about you grant me permission to subpoena your phone? And I'll no, you can your... just look through it right now, here. Oh, yeah. Why don't you just hand it to me? Uh, do I just give you the... Do I give you a yes. SIM card? Just give me the phone. Okay. I'll, I'll take a look at it. Here you go. What's uh? Where's Jack's number at? Where am I looking? Um, shit! It should be at a fuck. Me. Jack Voss, I found it. Me there ain't enough it. pixels on that camera for that ass. I got it. I right? It's not. It's ten ten. It's right down here. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Oh yeah, I buy his events All right, are let's crazy. See here. Jack, the last message that you sent to him was 18. Well, actually, no, he's only been texting you. You know what? Yep, I, I can never, confirm this. I've right. never responded to him from any of those messages. But how come you didn't tell All him right, to stop? Okay. I mean, I wouldn't. I did tell him. He was next to me when he sent me the message. He was. It was during a meeting. Why does he keep sending you pictures of girls? I, I don't. You this guy might be Jack. a pervert. He just might be. But his mother, there's more pictures than Mary in here. There's like three of them. Yeah, there's a lot of pictures in there. 
Are they any good? That, he actually takes really mm. good photos. I'm not gonna lie to you. If if you've seen him during the, uh, uh, actually, yeah, just as you've been there during the meeting, he's taking pictures of me and put them up on the projector. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. That guy's a wild animal. All right, let's go. All right. Oh, so you just hate it. You just hate us, Senzo. You're just kicking us out now. Yeah. No, no, I'm not kicking you guys out. I, I, let's no, go no, shoot I mean, some we, assault we, rifles. Oh, yeah. we, okay, yeah, I know. I have to ask for permission for me to do that. First. Oh, my God. Just, yeah, I thought you were the SWAT just, guy. Apparently, you're just the I SWAT am, guy's bitch. Is, I'm the, no, I'm the SIF one lead, yes. But the thing is, I have to add, because Frost is spearheading it. So, he, uh, you know, out of respect for my oh, other Oh, Frost lead, is one of the it, good ones. Yeah, I like Frost. You know, he was one of mine. You know, all the best people were in Angel and Mind Department. You know that, right? What, what, what was my brother in? He was he I was he a, was really um, great until he left issue me. I need to bring it for your attention. So we approved a bunch of people hmm. for a 72-hour extension on their warrants, and uh, that was for the courthouse, right? And they gave them like five days. Like Being five, a marshal is gonna kick so on. much ass. How do you guys get so? How do you? Uh, yeah, how do you guys so get so much fucking? Because we're not fuck ups oh, like all you guys are. You guys are everybody. The whole city thinks the whole city we're thinks just, you guys are fucking party clowns. That's it. You're not. I mean, Pres not wrong. Yeah, the whole the whole city thinks you guys are fuck ups, and your entire department's party clowns, man. This is the easiest shit of my life. Me and my dad are gonna fuck shit up. <laughs> Who's your dad? Hail Soze. Everybody talks about this Soze guy. Yeah, he's my dad. He's gonna be a marshal? Fuck, I'm gonna I'm apply for it. Hey, you should. I wish Gunner was still alive. Who? You don't know him. Mm hmm. So, so basically, someone requests the warrants, and then you have to approve it, and then it just gives it five days automatically. Radio check. Sounds like the system's so fucked up. Fucking cool. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, Angel Brad, Brad, we'll see you guys around. Yeah, Love and the state marshals actually do investigations. Okay. So, I mean, that's fine and all. I don't, I don't really. Yeah, the state um, marshals actually look into it's things. Not like a problem. It's just that we kind of need to know that because we did, we approved 72 hours. We didn't approve. Years, coming. So. <laughs> listen, right, listen. <laughs> Investigations are not my thing. I can investigate a small like murders. I I can't. Inv I I I'm not the best at investigating murders. That's why fun. you. That's why you sit back and you learn and you develop what's called a okay, skill well, set. I guess the do you want to be a one trick pony I mean, your entire life, or do you want to develop skills? Person, I'm I'm a two trick pony actually. What's your sec? What's your tricks? Why are you laughing? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm curious. What's your tricks, buddy? Okay, now you're talking to me like I'm a puppy trying to grow up. No, I'm not. I'm asking you, what's your tricks, pal? You see, now you're acting like I, I just sent you a macaroni from creative arts class in elementary school. Uh, I would be surprised if you could actually complete that. So why don't you tell me what your tricks are? Pursuit and tack. <laughs> okay, pursuit and tack. <laughs> I highly doubt you have either one of those. <laughs> but hey, you know something? You 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 keep doing you, man. And maybe when I'm a marshal, maybe I'll help you develop a skill set. Because I have a lot of experience. A lot of it. I've been there and done that a million times. I think you're a good guy. Thank you. You just need to cook a little bit. No, I don't want to cook. You just need I, to cook a little bit. Not, you, need, you need a little bit. You need to cook a little bit. It's not safe for me to cook. It's not no. safe for me to cook. No, it's safe for you to cook. No, officers like myself and Peters, it's not safe for us to cook. We don't cook. Denzel, we just shut the car. Fuck I got a piss inside of it. All right, let's go. <laughs> hey, good news. I already found an inside man. One second, friend. Apparently, Slacks murdered a guy. Really? Yeah. Okay, so I need you to figure out when these warrants are put together. Um, 
because uh, I'm going to basically dismiss these warrants if they come before us um, by tomorrow. So you kind of need to figure it out. Okay, all right. Uh, let you should let uh you should let the the guy who handles the MBT and let him know about your issues with the rest of it so he can fix that for you. Okay, all right. Thanks, Anita. Bye. <sighs> Whole shit's a fucking mess. What were you saying? Apparently, we already got a lead on something. Slacks murdered a guy. Slacks murdered someone. Yeah, apparently that's what that's what the rumor is. Really? Yeah. Who did he murder? Um, I didn't write any of it down because it's not official yet, but I know who to ask the questions to and get the, ever the door, kick the door open once things are official. I didn't want to jump right, the gun. Well, he just uh, told it to me. I didn't want to... Well, you know. that's smart. That's Do we still smart. have to, like, Listen, let's... Garrity warning people and shit like that, you think? Probably. Nah. nah, police officers would be, um, extended the same protections as a civilian. But They'll what I might do is Miranda. I might... Yeah, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to bring up that uh, police officers should have some... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They shouldn't have as much legal protection. Well, you know why I like Garrity warnings? To, what's that? The Garrity warning says you can, you can refuse to answer questions, but it'll be held against you in a negative light. Yeah, well, that's what I mean, though, is like we need essentially like... A higher standard to hold police officers to than just a civilian or criminal because they are civil servants who, who are being held to a higher standard. So, but, uh, so we uh, talk to the other justices and see how we want to write that into law. All right, so you just want to not do a standard Garrity warning, it'll be something different. Well, it doesn't matter what we do, it matters the law. And right now, the law, the law says that Elios would be afforded the same protections as any other person. So, if we wanted to change that, we need to amend the law. Yeah, okay, I got you. Is, well, what, is what I'm saying. And we can do that. Because I always liked the Garrity warning because of the simple fact that if they don't answer questions, you can use that against them. I, I agree. It's I'm going to bring it up tool. to the other justices and uh, we'll get this stuff amended. I'm well, not going to directly the... amend all this stuff so I'll, without getting the input. So. I'll redact that part for the time being from the shit I wrote up then because I have uh, the Garrity stuff in there for yeah, a little bit it. of it. Just leave it? Yeah, let's leave it. We'll adapt it to whatever we end up writing in. So. All right. We'll make sure if it's... That's the fun thing about writing the law, though, is you can kind of identify situations to correct them as you see them. Yeah, that's good. You know, Pred, when you really think about the position of power that I'm in right now, uh, we could have only have dreamed to have had this much power in our hands six years ago. Yeah, it, fe it feels good to finally be there. It feels like a CPD, but without people thinking we're evil. Everybody did thought they were there. A lot of people said compared us to Nazis. Well, we did dress like uh, like evil people, so. <laughs> yeah, we a lot of black and red, but hey, we had, we had scouters though. That looks cool. I thought it looked nice. Is there any like uh, what I'm gonna do tonight is I'm gonna read all the I'm, I'll probably end up doing it later today is read up I'm gonna read up all the lead current legislation. And then uh, I want to yeah. take a look at those police SOPs, too. Sure, I'll, I'll send them to you. Uh, so, by the way, I don't know if I told you this. The marshals are going to be kind of like, not merged, but they're going to be... Uh, there's going to be some overlaps with DOC. Um, That's fine. Fuck so, it. So, like, DOC and marshals will be kind of... Well, they're both under the DOJ. And uh, I have to talk to Bailey about it. This is what I was going to have to the chorus and do next. And we're going to kind of outline exactly how this overline or this um, overlap works and how it's going to look like. So, so we kind of would like tell the DOC what to. I mean, isn't there no DOC currently? Uh, well, still? we're building the DOC right now. Ooh. It's under it's under the Department of Justice now. So maybe you should hot, maybe you should hire Bobby Charles to run the DOC. Hell no. He is kind Bobby of a Charles had idiot. his chance. He had his chance, Ben. He had his fucking chance. And what did he turn it into? He turned it into fucking Lord of the Flies on steroids. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. They had a safari pass horrible. where you could go in there and shoot the inmates. So, I have a question for you, Ben. Yeah. You think this rumor that Slacks killed someone actually has any merit to it? Or is it just a rumor? It's just a rumor for now. 
I mean, I w I'll ask some questions about it. You know, uh, the guy's name was James DeMarco. Oh, okay. That died. So is there, like, a death report for a James DeMarco? I'm sure we can get one. Yeah, uh, we're getting ahead of you're ourselves. We got all the time. A, you're technically yeah. not authorized, though, so... Yeah, once we get to the once we get the ball rolling. Yeah, once we do that tonight, I mean, honestly, sky's the limit. I still don't have my bar, by the way. Yeah, that happens tomorrow. What? That'll happen tomorrow. Uh, okay, I got you. Ah, uh, fuck's sake! Yo, what's up, Bob? Why am I crashing like this? It's weird errors, too. I like the, uh, the investigations where it starts off as, like, all verbal stuff. And then it's just a game of memorization. And then you jam them up in court and point out their lies, contradictory statements towards the statements that they gave under Miranda on recording. Not a 100k PC. Why is Pred obsessed with Bobby? Because Bobby's one of the best pure role players on the entire server. Yeah, he's he's one of the best characters, but then simultaneously also one of the worst. Just because he always fucks himself. But then again, that's what makes him great too, so. Yeah, he's definitely one of the best pure role players there is on the entire server. It's just that he sabotages himself in everything that he does, so you can't really give him like a fucking inch. Because he'll fuck it up. Oh, it kind of sucks that they aren't going to let him be a cop. I think they should just let Bobby be a cop. Can't be much worse. I mean, Bobby's essentially what they're looking for. A good... A really, really good character, but he's just such a fuck up. I don't know what keeps happening to me. Hey, can you hear me now? Yes, I hear you. Hop in the car. We need to get you a car with bulletproof glass. Are you done with your, uh, you done with your trial? You have a second to chat. Great, I'll see you soon. Hey, one of the things By that the you're way, gonna have... Oh. We have some serious things that we need to talk about, Bailey. You're in trouble. That's that's true, but you know, you'll see when I get there. I'll I'll show you. I'll talk to Santa Kate. Okay? I like Bailey. I like him too, but I caught him littering. Yeah, one of the things I want to ask you. So, there's gonna be situations where marshals are gonna have to pursue individuals. Do you want them to mm -hmm. not be a non-pursuit unit, or do you like? Uh, if, if they need to pursue someone, they got lights and sirens. Okay, but that's not an everyday thing. It's just in the certain situations when someone's yeah. fleeing from them, then they can pursue. That's correct, yeah. Simple. Ideally, we would call in the, uh, the local jurisdictional police to assist as well. What do we do when the cops try to call us in to back them up on shit when they're low on units? Because that's definitely a situation. We tell them no. Okay, good. I don't We're not patrol be involved. police. We're not there exactly. to back them up in a shootout. The only time that the marshals are going to be called in is uh, if we need to take over a scene. So I haven't really been telling the PD this because they're going to freak out when we say it, but we have a full authority to take a, a crime scene over from them if it's relevant to our investigation or whatever. Yeah, so jurisdictional when it comes to, like, state above the city. 
Yeah, so like if we need to take over a crime scene to start for evidence processing, start taking suspects away, we have the authority to do that. And uh, we're, we're not we're not like patrol police though, like we're investigational police. So. That's something they're not gonna understand. Because I was thinking about what are some of the issues we're going to run into, right? And that's going to be an issue that we run into is that the cops are going to expect us to come back them up when they're low on units, and then they're going to have a yeah. hard they're going to have a hard time with the realization of the jurisdictional thing where we can subvert their you know, in for our investigative purposes and stuff like that, as well as us not yeah, well, going I to mean, back like, them up at shootouts. I think the easiest way for it to describe to them is you know, if the FBI need to take over a crime scene, they will do that. But if, if you need backup on your pursuit, you're not going to call the FBI to help you. You know? Yeah. Call uh, call the units. But then would I be able to utilize them in, like, let's say there's a warrant for a particular individual that's been signed off by you, right? Am I able to organize them for an apprehension unit, or do I just say, hey, go apprehend this guy for me? What do you prefer uh, in that we situation? Could, we could probably apprehend them ourselves. But if we couldn't do it alone, then we could definitely work in with this, the local Listen, police. I'm going to be honest with you. In this town, trying to apprehend someone by yourself is going to be the most difficult thing because most of these people are in clusters. That's true. The thing is, though, I think most of the individual apprehensions that we're going to do when it comes to criminal organizations are going to be, like, pretty wide-reaching, you know? I mean, in the beginning, I'm not going to be focused on that. I'm just going to be focused on, like, the cop stuff, and then I'm going to trickle down to, like... Mm -hmm. What I find out. Yeah. I mean, it's all about we, the information we pipeline small. we establish. Yep, we start small. We start hiring people with good heads on their shoulders. We start building out, and you know, we'll, we'll be able to do it all in time. Well, there's one thing I, I want to have. Uh, I want to have like a board. Uh, oh, mm -hmm. how you doing, Beardy? How you doing, Hawaiian boy? It's not Hawaiian. There's nothing Hawaiian no. about this shirt. There's a lot of things Hawaiian about it. Tropical flowers, brother. They grow in Tro like Tropical well flowers? What? All right, well, all of a sudden you know everything there is to know about uh, uh, Actually, uh, I'm a, I'm Maui a Maui and shit. Yeah, yeah, of course. I know all uh, about flowers. Uh, you know a lot about Hawaii for a guy that's never been there. Broke fuck. <laughs> all right, so what I want us to have is a case board, like a workload mm -hmm. board or something like that. So that way you can appoint okay. stuff that's priority and, and whatnot, too. So that way we can, you know, make sure the shit that you want done is getting done. Because working like, that. you got like a, like a priority list, you know what I mean? So that way it's like, well, let me try working this. Bam, I can't work that, so I'll work this instead. You know what I mean? So you utilize mm -hmm. your time doing the stuff that's going to either, A, get the most results or the thing that we've worked the hardest. But then sometimes yep. some cases are going to eat up a lot of time. I've done IA investigations and murder investigations where they've eaten up weeks of time. Well, I guess that's going to be a case-by-case -case basis. But you're right. I think a case board is a really good idea. Um, part of the idea that I have is um, delegating out cases to specific people to actually like hold on to. Um, but one thing I think that we fucked up in the past, you remember the JTF I did? Yeah. I think one of the biggest issues we had with that was like assigning sole ownership of cases to people. Never works. I think that, yeah, it never works because essentially like everything has to go through them and that just, it, it just, it kills it. You know, it kills all the I mean, you know what, momentum. You know why it never worked in the past is because the groups were too large and everybody would uh, kind of like gatekeep their cases. You got to have a small group of people that work everything as a group. Otherwise nothing Agreed. gets done. 100%. And at we some points that causes team. that causes issues with like time zones and shit, but when it comes to a group that's actually effective, you can't really be worried about that shit. It's kind of like you want the people that you want are and it, they're they're around the time that they're around and then that's what you work with, you know? Yeah, I agree. And then people I also can just wake avoid, up later like, the hours. inevitable ego from people like owning cases, you know, because like some people I was never like that. Like... You worked cases with me. I kind of always delegated and tried well, to bring people into them. But I know how other I know, I'm talking are. more so like culture wise. I think it's really important to make it so the marshals don't feel like. It's in, uh, see, it's inevitable. That's why you got to pick the right people. Yeah, but we can also like kind of reinforce specific sections of our culture with our rules and how we operate. So you're definitely right. It's very people are territorial by nature. Yep. I mean, me, I know the value of those around me. True. You always have. Hell. Hello, Hello. President Snow. All right, I got a new one. You ready? What is it? How you doing? 
Fivel and Fivel goes west. Doing pretty good. Yeah, they were all right. Kind of, kind of shit though, but good animation. What the fuck? I the wasn't, I, I, it's been a long time since I seen them. Somewhere. Now listen, I'm busy with something. I'm busy doing big things right now. Your boys got moving <laughs> pieces towing. right now. No, I'm not. This is Marshall shit. Ooh. <laughs> ended up hey, President here. Snow. Hey, how are you? <laughs> I heard you say that, Angel. I thought it was funny. <laughs> so anyway, uh, most of the time we need PC to stop an individual, but it was stemming and arose from an area, and he admitted that he was in that area. So uh, like in Terrivia, Ohio, just suspicion is enough for that to happen. So mm -hmm. Terry stopped. So I allowed that to happen. There were some signs which established the PC. Solomon argued that it was uh, basically not a valid stop, but it, it it still was. I thought you couldn't. I thought you couldn't search a car under the Terry guidelines. You could only search the individuals. Wasn't searching in there, car. just stopping them. Oh yeah, there's no. Yeah, you should also. Part. You can still stop them now. Yeah, you should also read the the guidelines for actually searching vehicles, Pen, because they're we don't use. Are the, they different? Um, we have that more in plain language for our city. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I got you. Because when I was telling the cops that a Terry Frisk or a Terry Stop doesn't equal a vehicle search, they looked at me dumbfounded in a court case once. Well, you know, not all of them know the law. But listen, we have uh, something more important to talk about, Bailey. All right. What was that? Yeah, Donald Sutherland did <sighs> die. What are these, Bailey? Ooh, I, I, found this out I found these outside on the floor. Oh. I might have left them there. Oh. I I think you might have, Bailey. And you know what? That was not a trash can that I found them by. You can charge me with littering? Go ahead. I'll pay the I'm, fine. That's fine. I'm not going to charge you with littering. <laughs> ah. I just might, ha I might have to, though. If we keep this up, you know, we're di disrespecting the city hall like that. I just might have to give you a littering fine. Really? I'll put that shit through the fingerprint scanner. <laughs> I'm not saying I didn't do it. That's fine. <laughs> I don't care. Well, I mean, I should care, but I, I, <clears throat> I might have. Yeah, See, that buddy doesn't there. care. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Hold on. Littering's a gateway crime. That's right. <laughs> First you're Isn't littering, that? then you're jaywalking. Then all of a sudden you're not, like, stopping before you turn right on a red. Like, where does it end? It doesn't. Yeah, there you are. There's money for the fine. I can't take that. That's, that's like bribe. that's bribery. He's trying to bribe. No, I'm paying the fine. You don't pay you the fine. Go put to it me. in the state account, then. He's walking down the city treasurer. I'll right put there. it in my pocket. I'm down bad. <laughs> I'll take it. Shit. Okay. Well, yeah, that actually right. wasn't what I want to talk to you about, though. What I want to talk about was um, I know we were discussing some of the like overlaps and responsibilities between DOC and the marshals. Uh -huh. And uh, my my question to you is, what exactly do you envision, or like what? What kind of overlaps would you like to see? Yeah, so uh, I, I think that there has, has, well, historically has been a, an opportunity where DOC has moved to LSPD, BCSO, etc. Uh, I think mm -hmm. in regards to where we're at, because jurisdiction that we have is correctional officers work in a state facility. The marshals work on uh, the whole state as well, and so very similarly, fall under the same purview. Now, I think that in terms of allowing them the opportunity to grow within the position themselves, should they actually want to potentially go to the Marshall side, it's having two departments within one uh, one umbrella. And I, I don't see a reason why they potentially, if they're looking at another opportunity, if they prove themselves, that Marshall should not be. So I think it's a opportunity for them to move either way, and depending on their performances i think uh should last someone thing you want, want is more. inexperienced individuals doing this type of job though they won't be able to get anything Wait. done and that's why i'm saying it depends well, on their performance we can get they them do. experience correct and so as such you know we look at for example the state penitentiary which is a state facility uh, my purview and thought is the first responders should be the marshals at that point outside of department of corrections for like a backup calls there like if they need a they need like a prison riot or something or? it gives full jurisdiction to the marshals as well 
the mm -hmm. happenings, whatever the happens inside. Should something happen, they have full ability to do whatever they need to. It's shared, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, honestly, I don't, I don't hate the idea at all. I don't dislike it one, but you know, Pred, you're actually asking on the way up here. Um, you know, what would we need to do? Like, where would we get the muscle from for some types of apprehensions or like uh, raids and stuff like that? And uh, I think we might just have our answer. Yeah, but um. I mean, those type of people, I mean, I'm just going to speak from experience. A lot of them wouldn't really know how to handle those type of scenes. They would be really trigger happy and it would most likely lead to some Wait. unfavorable events. You kind of want to work with the cops on that kind of stuff because at least they have the experience in the field, whereas those guys just are correctional officers. I mean, I'm going to challenge your thought. All right. That, wow. Yes. Correctional officers historically have been that. I don't disagree with you. What I would rather encourage is finding those that may be correctional officers that can actually do that on top of it. And some of them may not even be wanting to, personally. And there's no thought that you couldn't potentially work with them. Also more of a I'm likelihood to... stemming of leaks coming from their, their involvement in activities as well. Well, as such, if that does happen, uh, first off, no felonies can occur, so they're impeding any sort of investigation that is a chargeable offense. As such, I'd expect them to be charged and then removed. Yeah, but at that point, you could, you could lose an entire investigation because one DOC guy was there for uh, a, a raid briefing and then ran his mouth too early. It's, it's, I mean, you have the same issue with the cops, out of all honesty, which is why I would just come down to picking people you know you can trust, like, I'm all about giving people opportunity and stuff. That shit's important. But when it comes to, like, high-level, like, arrests and, like, raids and, you know, apprehensions and shit like that, information getting out can kill weeks of work. It's happened to me multiple times. I don't disagree with you whatsoever. I understand confidentiality is of utmost importance in any position that you're at. And that's why, I still, I mean, you're hiring at a baseline. This isn't going to be someone that you're getting the elitist to the least at the uh, most uh, entry-level position. That is not going to happen. But there are going to be tiers of things that you do. Things that may be, well, I'm not, I guess you, uh, what I'm referring to, is I don't even know what the hell y'all doing together with this. If y'all hired to do something together, that's up to y'all. But in regards to the conversation, there's levels to everything. Now, should there be base level, whatever, have the opportunity, and that person proves himself. You don't have to be like, oh, well, here's a, correctional officer for example and they are to do the most high no i want them being competent first between anything and especially in the prison at first if anything should they ever want to move to that that's their decision should you want to hire them that's your decision that's that's it i'm referring to angel night yeah so um, I understand your concerns, Pred, but the way I see it is we control the flow of information. And if we just need some dumbasses to put a gun in their hands to uh, back us up while we do the actual hard work, we don't really need to tell them the full uh, depth of what's actually going on, right? They don't yeah, but I that. mean, normally you have like briefings and, and, and think, stuff. Sure, I think, but for the most part, we would probably be using PDs, like the jurisdictional PD to assist us, and the DOC people could be... Um, a level of muscle if needed um something else to consider is that part of our duties are not just like hyper focused on to raiding like criminals like there's a lot more things that we might be doing which would include um like protecting state officials it would include like actual like manning the city hall and, and being security around city hall it would be being a bailiff and like a local police force around here like doc are going to be more than just standing around prison being bitched at by lifers all day, so to speak, right? It is the intention, yeah. So they're not going to be, I, I mean, like, I'm not going to say they're not going to be as useless as they used to be, because there's definitely going to be some useless idiots that find them, their way into it, and that's okay. Um, I'm just saying that, like, their their responsibilities are expanding, and what's expected of them is expanding, and, um, you know, we kind of need to work, we need to work with them in some way, whether they, they don't need to be involved in every little facet of it because they're not marshals, but they're going to be helping us out here and there. So. They could they could help with quick apprehensions, like something that ain't too big, yeah. like 
something that you wouldn't be putting together like a real team for. They can help with small time apprehensions of like Ex cases exactly. and stuff. Correct. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Exactly. I yeah. Okay. I was thinking too. I was thinking too generally over everything. You know. So. Right. That's why I said there's levels to this. So they prove themselves and actual competent and capable in whatever small time thing y'all doing now. I mean, want to take them on something bigger? That's that's it. That's hey, fine. it's not. Hey, it's not my call. Whatever they decide, I'll do. <laughs> hey, I'm just using that as an example. Everyone needs a starting block. I'm sure uh, at some point, Brad, you were a cadet, weren't you? Andrew, yeah, you and I, I was fucking. Sorry. I was the best cadet ever. <laughs> Everyone uh, starts somewhere. What did I miss? No, I was just saying, re reaffirming your mm. point where there's different levels to that. I said, Fred, you were a cadet once. Angel, you were as well, I'm guessing. That, I was terrible. My first day as a cadet, I remember um, I shot another police officer because I thought I, I thought he was the criminal. And then I ran away from the entire group without telling anyone what I was doing on the radio. Um, and I found some local with an AR and I held him at gunpoint and yelled at him for five minutes straight before shooting him down. Without telling anyone over the radio why I was doing that, and then I just walked back while everyone was tr quite confused trying to. Yeah, you got a fucking good. You got a cracked but... memory. <laughs> I remember like it was yesterday because I it was super embarrassing to live through. The point that I'm getting at is I was a useless cadet when I started, and just because I was useless then doesn't mean I'm not great now. I was one of the criminals' worst nightmares when I was an officer. You were an FTO's worst nightmare. Yep. I used to ask my FTOs about plant gun procedures. Mannequin things for the 19 months. I appreciate that. I was Risa. trying to get you fired for years. I was just so goddamn good. Yeah, you're unfireable. I used to I used to make 50 or 60 arrests a week. Yeah, listen, Fred, we've gotten a lot of interest from some pretty experienced officers in the past that have not been able to get hired. So I think that we're probably going to be able to make a pretty good foundation. Um, so I'm not saying that we're hiring these people, but I just received a text from um, Daisy and Espinos. They, those two are interested. In, I know that Nakota was potentially interested in pursuing with it. And then obviously, you know, some of the conversations that we had as well. And that's without even opening it up for recruitment. I thought we could probably get some pretty experienced people in these positions. I'd also like to do some new blood too. How many are you envisioning? Uh, that's a good question. I honestly don't know. So here's the thing. Do you want to do what was done before? Or do you want to do like new thing or what, what do you like? Do you, I want to do, do, I want to do something new, but we do need experience. Yeah. They're all good. The way I, I mean, see I, it I is made the... them high command. Yeah, I know you didn't. They did a lot of work for us actually. So. The way I see it is, uh, I just want my boy Rhodes. We should get Rhodes. That's actually a good I, well. Idea. He likes pursuing too much. I don't think he'd ever leave the PD. I don't really think that would. Uh, I don't think he'd ever leave. He he likes to he True. likes to chase people down and do traffic stops and shit. That's a good point. He's a he's a cop. You know what I mean? He's like the cop. I tried to get him to be a judge. He won't do it. Says he's in his happy place in the courthouse. And all right, we'll come be in your happy place all the time. It's like Happy Gilmore. You know, when he's having those Chubbs memories and his grandma and... What's Happy right? Gilmore? Happy Gilmore is an Adam Sandler film that was made in 97. I've never seen it. Well, he has his grandma walking around with two pictures of beer and... Uh, ben Stiller is you know. a horrible man. Uh-huh. My fingers hurt. For profit. Well, now your back's going to hurt because you just pulled landscaping duty. Have you seriously never seen that, Angel? N never seen it. Really? Yeah, I've never seen it. You know, I'm going to give you homework. I don't want to watch it. <laughs> yeah. I, I have too much you. paperwork to do. It. Oh, yeah. Style, which, Fred. T tell me your, pl tell me your plans, out. Fred. I'm not telling you anything. You got a big fucking mouth. You got a you got you got a, have like loose, a hint. You got a loose whore's pussy for a fucking mouth. Okay, if you tell me and if I tell anybody, you can kill me. Uh, you won't listen. You got a you got a loose whore's. Oh. 
Um, I don't know. I feel like some of the language that I use in mine won't really fit into an establishment of a DSC document. It's kind of like a separation thing. I don't know. I, I'm I'm looking at it, and then you can take a look after you're done. I I don't mm -hmm. know. Sure. I mean, if you just want to cook some stuff up, and I can go through and yeah, um, take a look and see. It's on the burner. Give it a bit. Sure. I'll let you. I'll let you cook. I'll let you cook. Uh. So listen, I don't know if I've told you. I remember talking to Adams about it, but you know, Pred here is getting his expungement tomorrow. And uh, oh. he's going to be... Well, I never did any I felonies think. anyway. Yeah, he. I mean, he's only got like some minor... Some bullshit charges on his record. Some of them I mean, that last thing's bullshit. fucked up. I shouldn't have even had that fucking charge. I should already be fucking expunged, but they fucked me. Anyways, point is, Pred is looking to the future. Brandon and, uh, thinks get an for 38 months. So he can fully turn a new leaf. And uh, he's going to be helping me write up some SOPs. I already wrote up a whole bunch of shit. Is this uh, Marshall Pred, huh? Yep. I think I might call the title Grand Marshal. Grand Marshal. All right, I, I already did that one. Do you want yeah, to do I Grand Marshal? I might just want to take it back, though. I might just want to take it back. I don't know. I go with director, too. Director is better. Go director. I think you I'll should do director. director. Yeah. Probably director. Director Angel. I like that. Mm -hmm. Which one sounds better? Director Angel, Grand Marshal Angel, or Grand Marshal was our was what we changed Sheriff to in the CPD. It was Grand. What was it? We had Vice Marshals, Grand Marshals. What was the one below the Grand Marshal? I, I don't remember honestly. I, I don't kind remember of just, like, either. Wiped the CPD stuff from my memory. Ah, uh, the CPD stuff was good. It just had a lot of hiccups. I liked how we called our fucking people peacekeepers. That was the. <laughs> We had the Cerberus <laughs> Peacekeepers. They were fucking... That, that, that was a good one. Isn't that the same thing as the damn Hunger Games as well? The Peacekeepers? They were like our deputies. The Peacekeepers. <laughs> and then we had above them was Enforcers. Who the hell came up with that name of convention? Was that yours? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. How high were you? Uh, I'm always oh, high. How many episodes of the Hunger Games did you just watch? No, I watched Judge Dredd. <laughs> anyway, uh... Yeah. Hey, I'm technically the two-time marshal. <laughs> sort of, yeah, in a way. Yeah, kind of the two-time. Like we can get you a, one of those WWE belts. I have I have pretty high expectations for this. I think uh, I think I think that a lot of good stuff will be done. I think uh, pretty much if we hit the ground running tomorrow and get everything written up tonight, I think uh, I think I'll show you just exactly how how hard hitting you know out the gate we can be, even with just you know if, even if it's just myself at the beginning. Sure. So what do you envision, man? Give me, what? Uh, give me your thoughts then. If you but, get out uh, the gate tomorrow, what's what are you doing? I mean, the first thing to to do is to so basically, first thing to do is maybe talk to a few cops that I'm closer with, ask them some general questions about some things. I already got a bombshell dropped to me about something crazy. I don't want to say anything to you because you know you're a judge; it might conflict you. Um, and then uh, go to the meeting. You know, introduce myself on a professional level. Definitely no evil villain laugh. And then, you know, to make them aware of my presence and trying to establish that communication pipeline between, you know, the San Andreas State Marshals and the PD and the BCSO. And then I work on getting my, the people who are still loyal to Angel and myself to be still loyal to us and uh, feed us information from inside the departments. And then... After that pipeline's been open, open up the pipeline of information to the public so we can dive deeper and then see where that all... And what's, what it's all about, the beginning is is going to be establishing the communication and then going from there. I told you he was perfect for the job, Bailey. This man helped take down a government, didn't he? That's right. I'm listen, I know you guys doubted me, but I'm, I'm telling you, who knows how I better do it than the, the man himself? Oh, I never doubted you on this. In fact, well, you, can you, ask, yeah, you can ask Nino why I said Fuck Adams. there's actually people that need a 
the damn leader at some point, they actually can uh, corral them. They can get behind. And then once we establish our SO... So the way I look at it is, even tonight when we establish our SOPs, it's kind of like a lot of basic stuff that's kind of always been, and then we kind of add and take from it and, and kind of mold it over time. I don't think... Tomorrow, tonight, we'll get everything sorted out perfectly, but I think that we can lay the building blocks for something good, and then make yeah. the p the PDs aware that you know we're not patrol officers, we're not going to be assisting them in shootouts and in ten eighties, you know, and make them aware of our job and what it is that we do and how we go about things, and then you know, because uh, it's just. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, especially out the gate when it's just Angel and me. It's just, I mean, we got to... It's good that you're thinking forward, though. So. Yeah, we got to establish the communication pipeline, and then things will kind of build itself over time. Mm -hmm. Bailey, um, something for your thought while you're writing up that legislation. Uh, I put some specific wording into the Angel Act with regards to, like, the marshals and how they operate. Um, the uh -huh. stuff in there is essentially just to outline specifics that they can do. And then, uh, just like a I'm going to be the bestie's biggest asset. Their internal workings are not necessarily. Um, I'm going to take. I'm going to take. Listen, so all they need to know that street is that gang is going to be processes. elevated because of the fucking um, so secret really gang member really marshal. I don't know how much to to the public <laughs> about the actual marshals themselves in that legislation. Oh, hey, what you're saying is, uh, we investigate ourselves and found no wrongdoing there. Look, man, if they want to be short, if they want to be short-sighted you know, about this position, then that's on them. I'll try and explain to yeah, them yeah. how that stuff's not the world's our oyster. So. Did you speak to him in regards to uh, our previous conversation of uh, <clears throat> things? I I don't know what you're referring to. Oh, just uh, you know, think of two kind of stingers. Operations they beep. Oh, I actually did not speak about that. I kind of wanted to wait until he was sworn in first. Well, the actual uh, conversation we had obviously isn't fully contextualized, but you know, maybe if uh, he does, I'm filming with it. Yeah, I got you. Listen, uh, we'll, we'll, Fred, we'll talk about what he's referring to uh, once we throw you in tomorrow. Okay. Well. All right, sounds good. I'm in no I rush. Keep this information to a um, legally protected individual. Maybe so. Bailey can help us with organizing SOPs tonight too. I think he has a little yeah, bit. Of, might as well. If you're doing DOC stuff and it, and we're we can knock we can knock the we can knock the whole thing out. Uh, he just shot himself <laughs> with an invisible gun. Well, yeah, Bailey and I have been in nothing but meetings and writing and shit for the last three weeks, and it's important, though. It's important that we do this. I can help you with it. Just uh, let me know. I'd be happy to. I mean, if we're doing both of these now, it might just help. Well, all right, can I, I be honest with it you? Be, it would be good to have you there since you're writing the DOC SOPs. Yeah, well, like, we, we need to focus on the Marshall stuff before we do the DOC stuff. Oh, that's fine. Most of it is already in motion, honestly. There's a yeah. document of 19 well, who's, pages. Who's of handling SOPs. the hiring? Are, are you handling the hiring yeah, for DOC? Myself, yes. You're looking at the temporary warden there, right? Warden Bailey on top of that. Did you not know that? I didn't know that, no. Yes, yeah, so I'm a uh, temporary warden. I find one that's suitable to replace it. Bobby Charles. You sure that he's actually suitable for his job there, Angel? If he just no, that? <laughs> I I said the same thing to him back in the car. Bobby Charles is quite literally one of the reasons why we bring DSC into DOJ control. He's actually, I'm pretty sure he's explicitly like referenced in the writing for the legislation. No, Bailey. Um, he's at least alluded to. It is the atrocities that happen. Well, yeah, at least I've written that. <laughs> yeah, the atrocities he committed. There's no world where I would ever allow Bobby Charles to ever touch that office again without immediately filing impeachment hearings. Fred, you didn't really see what he did, did you? No, I saw everything he did. So why would you recommend him? Because he's just... He, well, listen, he wouldn't be doing it for long. <laughs> 
So why put him in the position? Uh, I've always wondered what he could do without Carmine. I mean, Carmine got hired to the PD and Bobby got denied. Uh, Bailey, wasn't Bobby Charles the one who causing most of the issues? Both of them were, actually. <laughs> yeah, but Bobby was doing the more criminal stuff, no? Oh, yeah, Bobby had pretty, tons of felonies. Was. He, he had to get uh, an expungement him. twice. Oh, I know. I'm aware. I he did get, hear the second one. He, they, would, they would pocket wipe cops and steal their guns inside the prison. Wait, Bobby did this as an actual guard? Yep. He, yeah, they would. There was no laws in there, so they would pocket wipe the cops and take their guns. Yeah, I I actually remember pretty specifically Bailey like having to have Crane demand that Bobby return things, um, or let people go because he was acting like a tyrant. You know, he refused to let people go out of prison because he didn't want them to go, even if they were going for a court case. I had never heard that. It was the yeah. first time me here. Well, I've heard of some of the atrocities when I did the expungement. I held it publicly. I heard firsthand about things, but I've never heard that one. Yeah, he is like the definition of someone who should never touch the, touch a position like that. You know, he I was think the cops should hire him. In PD. <laughs> it's funny you said that. Because his entirety of being expunged was that he wanted to actually apply to PD. Well, apparently uh, Commissioner uh, Thoroughbred was supposed to hire him and then never did. That was, like, part of the deal why he only took, like, some of the money he was owed or something like that for turning over Chang Gang or some shit. I don't know the exact details, but he got fucked over. You know, uh, he spent $338,000 on uh, the coquette that he had. Yeah, and then he sold it to Marlo for 150000 And you know how much I bought it for off Marlo? How much? One hundred and forty-two. It went from 338000 to 142000 since he had it. In less than a month. Yeah, car prices never make sense to me. <laughs> no, he just appreciated his own that, that heavily. No one wanted that damn car after he drove it. Hell no. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> I bought it though. I don't care. Are we going to have... Uh equipment ready to go like vests no which is why we kind of need to be a bit more reserved with our operations until the construction and equipment is ready to go no i mean so i can I just establish the in, the information pipeline it don't matter mm -hmm. yeah we can still do all that but there's still some foundational stuff that needs to happen before we can like really go you know you're it's, all, it's a, uh, wait nice no, ah. you're fine i was just basically reaffirming his point if y'all uh design and uniforms and whatnot, I would just request, uh, if it's both state ran, they're similar if I do with the correctional officers or same with the marshals at a point. We're not going to have uniforms. We're going to be a suit and tie form affair with vests and badges. Ooh. All right. Business cash. So, Is no yeah. business casual or you just want... I mean, business casual is fine. Business professional, whatever. It doesn't, it doesn't matter too much. As long as you're not looking like a slob. As long as I'm not wearing, I, so no Tommy Bahama, no Hawaiian shirt. That's correct. You have to, you have to hang it up. <sighs> so, right. Fred, let me ask you then, because this is going to be the dilemma that you face. What's that? If you go back to the life of what you have now, are you a dead man amongst your people? I'm not going back to the. I'm, this is different. In a bit, but it's still if a sworn law enforcement officer at this point it's pretty damn close to it nah 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 it's fine you sure about that yeah yeah you're talking to someone that doesn't really know anything wait what do you mean your people I have friends now I mean I had made friends yeah how it goes okay, you make friends just, they're just friends though yeah, they're good I'm not friends. Gonna fucking string you up by your toes for getting involved with this. Yeah, why would they do that? They want what's mm -hmm. best for me. Do they? Yeah, they care about me Suppose and love people me. People are liars. Nah, they're different. Alrighty. Yeah. Okay. Well, you say that's so. what I'm saying. I'm just curious because you go from a. Uh, 
you know, trying to overthrow a government, going back to it. Now nah, we're taking over the government now. Oh. I, I don't know if I'd say that. Hey, we're not taking over the government, Pat. That's not a... Yeah, yeah, we're not. Ta- yeah, we're not taking over. You're right. My apologies. I didn't mean to say that out loud. Yeah, but I mean, like, you understand oh, that we're not. I'm just here to do my job, though, right? Like, okay, all right. Okay, I'm just glad that you understand that. Okay. I'm just here to do what I'm supposed to do, what I'm meant to do. Okay, that's good. That's what I like to hear. Well, wait. <laughs> You are actually going through it today. Going through with what? The expungement, the process, everything. SOPs, and you're committed. I'm pretty committed. This is uh, this is great stuff. Sometimes in life, you gotta suck up and admit what you gotta. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Type shit. AMF. Yeah, man. You got to do what you you got to do what you're good at. You want it, son? That you're truly good at everything. You said you don't know shit. I'm good at everything. I mean, you can look at you can look up my charges yourself, there, Bailey. I'm I'm a pretty clean guy. I mean, my worst charge is a possession for two joints over an unlawful imprisonment. What about the assault battery there? I beat people up all the time, yeah. And clearly, the worst offense of them all, Angel Literate. I don't remember when I did that. That's a serious offense. Is it now? I think I I was fucking with Slacks. Because with Slacks, I I had originally, I was trying to get Solomon Walker to post a court case for me. Uh, against Slacks because he completely obliterated my rights and then leveraged me to take a lesser charge for a plea deal. Or he said he was going to charge me with a felony the day before I was supposed to get my bar when he had no proof that I did anything wrong. I got attacked by people and defended myself. And then he let them go and threw me in jail. That's unfortunate. I don't remember hearing about this. Yeah, and then he made me plea out to a lesser charge. He, f- he forced me to plea out when I told him, you know, I was like, hey, man, I-, I won a bench trial because I just defended myself. There's no really proof that I didn't. And then uh, I-, I just said it was simply a he said, she said thing. But uh, he let them go and took uh, their side against me. And then uh, even when three of them tried, uh, three of them tried killing a doctor in the doctor's office. They were chasing the doctor around, trying to kill him. Yeah, the whole thing was fucked up. And then they forced us to plead to lesser charges or they were going to give us felonies and then told us to wait, wait until Wait, when did trial. this happen? Uh, months ago. It was, uh, if I had my MDT on me, I could tell you which report it was. It was fucked up. It was back when Slacks was a captain. I didn't see we were fucked up. Hey, fun fact, Slacks is actually uh, the leader of the uh, Criminal Investigation Bureau, the CIB. Um, so uh, we're probably going to be working with him in some capacity going forward. You mean he'll be working with us? Yeah, that's actually a better way to put it. He'll be working with us in some capacity. Oh, no, he's kind of a fuck up, but if you want me to include him in stuff, I'll give him a chance. I mean, not on everything, but... The CIB is the Joint Police Department's Investigation Bureau. So they are, uh, you know, they're somewhat, you know, we, we should probably work with them in some fashion, you know, because that's like whatever. How many members the they got? Forward. Uh, four, five. How many investigations they got ongoing? You don't have to tell me what they're looking into, but I mean, do they have ongoing stuff? Uh, yeah, I mean, they're doing stuff, honestly. All right. I mean, if they're I mean, doing they stuff. They weren't, they weren't really doing stuff until last week, but they're doing stuff now. 
What made Hello? them do stuff last week? Was it the announcement of the marshals? Actually, uh, I believe they've been trying to do this for a little bit. Sex okay. talked to me I probably like three weeks I mean, ago or so. You don't need a unit to investigate. To, uh, you kind of just do it. <laughs> no, I, I don't disagree. Why didn't with they that? do it before? <laughs> It's not hard to look into things. <laughs> Talk to people, bolo people, pull people in for questioning. Those that want to specialize in it. You know how that goes. Not yeah, it never works. Into that. Yeah, it never works. They all have the best intention that they would like to investigate a certain way. They get into it. They get stuck in a certain okay. spot, frustrated, whatever the hell it is. And they guys, I got a, guys, I got a, a paperwork nerd that's coming over here. We might be able to work with her. Who is it? I don't know. That's why she's coming up here. She wants to talk to you more about it. Hey, she hey, said that we... she's a data analyst and she wants to have some desk jobs doing data analysis. Uh, is it, is it Olivia? Yeah. I think so. Oh, she said that her name was like Olive, Olive? something. Olive. Olive. Yeah, Olive. Olive Olivia. Yeah, yeah, she works. Yeah. So Olive works for the uh, uh, BCSO. Okay. Well, maybe she could work for us. Yeah, yeah, she had she had a lot of good ideas for them and shit like that. She knows her shit. Okay. Yeah, I uh, I have her coming up here now. So. The like god might have just sent me an angel. Yeah, I was gonna Maybe. tell you about her, but I was waiting until I was sworn in to get in contact with her. I was gonna I was oh, okay. actually gonna ask you if we could hire. I was gonna introduce you to her tomorrow. Well. She's taking care of that for us, then, so... Ooh, there's someone that I really like. Who's that? Martha May. Never... I've never heard the name before. She's a PD receptionist. Pink hair. She drives a pink taxi. Martha May. She's Cockney. How the hell are you going to understand I've never heard of her. Yeah, she helped me with a lot of my uh, tow union stuff. You telling me that you can actually speak Cockney? I was around her a lot. I mean, I can't speak it, but I can understand it. What about this May? I'm not trying to jump the gun on hire. I mean, once we jump that, we shouldn't jump the gun on hire and a bunch of people anyway. You know what I mean? That's when shit starts getting muddied up. Yeah, I don't disagree. But it's Baby good to have names. Baby steps is the way to go. Yeah, it's, it is always good to have names. You're not wrong. And you can pull them out of, you know, you can pull the names out of a hat, you know, for down the road a little bit. Okay. Um. By the way, um, Bailey, something to discuss. Um. I know we discussed the possibilities of marshals like overseeing um, bench trials or like uh, bench warrant duties and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. I don't want to give that authority to just pretty much any marshal because that is the purviews of a judge and a judge. Yeah, you got to know kind of when stuff, something's right? above so, your pay grade in that regard when it comes to magistrate judicial work. So what I was going to say is um, I feel like we kind of need to discuss internally under what conditions we would be okay giving someone the permission to do that and under what title it would essentially be for them. I mean, at that point, it would seem more like a magistrate. Yeah, they would just like read the report of, and they uh, would know when something needs to go to real big boy court. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. It's like the lowest of the lowest you can get with it. Okay. I don't know. Maybe it's some time of promotion within the, whatever. If that's the what magistrate, sir. Uh huh. I don't know. Just think of whatever. Okay. All right. Yeah, if I'll, you don't I'll want me doing that then. shit, that's fine. I'll, I mean, I'll do what. I'll probably be busy enough as is. But uh, I don't mind doing I warrant think the review idea is most that of this, them don't know uh, what PC is. I think the idea for this. Uh, a lot of the actions of this department is that there's supposed to be a lot of things to do. Because you're not necessarily always going to be doing those things, if that makes sense. Well, let's be honest. Bench trials, judges always, you guys always need fucking help with that shit. When I was an yes. attorney, you know, I mean, I, I would request, I think I requested like 15 straight bench trials and I couldn't get any of them, you know? So I know what that's yeah. like. Yeah. 
you know, the funny part is I have been uh, well, around limited. more actively in the past two and a half, three weeks, whatever we've Welcome. had. No bench trials. This, and none have been requested. Yeah, it's because Today people, that's because people gave up on it, Bailey. People, because they weren't able to get them for hey. months. People gave up. They threw in the towel on the ship. I took it this morning. I've seen a lot of them taken, actually. There's a few that go on taken, but I'd say more than not, uh, maybe 60%. Here's Santa Fe. My bad. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Olive. Okay. What's up, Kyle? I'm a toey gonna... screamy man. I know. That's how you were saved in my phone until I found out your name. Okay, I have. I, I just have an idea that I would like to pitch to you guys. Mm -hmm. And listen, I'm open for feedback. But uh, one of the primary like antagonistic relationship in this city is the police and the criminals. And like understandably so just by the nature of i'm sorry just one moment i'm so sorry put that shit on vibrate what the hell's the matter with I you i am i am all right all right all right <clears throat> so i understand that that should be an antagonistic relationship to some extent because of the way that these people have chosen to live their lives right but i don't think that that means that we can't try to foster empathy between these two groups now what I have in mind is something like a translator between them. Because most of the time when I hear these interactions, it seems like these people are talking across purposes. They don't speak each other's language. You know what I mean? Have you guys seen that? So are you saying you need like a gang liaison at this point that speaks uh, legal language? Uh, well, here's what I have in mind. I pitched this to under Sheriff Cassidy and a few other the BCSO um, the BCSO deputies a couple days ago, and what I think is there's a treasure trove of data contained in the PD reports that are written every day, pages on pages on pages of narrative data, right? And what we can learn from that data is we can discover trends. We can discover trends of when the police are doing things well. We can discover trends. I gotta put my ear, I gotta put my pods improve. down real quick. I gotta take a and piss. I think that if we use that data to at least be somewhat transparent to, you know, criminals and other people in the streets, that it might go a long way to I don't know, help these sides see each other as people. Because if we can't do that, then we are really fucked. Because at the end of the day, you can make all the laws you want, but until people like really have that principle of understanding that no matter where you come from, what you believe in, what you do even, you're still a person and you still deserve to be protected and treated fairly. Okay. I don't think we disagree with that point. My question right. to you is what exactly are you proposing here? So, what sort of uh, analysis would you like to have done? Well, if I had my way, I would like to read through these PD reports and... I'm back, you pieces of shit. You know, look, like I said, look for trends. Look for trends in, like, how they talk about things. Into trends of, like, do, do officer-involved shootings tend to happen more often than in a certain situation than others? Or, like, what what kinds of escalation caused this other bigger thing to happen, right? And I think talking to the people on the streets, too, about what trends they're seeing and what trends they're experiencing, and we kind of map those trends in a, in a visualization or something, and we see where those trends cross over, and that's where we start to heal. So how are you going to do this? By, like, manually reading each report and yeah. filling out the information? I mean, I may not go back to, you know, the beginnings of the city when it reopened, but, you know, we're the new... What, is it like a fucking amusement park? I mean, kind of. We did sort open of. the borders just about seven months ago, so... Yeah. The problem I see, though, is that the PD is very guarded about their information. Like I said, I pitched this idea to the undersheriff, and... He kind of gave me the... Because people leak no shit way, all the time. There's no way a civilian's getting access to our reports. And here's the thing. I don't even want to fuck with evidence. I don't care about evidence. Because, like, what's happening... You should care about evidence. 
No, you, no, no. You should. Not as my job, though. Like, what I'm saying is, I'm not the one. It's who important gets when to, you're like, doing measure. analytics, though, to understand the evidence that gathered so you can articulate, like, what did happen. All right, fair enough. But I'm not saying that that's going to be a point of, um, like, the point of the stories I want to tell, right? Like, oh, the, this, or like leaking, as you said, right? I want to create these stories that are a way of the police being transparent with the public without compromising their security and investigation. Yeah, closed case reports. And I don't even really want to look at active investigations. I don't think that's my place. I'm going to take a call that's, real quick. Uh, you know, yeah. that's for the police to do. But I'm just talking about past What's up, Peters? Are already closed. I was just calling to see if you took my vehicle. I don't know how the fuck it got here. No, I didn't touch your car. Weird. Okay. Yeah, I, I, huh. I don't steal cop cars, Peters. Well, you tell them. Yeah, I understand. I, what yeah, saying. I ain't, I ain't told them. I ain't telling right now. We're doing, like we're dealing with some of this uh, Marshall uh, shit right now. Service. I, I don't think. It's okay. Exactly All right. Considered doing before. How's your day going? <laughs> Can you think of anyone that's? Uh, good, good. I mean, what is what? I, what is the? What do you do as a marshal? Everything but better than the police. God, please, I just want to be a marshal. <laughs> yeah, you do everything but better than the police, yeah. I already do everything better. Yeah, you investigate stuff. You look into cops, you know, arrest them if they're fucking up, charge them. Oh, God, please, I just want to be a marshal. Oversee, war oversee warrants. So basically, oh, you God, could, if you I had a warrant, a if you had a warrant, you could come to me and I could approve it for you, because I actually know RS and PC. Unlike assistant yeah, I know chief what, Ruby, I know what, doesn't know what any of that is. Oh, don't get me started on Ruby. I won't. Like <laughs> you just did. Okay, I, I I didn't have no issues with her, and then I went on a call and uh, in the South Side for drugs, and she's like, I can't remember what she said, but it was like. Basically, it was along the lines of her being snarky and being like, what are you doing in the South Side responding to a drug call? And I was like, Yeah, you guys God. as cops got to figure out the best ways to handle drug calls. Uh, well, I don't... I, yeah, how about this? We just roll in there and people respond to fucking calls and do their job. Yeah, I mean, you got to do your job. God, I just want to, okay. I, uh, yeah, okay, I can get even, me, I can get, even do get bench me, trials put in a good a word. Man, I can even be a magistrate judge and handle bench trials for you. Oh, I, oh no, that's, that's, a, okay, listen, put in a good word with Angel for me, okay? I'll suck your dick. All right, sweet. All right, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. All right, bye. Sort of classified leak of documentation or reason, ergo treason. That's right. I was, I was charged saying. with treason once. So that's true. You were. So here's the thing. Okay. I'm actually keenly interested in this. Uh, not only am I keenly interested, I actually I am giddy at the thought of having um, a data analysis go through PD reports now? and stuff. Please don't stand on my desk. All right, I'm, I'm just, giddy I'm at the thought. Trying. And uh, it does sound like something that we could definitely use. Here's the thing, though. Um, we are still in the formative processes and uh, setting up uh, an institution that could have a very serious need for you and your skills. And uh, I think we'd like to go through a more formal um, interview and hiring process before I can completely say that you've got a job. But I think yeah, that uh, I'm very interested in what you have to offer. And well, I'd listen, like to talk to you a lot more. Cool. And if there's somebody better for this job than me, that's great. I just hope that they'll do it because I think it's important. There's always someone so, better for the job, but you just got to have the most heart and want and desire to succeed in the job. That's you, right. You don't know me. I don't. That's why I'm saying, well, you know, listen, do you have, do you have, you have the heart? <laughs> yeah, I have the heart. Listen, if, uh, if we don't find empathy for one another, we really are fucked. No matter what our constitution says. Okay. Hey, Olive, do you have any uh, examples or proof of your previous work that you could share with me? She made a lot of cool stuff for the BCSO. Do you happen to have any of that on hand? 
Well, I do, but I'm not sure that exactly shows you. Hang on, let me text you something. How, how are you in paint? <laughs> are you good with them? Awesome. Are you good with them as paint? I'm pretty good at it. Hold on. Are those our scientific standards now? And we leave everything up to MS Paint. Yeah, I think if you can draw a convincing enough MS Paint graph, most people are convinced. So. Oh. Huh. I mean, that's what we did with the um, the uh, treason trial. Remember, and the triterrorism trial. So if I'd like a Cox uh, proportional hazard bottle and paint, you can do that. Probably. You can do anything in paint. Is that a bot? It might be. Sorry, I didn't have it as readily available as I thought. Just a moment. You got a tear in your skirt. Am I a bot? Yeah, you're all bots. You know what? You're all figments of my imagination. So there's an example of, of what I pitched to, um, mm -hmm. to Cassidy about, like, you know, you can have a public relations campaign that really doesn't Wake cost up. anything, but boop, just boop. shows that, like, you're self-aware and human. Damn, I wonder what it's like to have 3.5 really million people watching about, your stream. Like, this was mm -hmm. more or less... Um, just, just something to kind of show them what kinds of stories I could potentially. Yeah, I used to do this back in the day. day. I've I had fifty thousand people would, watching my stream before. Even though it doesn't reflect yeah, on my see? stats, I've had fifty thousand viewers Stuff before. Like that. Oh, long, long time ago. Time ago. It's pretty uh, crazy. Long time ago. The fucking, the fucking adrenaline that you feel pumping through you on that shit is crazy. So from the energy, that, fucking nuts. Come on, uh, now. It was. 50, she sent me a. Yeah. An example of um, a coupon that someone could redeem for, like, uh, you know, it entitles you to one free silly j joke and dance from the assistant chief Ruby York. And then I just tied that into how I used to, I would strip dance in front of the vault to, so people wouldn't, like, wipe the police and stuff. It was the whole thing. Yeah, it was, like, I, six years ago. And then I did that other one that I just sent you with the coupon for a free repair on PV. If then Shiesty, um sends you flying, and now there's some very specific terms to that, right? It can't just be like anybody yeah. claims that it happens. It happened. It has to be very specifically those terms met that are on the coupon there. But you know, I like this one. Yeah, it's kind of just I a get way the of being like you know. Yeah, she does good with work. The PD saying that we know that we fuck up sometimes and then maybe talking to the other side too about being like hey maybe you don't need to yeah, remember if you're new to the stream hit the follow button but to get your subs in tickets. it's very important that you get your subs 100%. in 100 percent. i want to see like 100 subs right now hey what's up hey kyle it's it's bob how you doing i'm good what's Listen, up eagle got a question or more of a favor to ask you okay i want you to remember all the totally good things i've always done for you totally um, I'm just reading through the legislation, and it would appear that your ex-wife, Angel, has established the San Andreas State Marshals. Yeah, I need to know, badass. like, are there any, like, sort of things, like, tactics I could use against her to convince her to hire me? Is there, like, any weaknesses of hers, like, like that I could, like, exploit? Tell her, tell her she's got a hot ass. Oh, will that work? No, nah, probably. Will that, will that give me the job? Yeah, it might. It might work. It I have no reason job. not to trust you, Kyle. I okay. trust you entirely. Hold on. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Listen. How about you just be yourself and talk well, to uh, her? Is this, uh, yeah. Well, I want to go into the well, in, the put interview on a, or put whatever. On a suit. Put on a suit with a tie Ooh. and talk to her. We're ready to start. Like, Ooh, show, her that, okay. show her that you're professional and snazzy. Uh, few days. Okay. Yeah. I need I need every favor in my corner. Maybe, Got it. Maybe okay. Maybe so, reshave your head. Reshave your head. Make sure you're looking good. Brush your teeth. Don't forget to brush your teeth. American Hunter. Hunter okay. I can do that. Deodorant's a good one too. Yeah. Add that deodorant. Get that deodorant on. Okay. I can floss. Oh, I need to floss. I need. I haven't done that today. Yeah. Talk to her. Okay. All right. All right. I'll go get a suit. All right. Bye. Bye, Eagle. Bye. You will be held to the same standards as any other sworn officer, which is to say they're much higher. Than other people 
Um, All right, so. I'm down. Let me okay. ask you this, though. Do you think that mm -hmm. will ruin my street cred? What do you mean? What's your street cred? Like, I don't know. Like, if I were to potentially talk that. to... I, I, I'm saying street cred tongue-in-cheek. I don't really have any. Oh. Uh, uh, but I think there are people... Someone's follow-botting right now. Me to some I hate people, that you know? shit. Mm -hmm. The thing is, uh, the state marshals is going to be known more so for prosecuting police officers. And I think the criminals might like that. I don't think it's really going to be an overtly negative thing on your on your street end, so. Okay, okay. Yeah, the focus is not the same. We, the marshals are not the police. They're better than the police. Better how? In every way possible. All right. Chat, spam, spam it. Well, cool. I appreciate you guys talking to me. Look at all, dude, it's still going. We'll reach out to you. Well, I will reach out to you personally with a more uh, detailed invitation. Okay, okay good. And then we'll, uh, we'll talk more details then. Great. You guys have a great rest of your day. Mm -hmm. good you luck too. Thank you for coming by. Thank you. Is this how I get out? <laughs> the door's I'll locked. I'll let you out. I'll let you out. There you go. Goodbye. Take care, Olive. Why do I feel like this is a proverbial game of risk being played on this desk right now? What are you talking about? I'm making uh, moves to go one way versus the other. It's uh, who can make uh, the move the most, I guess, strategic one. You need people like her that can actually get shit done, especially mm -hmm. if they have new ideas. If you want to foster something new and different, you need people like her in the beginning of it. Mm -hmm. What's the worst she could do? Leak a few police reports? She won't have access to martial reports. She won't have access to investigative reports. What's the worst that could happen? Besides, the way I see it, um, a sworn law enforcement officer having access to law enforcement reports is just par for the course, so... Yeah, and if she fu and if she chooses to fuck it all up, I mean, I'm sure there's ways that we could look at, you know, corresponding information, you know, between informants on the street, informants within the PD, and the work that she's going over. I'm sure it's not impossible to monitor it. And then if you suspect something, you don't need to be able to prove guilt to, to fire somebody. It's a right-to-work state. Or not, a, or not a right to... What is it? A not anymore. You were saying an at-will employment. Yeah. Yeah, that actually was taken out. Mm hmm That's correct. That means we can just, you can just fire whoever you want then. No. It means that, that was an at will. That's what that means. That is no longer in legislation though. Oh, okay, yeah. I got you. I didn't it means I didn't that go through there's it no legal standard on that. Would that would have to be decided via court case. Or legislation pushed by justice or the respected mayor. Yeah, but who would want to take something to court if they were suspected for leaking shit, you know? Uh, well, I mean, they could, but we would have a pretty easy case to hammer them into fucking... And then the so. legislation gets set, and then, bam, everybody suffers because of that one individual. Oh, I'm telling you flat out. I, I would immediately... If anybody leaked confidential or investigative things, I would just say straight-up treason right there. Nah, you can't... It's the hardest thing to prove. Um... That's why you just terminate them. I think it really depends on the conditions. I think it really oh, depends on the mitigating factors. Government secrets right there. Yeah, I mean, if they're leaking government secrets, that's one thing. But if they're Snowden. leaking some idiot's police report, then that's, I mean, it's still illegal. I don't think it's treason. Did you not hear me say the Snowden analogy there, Pred? Yeah, Pred, you're like 10 minutes behind us. Listen, I the reason that. I like her is, is, listen, one of my envisions and imaginations uh, for this is we're going to have access to some some pretty cool surveillance tools and I think that uh, it makes sense for us to have some data analysis people on board for our mini NSA program you know big brother is always out there watching you that's right oh perfect time the perfect time you want me to meow for you, Chet? Is that what you want? You want me to fucking meow for you? Giraffe, thanks for the 40-month resub. You see, now is the perfect time. Now is the perfect time to get your subs in. Also, I mean, 
Let me take a look at something. Hold on, let me see something. You guys don't even bother using the rewards. I don't even see you guys modifying emotes. Or making emotes bigger. I'm going to make the message effects and the Gigantify emote only 100 bits. And Twitch is really shitty when it comes to fucking getting people to fucking do shit, huh? No, it's not time for Subnautica. We, we're still role-playing, man. Yeah, we got, we got RP going on. Oh, Sketch just went live. <laughs> Damn, 57 seconds and 31,000 viewers. That's fucking crazy. These fucking TikTok streamers are just fucking killing it on Twitch, man. They're just absolutely fucking destroying the game. Ah, uh, to be young again. How old are you? Two min not even two minutes and all over 60,000 viewers. That is fucking nuts. That is just fucking nuts. When these guys like fucking sketch and queso and shit like that start their streams, it's just nutty how many viewers they get. Hey man, shit's always crazy. Think of the ad revenue. You guys want me to do the math for you on the ad revenue on an eight-hour stream at 50,000-plus viewers? Uh, I'll do it for you right now. Okay. All right, so let's say... Okay. Hold on, I'm doing some math. It's crazy. It's fucking crazy when you do the math on that shit. Holy fuck. It is fucking insane when you do the math at that sh of that shit. Fucking nuts. Fucking nutty. What is it? I mean, so if you if you're holding fifty thousand viewers, you probably have a hundred people joining your sec your stream a second too. Maybe even more than that. I mean, when I, um, when I had, uh, there would be a lot of times that I had, you know, like over 15,000 viewers on average for an eight hour stream. And that would be like fucking, you guys don't even want to know how much I was making off ad revenue back then. It was fucking disgusting. Reese, thanks for the gift sub. It was fucking insane. So much. No, I mean, so mathematics, like, so there's another metric you have to take into account 
And that's a lot of these like huge streamers. They run fucking three minutes of ads and they leave pre rolls on. So you got you can't you got to calculate for this variable of pre rolls that they fucking run too, and you just can't. Let's put it this way: it's five figures a day. At fifth, like it's 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 a good. It's just for streaming. You don't even need subs at that point. Honest, thanks for the gift sub. I do appreciate that. Reese, thanks for the gift sub. I mean, I did um, I did a 24-hour stream where I averaged 10,000 viewers once. I did a subathon where I averaged 10,000 viewers once, and ad revenue alone was like five grand. Isn't that fucking crazy to think about? It's fucking nutty. But hey, everybody can just gift a sub right now. It's only five ninety nine. <laughs> I never picked up my shit from the courthouse. Silent Sheldon, thanks for the gift sub. Wagmire, thanks for the gift sub. Mafia with the gift sub. Someone is follow botting the shit out of me today. They follow botted two th over 2,000 viewers today. Over 2,000 bots, bot follows today. Why are you doing this to me? B Buzz, thanks for the gift sub. Appreciate that. Big Red Pond, thanks for the fuck gift you, sub. Fred. Wait, why? What do you mean, fuck me? Because I had another friends. movie and I forgot now. Well, what is it? I for oh, You've Got Mail. Uh, t Tom got Hanks mail. and Meg Ryan? Yeah. I ain't seen that movie in forever. God, I love that movie. They were in a lot. They were in a few rom-coms together, weren't they? Yeah, they were like the rom-com couple, you know? Yeah, yeah, but then Meg Ryan married Dennis Quaid. Which is crazy, in my opinion. What do you mean that's crazy? Dennis Quaid's way better looking than Tom Hanks. That's cr my and I'm saying that like as a straight. My guy <laughs> looks like fucking Jack Nicholson Joker, bro. Who does? What's wrong with Nicholson? Jack Nicholson Joker? You know how he had like the fucking. That's smiles. what you think Dennis Quaid looks like? Jack Nicholson. That's hold on, hold on. I'm gonna send you a picture. You can, I mean, she can love whoever she wants to love, you know? That's besides the point. Dumb. What do you mean that's besides the point? Dennis Quaid was in Parent Trap. Yeah, he was. I said, I think you've got... I think I'd rather her with Dennis Quaid than Tom Hanks. Hey, <laughs> Clear, you need a ride to work? Oh, I can bring my bike, but yeah, I can. Okay, all right, you, you, you can do whatever you want. You need, you need, Don, you need me to get your lunch? Anymore. Fuck. Yeah, they broke up in 2001. Motherfucker, I'm not, I don't keep up on these things. Kyle, look at the picture I just sent you. Tell me that motherfucker. Hi, Crystal. Tell me that guy doesn't look like the Joker Jack Nicholson. That's because nowadays, man, have you seen Dennis Quaid like 20, 30 years ago? That man fucked. Yeah, that man fucked, fucked himself. Everybody so hard gets that he looks old. Like a you want to know something? I bet. Villain. Hey, show a picture of yourself next to fucking Dennis Quaid now, and I bet more people want to fuck Dennis Quaid than anyone in this city still. All right, that's how. Yeah. That, that motherfucker still has a jawline. Yeah, and he still has way more divorces than I'll ever have. True, true. How many times has he been married? Twice? Like four? Good God. I was gonna say, you need to be married to get divorced, Calder. Okay. <laughs> All right, Crystal. I was supposed to marry Wrangler, okay? And then he died. <laughs> so. <laughs> what do you want from me? Hey, what's going on, Clear? We take You want me to take you to work? Oh, sure, I can, yeah, you can take me to work. All right. I always park in the handicap spot. Ah. Hold on. Nice pot on your head. Thank you. 
fucking loser. <laughs> hey, hey! Quit focusing on how I'm dressing, you fucking bum, and focus more on yourself. I don't He's speak broke. Hey, come on, Crystal. Let's get you to work. Thank you. you need to watch where you're driving. You need to not be in front of my car. How many times do I got to teach you this lesson? Yeah, jaywalking is a thing again. Yeah, jaywalking and people got to stop at lights. Yep. You know, there's some big thing. things in the work there, Crystal. Can you keep a secret? Oh, yes, I can. Gotcha. I'm going to be uh I'm going to be a San Andreas State Marshal. We're going to be working together again. Wait, really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I have no idea what that is. Is that that thing with Angel? Yeah. Really? Yeah, oh. really. All right. Wait, is that what was that entail for you? Oh, a bunch Did of shit. Together? Oh, hell yeah. Excited? Oh, yeah, it'll be something different. All right. Uh, uh, I, 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 I'm working up at the county from, you know, BCSO. Oh, that's cool. You know yeah, you keep like. doing that. I have jurisdiction over the whole state, so. All right. It'll be like I'm your boss again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, more power, right? More power! Oh, yeah. See, every time I try to take you out, you just come out even stronger on top. I do. Remember, don't tell anybody. It's our secret, okay? Yup, yup, yup. Secret, secret. Thanks for reminding me. I almost forgot. Hey, no problem. Yep. Hey, Jenny! I don't think... Kyle? Yeah, what's up? What do you want? I was dropping Crystal off at work. I'm watching you. Why are you watching? Watch you. Hey, focus on yourself, you old fuck. Okay. Okay. All right, you got a campaign to run. You better be going in there giving a speech today. I am. I am. I am. You better have. You better be. You better have. Do be better than Nino. I don't have. To, I don't. Stop worrying about Nino. I'm worried, man. No, you gotta focus on. He me. has a lot of my, my qualities. Who cares? He has a lot of my qualities, and you don't really come across was, that that often. He was always, he was also gone for like six months. Does it seem like people care? <laughs> really fucking making it difficult for me to be optimistic, motherfucker. No, because you got to be confident regardless. You need to have, listen, you need to be confident in yourself. Mm -hmm. I am confident. I ain't well, be more anymore. Jenny, is he confident in himself? Yeah. He yeah. doesn't sound it. You got this. You what got the fuck this. do you want me to say, man? Like, what, what, what? Hey, Peach! Like... It's not Peach. Oh, you don't even say hello. Hey, guys. Hello. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, you know. Yeah, well, 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 indeed. What are you doing here? Hey, are you able to get me in the meeting? Oh, what's up? You able to get me in the meeting today? Uh, you're gonna have to uh, ask them. No, they I won't mean, let me in. They, no, they hate me. Their learning, so. Yeah, they hate me. I don't... Hey. I, I 100% tomorrow, but like today, it's still kind of up to them. It's so. fine. You know, it, it'll be better when, when I don't have to ask for permission to be at their meeting. That's, that's actually a really good point. Frank. Yep. It's a, it's a power move. That ass is looking powerful. sirens and beats and the... Hey, I saw that Prank. Saw so what, Peach? Hey, good luck today, Osvaldo. You give him a pep. You want me to give him a pep talk? Oh yeah. my God, he's just gonna fuck. All right, look. Hey, look no, no. at me. Look at me. Look him straight in the eyes. Look at me. Straight in the eyes. All right, look, Cth. Are you the best for the job? No. Are you the greatest man to ever walk this wor uh, this earth? Definitely not. Are you a competent man capable of doing the basic necessities that the people of this town need and establishing the infrastructures that they need in order to succeed? Maybe. And that's a, that's a well, big yeah, if. You are. But what you need to do, CTH, is you need to ignore all the negatives. You need to visualize and manifest your own destiny. 
You need to look eternity in the eyes and say, I'm in charge, bitch. You need to look up into the stars and say, I'm one of you, gazing and shining my light onto this earth. You need to be a powerful man. You need to be more God than man. You need to be more something else than yourself. Now you go knock him dead, Q Cuban Cur Kermit the Frog. You go in there. Hell yeah. You go in there and you bully them around. You don't take their shit. The second one of them speaks out of turn towards you, you say, hey, pussy, shut the fuck up. I'm at the podium right now. Now what's your question that you have to ask me? You want me to call him a pussy? Hey, listen, when you call people names, they remember that shit. If you just say, uh, play, simmer down there, lad. Nobody remembers that. But if you say, hey, shut your bitch ass up, you little pussy. They'll remember that their question. entire life. What the fuck? Who the fuck's is lad? Old fucks like you. I'm sorry, 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 listen. What the fuck is your problem? Look, we all got faith in you, Osvaldo. We do. Yeah, yeah, that. What? You don't seem like you have faith in me, Jenny. Hey, this is stupid fucking man me over. <laughs> Look, one second, Leo, over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pipe down, Olaf. I need you to take out Kyle Fred. No! He's an uh, enemy of the state, you need to no. take him out. That was, right? a good, that was a good speech, by the way. Hmm? Good speech! You created this monster. <laughs> Olaf! Olaf! Hey, who you want to run over now? Who you want to I'm, run I'm over getting now? out of the way. Who I'm getting out of the way. Oh. I'm allowed to defend myself. I thought they took that out of the law. Hey, CTH, you better call your dog down before I go in there and say everybody should vote for Nino. Alright, uh -oh. okay. Yeah, I'm helping, Esvaldo. I can't help it if you were in front of my car, Olaf. Hey, hey. I'll let bygones be bygones, you know? Psh. Good, I don't give don't a Don't worry about it. Don't ever run Good, I won't worry again. about it, and I'm not sorry. Look, you wear that snowman mask because of me. I'm the one that gave you that name. You remember that. I, I just came up with it today. I just happened to have it. No, no, no. You have it. No, you have it because I gave you that name. Oh. That's also oh. not true. Yeah, I did. I called him fucking Olaf. Yeah, but he got that because of a D&D &D campaign that I made him do one day. See, I didn't know that. Yeah. You see, but do you see the confidence he has in what he says? You gotta have that confidence. Yeah, you gotta have Aldo. that. You gotta have confidence in your voice. Tone is the Come most on. important part this. of public speaking. No yeah. one wants to hear someone say, uh, um, uh, well, I can't. No, they want to hear, I'm going to. I will. I'm yeah, better. Yeah, making false promises also isn't a good thing, Fred. All politicians make false promises, dummy! And all politicians are dog shit! Name a good politician. I don't follow politics. Bullshit. I don't. I didn't even know who Camilla Harris was until fucking Joe Biden said uh, Vice President Trump and everybody was talking about it. What did you just say? Some names alone. Camila? Are you talking about Camila Bayo? Oh my Camilla god, that's that Bayo song? No, I'm not Aldo, talking no. about I'm that. The vice president. The vice Kamala. President. Camila. Camila Harris. Yeah, the vice president. No, Kamala Harris, you fucking goof. I didn't. I don't know. I don't keep up with this shit. I don't give a fuck about none of that. I, I'm busy in my own lane. This man's and if someone wants Havana, to, and if Ooh, all I know is if someone wants to get into office and raise taxes, I'm taking my ass to Canada. You're a fucking goober. I'm not a goober. I go where the money is, baby. And if it ain't in America, I'll go to someplace else. I don't give a fuck. Uh -huh. I'm not brave enough for politics. Oh, well, you do know the meeting's on right now, right? Oh shit! Oh shit! We gotta go yeah, in there. Yeah, I'm stalling. Come on! Come on! Come oh, on! Yeah, hey, hold on! Whoa! Don't say you're stalling. They might think you're a dictator. 
Oh, good point. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna say in there, man. Oh my god, oh, you need my... to get your fucking confidence up. No, oh, I have my confidence. I, just, I know what I, you need. I don't know what's the right thing hey. to say. Get it together, what? man! Get it Leo. together! Leo! Leo. Yeah, maybe I, yeah, you can step out of the car. <laughs> no, I'm gonna use this car as a weapon. Hey. Hey. You got it, you got it. You got it, you got it. You got it, you got it. I won't hurt you anymore. Oh, that's Pretty good. much you just want to go that's tell good. them that you're happy to work with them. Exactly what you've been saying as well, though. Yeah, literally everything you've been Come saying. Let's go say it again. You gotta let, you gotta let Jenny lead you in, up. though. You gotta let Jenny you lead you in and do I'll your introduction. In. Yeah. And when you fuck up, I'm here. Where's the confidence you had when you were running against... Yeah, where the hell's... Yeah, yeah, you had confidence yeah, when you were running against me for you, some like, reason. Come on, bro. Uh, not, I if I wanted to, I'd obliterate you worse than Nino Chavez. I'd, like, Photoshop you with, like, Jeffrey Epstein and shit and post it all around the city. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! You literally just stood in the south side and told some dog that their information was wrong. Go fucking do that in there. I thought that bomb. <laughs> Fuck. Go in yeah, there and the kill him, tiger. Not literally, hey, but you know. You got this, man. I believe in you. Yeah, I can't. I can't go in there. Oh. Hey, why can't you go in there? I just finished stabbing. Hey, stay. Stab officer. the cop. Stab the cop. But that's gonna let him in. Stab the cop. And then dip out of here. You think I'm just some sort of menace to society? Yeah, I do. I know you when I look yeah. at you, what type of man you are. I can't, I can't do that. To <laughs> Pussy. Maybe if it was dunking, Pussy snowman. Maybe... <laughs> I don't, think you're, I don't <laughs> think you're made out of snow. I think you're made out of pussy. <laughs> you, you, just, you think I'm... <laughs> No, you're being your own man and making your own decisions. You're not letting me, uh, you're not letting me, you know. Yeah, I'm not gonna let you step all over me. I'm gonna make my own decisions. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a tan down business when I need a tan down business. Because that's what I do, player. You didn't get to know me well when we did that police interview. But I'm, I didn't, I'm wait, I interviewed you. It. Yeah, I wanted you no. hired. Oh, oh. So do I get the job? I'm not a cop, dumbass. Oh. Hey, welcome to the club. Well, the streets are cold. And not that, that wasn't a, a Let's go see. Let's go. You got to get you get listen, give CTH a pep talk. Give him a pep talk. He needs your words. Yeah. You could do a Biden Hall in and then like you know, <laughs> call you go in there and you, like you could refer to Jenny Hall as someone else. Yeah. You could refer you to her as Eve Summers. Joe Biden earlier. The McGregor, yeah. he called me Joe Biden. MRPD. <laughs> Who would you it's rather be, funny. Joe Biden or Joe Budden? Fuck his Budden. You never, you never heard of Joe Budden? No. All right, never mind. Isn't that the crazy guy who's always doing a podcast, talks about rap all the time or whatever? Everybody has a podcast nowadays, brother. Yeah, that shit's yeah. tapped. That true. Yeah, that well's one. tapped and dry. See, Nissan, besides the point, Osvaldo, oh, you need to go in there, show them, you know, who, who's the big O, who's the guy who... This might be your only chance to win their support. You don't think I've already gotten their support? Who knows? Some Who them? knows? You never know until the fucking votes are bo voting booths are open, man. Or maybe you haven't talked to somebody that's in there yet. Jenny can attest to how spineless a lot of the PD are. Yeah. A lot of them are just fucking to. bots, man. That's a bad thing, isn't it? No, but they'll listen to whoever's in charge. What you got to do is focus on winning the people that are higher up. Even though a lot of them, I feel like, are just bots too now. You, need to go you guys are there, really jaded on the PD, you know that? Why do you think they well, are? I'm not jaded, I just don't care about them anymore. Fuck. How many years were you guys in the PD? Like, did... Seven. And at what position? And that should tell you something. I remember when Pred wanted me to be a cop. Yeah. Well, guess what? Now it's time for you to remember you're gonna be mayor. 
Hopefully. Exactly. You're going to be mayor now. I want you to be mayor. There you go. You see, come on, light that fire. Show some oomph. Go in there, slam the table, and be like, I'm Osvaldo Pinga Fria. Slam your finga yeah. out there. Oh, what? No, no, no. Wait, maybe. Okay. Wait, uh, hey, I don't maybe. should do that. Don't. Yeah, maybe. I think you should that keep your maybe. I think yeah, you should keep your trousers does. on. But I will say that I go in there with that big dick energy. That's what I want. Do you remember? Do you remember how? Do you remember like when you used to explain the Cuban federales? Like, have that energy. I'm actually hurt that you had more confidence going against me than Nino Chavez. Oh yeah, I I had. Dude, I wasn't even scared of going against from? you. I just if I wanted dude, to, you're... I could have stomped you like a bug. No, nah, no. Yeah. No. Yeah. I don't even think the gangs would have voted for you. I would have won them all over. Nah. No, you would have been laughed out like a fucking clown. No, I already won a bunch of the gang vote. Sure, friend. Sure, sure, sure. I'll mm. understand why you doubt me. I've already accomplished everything. You haven't accomplished shit. You just said your toe union hates you. Well, because I stopped doing it. No, they, it's, what was it? Unethical practices is what you were doing. Hey, look, if someone pisses me off, we beat the shit out of them. That's the point of the toe union. You don't see how there's a problem with that? Look, good things come my way. They always do. I got luck on my side. What do you have? <laughs> Cuban. Have that confidence, okay? And, okay, fine. I'm yeah. literally the people helping you. All right, yeah. you need to go in there. You need to pull the hell, oh, yeah, hell Mary out. Do. Tell them they're racist if they don't fucking support you. For <laughs> <me>. oh. <laughs> Yo, that's fucking wild. I'm not doing need, that. You might need I'm to pull the fucking Hail Mary out. Oh, is the city not ready for a... My oh, you want another white guy in office, huh? That. Oh, you want another white guy, huh? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I'll be able to wake up if I say that, Brit. What do you mean? <laughs> it's not... It's not... You guys need to stop being so pussy. All right? It's, that, that's, there's nothing offensive about that at all. What? Calling someone racist is not You're offensive. allowed to call white people racist. It's 2024. You should be taking advantage of that. You need to go in there and do what you need to do. Yep. But make sure you're doing it with confidence, please. Let's and go. not go, racism. Kid. And don't sound all sad and mopey like you have been. What do you mean? I did good with the Vagos. Some... Oh, I, I wasn't there. I wasn't there. I did pretty good with them. One of them even called me out saying I was a snitch, and they couldn't. I was like, "Show me proof, bitch! How am I a snitch?" And they couldn't. It turned out being a smear campaign back when McGregor was campaigning. Yeah, it was like an old smear campaign, and they were they were saying that that's the reason why I'm a snitch. Back when Lang was trying to be mayor. I mean, if all those fucks voted for Lang, he was the biggest snitch. He still is. He still that, that motherfucker had the cops on speed dial, and they all supported him. I didn't know he still existed. Hmm? I, thought, I thought he just disappeared. He became a sanitation man and disappeared. He became like uh, that one Lang Pokemon garbage. Don't diminish oh. uh, Lang Buddha. I'm not diminishing him. I'm just saying I never see him. Pretty good guy. I'm not saying. Okay. This is this is. I shot him down a bunch in a gang war though. Back, oh shit! Oh, wait. How does that make you feel, friend? Hmm. How does what make me feel? Shooting Lang Buddha. Shit, ton I shoot tons of people, man. I have 50 documented cases of self-defense on my record. <laughs> and you won them all? <laughs> yeah. I really know how to... Uh, let's see. I really know how to... How do I put this? Uh... Do preemptive self-defense. There ain't no law against yelling someone they're a pussy until they pull out a knife on you and then you're gunning them down. Oh. Yeah, you gotta learn from Pred. Yeah, he's kinda, he kinda has a point. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I yeah, shot, I shot gun. so many people that the cops hated okay. me. 
They hated you for defending yourself? Yeah, they say you can't keep getting away with this, and I say keep getting away with what? Defending myself? I really wanted to be the first guy to gun down a cop in self-defense. That would have been fucking crazy. You can accomplish that. What are you that. waiting for? <laughs> yeah, what are you waiting for? It'll come. I think you can probably do that with maybe Jimbo. Yeah, what are you waiting for? Oh, 100% with yeah. Jimbo. Yeah, I think I think he would be the cop you could get it away with. All right. You want me to go in there with you? Fuck no. I won't say anything. I can just tell you Fuck. how you did. Fuck. You won't say a single word? I won't say a single word. I give you I give you my word that I won't utter one word. Jenny, do you think it's a good idea or a bad idea? Oswaldo, you're I mean, one of my best friends. I give you my mayor. word. You're going to be the future mayor. You have to make these choices. Yeah, but I still want your input. Yeah, well, then just let me listen to your stuff. I'm not... Listen, I, here's the thing. I, I give you my word. I ain't going to say nothing. I already know what you're going to say, though. You're going to call me a pussy because I'm going to try to appease them. No, there's nothing wrong. That's called politicking, baby. It's not politicking. That's how I genuinely feel. Called politicking, baby. I, I stand by what I just said to you. Okay. When do you get to go in? When the meeting's over? Because that thing's going on. Yeah, hey, what the fuck? Uh, hey, chat, where's the like, Oilers uh, at? Where's the Oilers at today? First. Mm. You just gave me all the names of everybody who disagrees with you, and I'll make sure they vote for you by Monday. Okay, Hydra. Okay, um, dude up. Thanks for the gifts up. What? I think yeah. he was talking about cop names. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. There was a cop named Hydra a long time ago. I don't know. Most of the cops that I've spoken to individually really like me. Well, there you go. Yeah, well, they're all, they're all fucking snakes. You're a They'll tell you one thing you to your face, that. and then they're going to vote for somebody else. I mean, but you can say that with literally everybody in this city. That's also true. You yeah. think somebody ain't brokering deals with them? With how much money they got? They're very... I mean, what you should you have done Nino is got has them... money? Why didn't you get Hydra to fund your campaign? Uh, do I think Nino has money? I see him on a fucking $160,000 motorcycle, asshole. Yeah. You, did you I, just I, ask I, me why I didn't get Hydra to fund me? You want to know why? Because I walked up to Hydra asking if, who they're thinking about yeah. voting, and they said Nino because his name is Nino. I mean, fair? That's not fair. What the fuck does that even mean? It means they don't give a shit, Oswaldo. Okay, there's something you gotta realize about the city. Like, 90% of the Joe Schmoes in this time do not give a shit about politics or even the government. And that's why you gotta appeal them a different way. A private way they were doing it was through your fucking, um, carnivals. Yeah, yeah that's, you should, do, you should do your carnivals as advertisement. Yeah, I mean, you're, that, that's what He's people give a one. shit about. Like, nobody else, the average Joe Schmoe doesn't give a shit who runs the city. They don't care. I'm gonna be honest, yeah. Osvaldo, you're coming across as kind of lazy. I'm not being lazy. What the fuck do you mean? You should have done the carnivals. Every weekend. The people that do it. Other than that, your trivia night. Fuck them. Get new ones. Yeah, you're, you're like, good at like, that yeah, shit. Literally. Why'd you stop doing that shit when you're campaigning? Your that would have been easy vote. I, your name. Can't, I can't do them anymore. The people that used to, I used Below to do it with disappeared. They, they're all get feeling new purple. Get new people, man. This. Get new ones. Fuck them. If they're going to work the same, the vibes aren't the same like that, man. Then tell them to fucking wake up once in a while and do your event with you. Well, then they're not really your friends, because I would fucking wake up for you in a heartbeat if you asked me to. I what does that now, say? And I've been with you. you. Mean to say someone can't come around for a couple hours to do help you with the event that you put together? They really hated doing the carnival. Then get new, then replace their ass. It's not. It doesn't feel the same when it's replaced like that. I didn't think of a new idea. It's so simple. But the, that shit that you were doing was your gateway. It was fucking great because it didn't matter about politics, but it got your fucking name out there. Yeah, I know. Oh, here they come. Hey, Osvaldo. Yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Let's do Good it. Luck, stop jerking off before luck. you go in there. Yeah, I was slapping my Why face, Why are you stop man? beating your dick before you go in there, man? It's I gross. I was slapping my face, idiot. Maybe one day, oh, I don't go off duty. He's in there. Is my Just get the fuck in there. Osvaldo! In there, yeah. Osvaldo, stand in front of the flag real quick. Stand in front of the flag. Which flag? 
the, the one right next to you. Just real quick. That flag should be a Cuban one. Should. All right, there we go. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's go. Right now. You said do it. It's part of part of your thing. That's why I'm in here because uh, I am a part of this okay. thing. Yes, he's he's a part of my campaign. Okay, I'm allowed to ask the question, Brad. I know. I was just I was answering it for you. He's a silent partner. Yeah. A silent partner. Okay, I'll remember that a silent partner for this. Hey, Oswaldo. Hi, best hello, friend. Hello. How do you think this is gonna go? Start brunch at 10 a.m. So Fucking terrible. Right here. Hello. Hey, Oswaldo. Hey, Oswaldo. Hello. Oh, me, I yeah, I saw him. Yeah. Okay. How's it going, everybody? My name's Osvaldo Pinga Fria. Hi, Oswaldo. I'm the supposed to say hey. hi, Osvaldo. That's why I'm the perfect hi. marshal. Hey. War friend. Steve. That's why. That's why I'm literally like the perfect what marshal. Like that, huh? I'm tapped in with the Cubans, man. <laughs> Two monkeys, okay, what are anyway, you going on, uh, brother? Fuck you, cut. No, what's going on, man? What's on your mind? I'm not going to ban Anyways, you. I'm running for mayor. Um, you need to relax, Tard. And uh, some of you guys know that, some of you may not. Uh, my main goal for you guys, uh, I really want to help you guys out. I don't want to really be a micromanager. Uh, let's be real. I'm not a fucking cop. I shouldn't be telling you guys how to do your fucking job. I think that's insane. Uh, but I want to work with you guys, hear you guys' input, uh, see how to shape the PD, how it needs to be shaped. Uh, cause I think every single one of you guys, uh, are smart individuals. You put your guys' life on the line every day. Uh, and I think a lot of people give you too much shit. And, uh, fucking touch me, Duncan. Really fucking cool. Um, Excuse me, Fred. Excuse yeah. me. Yeah. Wow. Um, uh, if you guys have questions, I also want to hear from you guys. Uh, <laughs> I really like talking to people and stuff, you know? Woo. All right, Jimbo uh -huh. first. Can you say one negative thing and one positive thing about your opponent? Uh, I'm not gonna say a negative thing. I don't. I'm not in the business of slandering people and shit. I don't. I focus on myself. So uh, what a pussy. Off to me, you know, if he does what a fucking not, pussy. Uh, a good thing about me is uh, I'm very no, personable. A good thing about Nino? Yeah. I think he's an intelligent man. Right. I, I'm I, not gonna say something bad. I got a picture in the back. Uh, yes, sir. Back there. Yes. The new um, rules. Are what, are the new rules? To, uh, what are the, the new rules? What are the new rules? What rules? Uh, I'm going to be straight up. I don't know if the mayor has that type of power, but no. I could totally look into it. But I really doubt the mayor could do something like that. Uh, and I don't, I don't want to lie to you and be like, yeah, man, I'm going to give you whatever you want, brother. Yeah, I'm not. That's not my hey, thing. Hey, thanks, Hulk Hogan. Yeah, McNulty. You're a real hot white brother. Uh, sorry, yeah, brother. Um, uh, who's part of your team? Like, is it just you or, or who's going um, where and doing what? So I'm working very closely with Andy Jones. Uh, she was part of my team uh, up until uh, she uh, decided to run up north, but she still wants to work with me. Uh, she wants me to win here in the city so we could come up with uh, ideas for both BCSO and LSPD. Um, also, we have uh, Jenny Hall back there, former police officer, great person. Um, Hi, Johnny. Hello. And we also have Tessa yeah. Lamb. Uh, she's she's now a clown mom, but uh, what? Yeah, Tessa she's Lamb. She's on my team. Well, she might be a criminal, but you know she's still a good person at heart. And no, she, you're she right. Gets... You're right. You're right. And we gotta have we gotta have a lot of varied opinions around for us to sustain something. Accomplished delivering. What? She's a crackhead. Uh, Dunking. <laughs> What's up, brother? Hi. Right, question. What's up? What's your thoughts on police autonomy and leadership and the chiefs of police slash sheriffs? What do you mean by that? Explain like, a little explain Do you like, like the chief of police? Uh, I don't mind Barrick. Um, in my opinion, uh, I feel like uh, I haven't worked with him enough to know. Too. But I do want to sit down and speak to every single mm -hmm. person when I'm mayor. Like every single one of you guys to see your guys' opinion. Uh, honestly... The way I feel like it should be done, I don't really even think a mayor should be appointing a chief of police. I think that should be done uh, in-house with you guys. I feel like there should be uh, an election with LSPD and you guys vote voted in, and then I'll appoint them. Such a fence sitter. How he needs to go. He's but, gonna uh, lose the, the election the day, because he wants the ones to be working nice. with him, not, you know, like I, 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 you guys would know more than me. So I feel like that's how it should go down. Uh, yes. I have one very important question. I think it's the most important question that's been asked yet. Um, will you bring back Stephen right. Bow? Well, oh, amen, amen, 
Hey, man. I'm kind of conflicted Stop and go on is that. awful. Uh, Excuse me? Yeah, I'm, I'm not to up. coach I'm you, but just say yes. Sure. Yeah, I'll bring Nino, back. Vote Nino, I guess. Vote Nino. I'm my vote. The Haitians. What? The Asians? Haitians. On the Asians? What? Oh, no. Haitians. People from Haiti. I mean, we are shout neighbors. Out, shout out Haiti. That's hey, my, my sergeant. Yeah, shout my out God. Haiti. Hi. Yeah. yeah, but if you don't bring back stop and go, though... Um, Jimbo's a sergeant? He's a fucking dipshit. Because uh, if you well, think about... There's, you know, we had him in a sergeant, though. You know, you know, there's a lot of construction <laughs> there. Oh, hey, Ruby. Um, the wires are fucked oh, up hey. with those lights. Oh, hey. So those lights take, this ring. in the uh, words of... Uh, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> ...to change. <laughs> So everybody's I mean, in agreement outdoors, that there's stop there's and go there. should come back then? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, then I mean, then I guess it's a moot point, right? I guess it's going to come back regardless if it's me or Nino. Right? Yeah. Is there any other questions? Yeah. Good save as well, though. Yeah, speech. How about 24-7 drone surveillance around the scene? Oh. <laughs> Well, you just don't that the Patriot work? Act? Is that what you're saying? What? Oh my god. You just want a drone to do your job? Whoa, 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 whoa. Ne never mind. Never mind. Oh, He's okay. trying to replace us with machines. <laughs> what the fuck? This is going to be Skynet. Already I got a question. I got a question. Hey, most of these back. people are machines. Am I right, Jenny? <laughs> <laughs> That's Angel. That's you, Ruby. <laughs> no, Ruby. Oh. Sorry, my fault. My oh, fault. You were your point. Yeah, the the pointing was over at the clock. Yeah, I, I was really confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Not, it's, not, it's a lazy eye. It's not okay. lazy guys. Yeah. Uh, what is one of the biggest changes you'd like to see in the police force? Me personally, uh, from what I've spoken to people in the city, uh, they feel like um, a lot of the cops have been uh, like when they're doing traffic More stops, of you. Uh, they just get a ticket automatically and stuff. And I guess the the former commissioner mayor i don't know what the fuck he is just told them to just fucking speed away and just leave uh i kind of want to bring bring that kind of back get the people uh get the cops uh back to helping uh, the civilians out and what the uh, fuck did he the, just the, say you know doing the traffic stops and stuff like that again uh i know i got stabbed out here the other oh, day no. right in front of mrpd uh people called the cops and nobody showed up uh and granted, you guys might be low staff and stuff like that, but I want to see that kind of stuff back, uh, helping out the little guys and helping out people that uh, get overlooked. That's my main goal. I Thank gave, you. you think if we're I gave busy, Nino a good we, like, idea to get the PD to staff to go. Like, just letting you know, like, we can't arrive. Would that help the view of the public? I don't know. <laughs> to be fair, I'm going to be real with you. I don't really know. Uh, let's be Pull real. Pull up his chat Someone's log. Someone's going to be mad about something. Uh, nobody's Bro. ever going to be content. Uh, you could, you, you guys could probably go above and beyond, and this? they'll still find that one little thing where it's like, the cop gave me a side eye, and they're just gonna be pissed at you. Oh. Uh, so yeah, I don't. We make an effort. That's all we can do. Yeah, I know. So I got a buddy named Cal that got pissed because apparently you guys don't answer three one ones. I've never personally on my end, I've never had that issue. Um, but yeah, so it's uh, so it's a it's a weird subject when it comes Young. to uh. How was civilians see you guys? Yeah, my man over there. Me with the one eye, yeah. Oh, hey, 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 uh, two fifteen, Mark Swade. Uh, what what is your stance on booty on duty? Excuse me. What, what's Wait. your stance on booty on duty? Very important question. There's I, a lot of fucking I, happening on this PD. I mean, Do we have a booty. We all have booties. Hmm. I think. You, you know, uh, you know what I mean, uh, Oswaldo. Yeah, Thanks. Oswaldo. I think oh, would be part okay part. with it as long as you're doing it like you know. Privately, and you know, you're responding to, to your patch room, Jenny. Okay, no, tell him as Valdo's a strictly okay. anal on the clock kind of guy. <laughs> Me too. Shouldn't there, uh, shouldn't you guys have okay. no, no oh, vaginal okay. intercourse, okay. only okay. anal? I watched. There's good honesty in the PD. Hey, back oh, in the dispatch room, right? Here. I mean, as long as you're all okay oh, with it and you're cleaning up after yourselves, you're grown adults. Hey, we have janitors. Yeah, you have janitors. Oh yeah, McNulty. Yeah. Yep. Sorry. Um, have you um met with um some of the criminal groups in the city? Uh, yeah, I met a couple. And what have you promised them? Uh, nothing. Mm. Uh, I'm not. I've I did this five years ago, and I'm doing it again. I don't want to promise anybody anything. 
uh the only thing i promise is that i will genuinely sit down and talk with you and try to help you the best way possible um that that's just how i am i want to help people but i don't want to give you anybody like a false promise or, or, or die try to here. gain your vote just because i'll say yeah we're gonna like uh Ruby, i'll give you an example an i'm gonna die I, I, I went to go speak to Ooh. them why the vago because i'm gonna pass out and die i'll settle for a thing of water if you got it do you got a right. cup of water yeah yes where may i say your lipstick looks in amazing the, today. in the barrio in, in, the, in jamestown thank you i mean I, yeah i always want to work very hard no problem the only time i've met a okay. vago's member is when i'm blackout drunk and just break I mean, oh. uh, by, by drunk, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, oh, did you just put nuggets in my pocket? Is this lemonade? <sighs> you guys are fucking crazy. Shut the fuck up. How do you get it? 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 Like I'm fucking saying, okay, I spoke to the Vagos earlier and they wanted me to be like, oh, we want autonomy in the barrios, and I just straight up told them no. Like, that's You're like an animal, what the hell? They, they, I they was hungry. Fucking little, what the like, fuck is animal. wrong with you? Hey, I was like, they, they just want you guys oh. to not have any power in there. And I was like, brother, I, I don't know what the time. fuck you guys are smoking. But Optimus Prime? Yes, Optimus. You guys are actual crackheads, you know that? Yep. Oh, the heckler crew over about? there. All of you. Why I wouldn't be taking their shit. I'd be up. smacking them down verbally from that podium. He needs to fucking do that. Thank okay. you. Hopefully I don't get shot again. Well, well anyways, I'm not here to give false promises. That's my my thing. I, I The only promise I'll make is that I will give you my undivided attention and are try to you, work with y'all. Uh, are you worried if you don't make some sort of promises for criminal groups, uh, uh, Nino will, and he'll get their vote? It is what it is, right? Uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna change who I am as a person just to get a vote. It's not... I feel like that's gonna bite you in the ass. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it is what... Hey, man, I almost... Spanish. I almost yep. beat fucking Lang Buddha oh. doing the same thing. Only almost. lost by 30. Osvaldo, English or Spanish? Um, no, I'm not answering this. Oh, I know. Oh, I've no. I oh, seen the TikTok, you, you motherfucker. Nice. Fuck. Fuck. Do they know he's bilingual? Any other Ooh, questions? Decker. Hey, Decker. Hey, I, I yeah, I got a question. Ow, ow. Yeah, hello. Hello. Uh, my name's Tyler Peters, badge number 390. Hi, Peter. Right. What happens what if you win again? What the fuck he has Gunner's badge number? Um, what? You know. You mean like a rigged election? Yeah. I don't think I... I think Buddha beat me fair and square. Do you really believe that? The guy the guy was handing out 50 grand to anybody that voted for him outside of City Hall. What the fuck oh. do you think? Oh. Damn. Oh. Yeah. When when uh, there, there, there wasn't... Oh, there there wasn't... Oh. There wasn't... There wasn't voter fraud yeah. back then. Yeah, there was no voter fraud back then. I think at one Actually, point, there was voter uh, fraud back then. Nobody me, enforced him it. Him and his boys were getting one of those, like, big vans with a gun and then playing, like, taxi cab with them and then giving them 50 grand when they got there to go vote for them. Very creative. That's also illegal. But... Well, not back then. Not back then. No voter yes. fraud. Well, maybe the gun part, but... Yeah. Only reason why we didn't enforce it is because CPD uh, needed him to be mayor. <laughs> I started telling people, take the 50k and go, just go vote for me. No? You still get paid and then you vote for me. There's voter fraud now. Okay, well. <laughs> I was saying, I was saying, you're, if they were going to take the I was saying, if they're going to take the 50k anyways, might as well, yeah. right? Right, right, right. No, I do not have, I have. Your boy's crashing and burning kind of hard. Out of you. Yeah. But well, you know what? He's got his integrity. Integrity don't get you wins. Do I give a fuck about money? Do I look like I give a fuck about money? No, you don't. Yes. You don't look like. Got you pretty no. far. No, you are dressed Thank you. pretty badly. I... No, I didn't have integrity. I was just. No, I, I did. did. I did. Ev I just said whatever came to mind. Yeah, I know. I'm aware. Osvaldo, you got anything else that you want to say before we wrap this up? Um, no. The uh, the only thing I want to say is uh, I look forward to really working with each and every one of you. Uh, I think you guys are awesome at your jobs. And no matter what anybody right, says, now he's just lying to him. There, you should have seen uh, that warrant Ruby put out for are, me. Jesus Christ! The lifelines of the oh, city. shit, Ruby's right there. That's it. That's <laughs> right. Thank you, Thank you well. Put out 18 Thank warrants you. in two hours. Have a great day, guys. Holy shit! It's a lot. You weren't your money. Thanks, Osvaldo. Mm -hmm. Appreciate Problem. you. Problem. Good job, Osvaldo. Um,
All right. I so if no one else has any announcements, uh, just be you. Pledge, be if genuine. You were not here for yesterday's oh, class. Please fine. stay. No, in I'm going to get the fuck out of here right. now. To start straight off. Um, hey, Nakota, you mind getting the door? Yeah, yeah, I got you, friend. Guys, die, officer. Hey, did he just say? you ever want your class two, sir? Class two, sir. Yeah, they got class two right. certs now. What the fuck? For, uh, why? For letting me come hey, in, guys. Nakota, really come here. It. No worries. No worries. Okay. Nakota, when you're uh, done, can I talk to you? Yeah, of course. You did great, Osvaldo. Oh, yeah. Great. Hey, Nakota. I'm telling you, man, that stop and go it yeah? has to come back. See you tomorrow. What? I gotta go. No, they saved you from. Bye, Jenny. <laughs> Yeah, what's up, buddy? Well, you said you were gonna tell me how I did. How did I do? Awful. Really? Dude, in the class yesterday. Yeah, you see, I you're did really good. You need. No, you don't. You you kind of. All right, you know what's worse than someone who doesn't do who gives false promises? Mm hmm. Someone that gives none. <laughs> I just don't want to give. Fa That's not my thing, man. It's not about what your thing is. It's about you I build, feel like, a, you I build feel like, a platform and you set goals for yourself. I mean, I feel like saying that they can vote for their next chief of police and like fucking uh, having an open door where a mayor's not going to be micromanaging you. I think that those are good promises. Them being, a, they've already proven that they can't vote for their chief of police. It doesn't matter. You still give them that option. And they'll like that. No, you tell. Sometimes you gotta tell people what they need. Sometimes people just want a leader and be told what to do. Fuck, I didn't do good. I don't think you did bad, but I think that not making promises is gonna fucking hurt you, because people don't know what to expect from you when they got another I mean, guy who's making promises, and I even if he only delivers them. on ten percent of them. I did lie to the cops about a promise I made with the Vagos. Hey, what you should have done is tell them to mind their own fucking business. I'm here to talk to you. You don't need to be worrying about who I'm talking to. Yeah, sometimes you got to stand on business with these motherfuckers. You can't let them walk all over you. People are like animals. The second that they start stepping on you, they'll just keep doing it. That's why you don't take anyone's shit in life. The second someone tries to push you down, you push them back even harder. What you Damn, need to I do is good. Well, I mean, you don't have a platform that you presented. You just said, hey, you can talk. Like, first off, the one thing that you are promising is impossible. You are what? not going to be able to talk to everybody and hear everybody in the city's problems. You think so? I was a cop. I was a sheriff. And I couldn't even handle the people in my department's problems. I think I, you want to know my opinion? I think you underestimate how much I really like to speak to people. I don't underestimate that, but it's impossible because there's only so much time in a goddamn day and you got a demon. Yeah, well, I've already, I've, already, I've already come to grips with it. If I win, I just will not sleep anymore. Oh, God, you don't want to do that. You need to get sleep. Well, three hours isn't bad, right? That's terrible. I mean, I already I used to be a four to six man, anyways. and now I'm an eight to nine, and I feel great. Yeah, I... I that doesn't happen. Jenny, why don't you tell so. him how you feel he did? <sighs> you, you didn't have a lot of oomph. Yeah, you need to have oomph. It's all about tone and energy. And, and then you, you, just, you, and you let those fucks no. walk all over you in the corner. I would have called every single one of those stupid fucks out in that corner, and I would have fucking flambeed them and walked over top of them. I wouldn't have let them Jimbo get a fucking word fuck out. I would have told them. I would have told them to go to the back of the fucking room or shut their bitch fucking mouths. I told Jimbo to shut the fuck up. What do you mean? That's the, you did it playfully. No, I literally told him shut the fuck up. You did it playfully. Okay, I think you just think it was playfully. I got faith in you. But you're gonna have to come I back here. You're gonna have to. There. I, you need I to come. Good. You need to come here to. Yeah, but oh you're not. Pre you're not presenting. Said. You're not presenting any platform. I already told you the worst thing you can do is make no promises. Because oh, then yeah, people have no expectations. You need to make promises. You need to be like, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna fight for you guys to have autonomy. I'm gonna make sure that you guys have a chief that you guys can have can elect and, and be in charge. 
You know, you got to bullshit a little bit. You got to play the game. You got to politic, man. You got to play the game. I think I can win without playing the game. Well, I hope you do. I think honesty and, 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 and integrity is the best. Not in politics, brother. Not in leadership. No leader. No one. There's no one that is. There's no CEO of a Fortune 500 that's a good, kind-hearted man. I'm going to prove you wrong. Ooh. I hope you do. I will. I hope you do because there ain't many people I like as much as I like you. I'm going to prove you wrong. You got this. I know I do. You the man. Oh shit, Den getting chewed out again. Oh, sorry, Ruby. I didn't mean to be loud. Mm. Hey, what are you what are you showing? Den is natural. Hey, is that guy showing Den his new uniform he's gonna be wearing when you demote his bitch ass to janitor in this motherfucker or what? The, whoa, hey. Is that guy hey, showing hey, hey, hey. is that Den's new uniform promoted to da janitor, huh? Maybe listen, maybe you listen, can get an LSPD listen. vest that says janitor at the bottom of it instead of SWAT. Mm, mm. I take mm. that. What? No, no, you, no, Ding, no, Ding. Well, I'm, okay. I've already been shot twice. Here. Hey, that I, would uh, that would be really good for. Maybe you guys should get him it's a vest. That's not my fault. You got on. shot Wait, you got, on seven got, three. You got, you got shot twice yeah. here. Yeah, At seven so three, they drove past and the shot last him up. Two weeks, I've been shot on the same day. The same well, day. What day was it? It was both Tuesdays, I believe. Well. Would you like to take Tuesdays off? Uh, no. That would look terrible for me. Oh, okay. What are you up to, Pred? Doing anything uh, with your life? Oh, no. You know me, Ruby. I'm not doing anything with my life. There's nothing going on mm. in, the, in the background for me. You don't got to worry no, about no. little old Pred. You don't need to. I'm still just a, towing? A little bit here and there. I'm just a fly on the wall. Oh, okay. That's all okay. I am. You know me. Just rubbing your wings together. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's all. That's all I'm doing. I'm just taking, I'm rubbing my little antennae together, you know. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing going on over here. Ain't no plot and mm, plan. No. Nothing, no, nothing big conspiring. Nothing going on on this end mm. of the fence. How's things going yeah. in the PD, though? Pretty good, actually. Yeah. How do you how do you feel about the the next uh, mayor being able to either a put in a new police chief or something like that? How do you, how's that make you feel? Um, it depends if they're well informed or not, or if they've just been glazed over by some people. I would assume uh, they, they would talk to you, right? Yeah, I would assume that too. Uh, I haven't spoken to either of them yet. Uh, Oswaldo did uh, reach out to me, so I have a chat with him. Oh, you ain't talked to Nino Chavez yet? No, not yet. Or you should talk to Osvaldo. I mean, he's outside right now. You could you could actually have a one-on-one -on -one yeah, with I him think, right now. Yeah, uh, I I got to go to court, but yeah, I'm going to I'm going to have a chat with him. Oh uh, shit, you make set something well, up. Uh, make I'm an unlawful you arrest. I got a class to go to. Oh, no, what no, class just, you going uh, to? Uh, bridge class. It's bridge. Bre breach. Breach. Breaching, breaching. Bridge class. He's going to learn how to play bridge. Isn't that like a fucking Love love you, Pred. <laughs> right. Oh, breach. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. He's very tactical. Very tactical. You guys, so you're working on learning how to breach and stuff, huh? Listen, there's, uh, you know, after a couple of riots in our city, uh, we've got some, we've got some cards up our sleeve. Oh, I got you. What you guys need is be smacking people with nightsticks. You know, I don't. I think we already do that. Need to do it more. You know, one time there was a big rally down at the uh, old courthouse. Remember the old courthouse? I do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. people, people were tr threatening to jump over the barriers and stuff. And what I did mm -hmm. is I ordered all the CPD peacekeepers to pull out their batons, go into that crown, and s smack as many people as they could. And guess what? No riots happened Oof. because everybody was unconscious. Those uniforms. Damn. Yeah, we had scouters. Those were the days. Those were the days. And those Kevlar bulletproof knife-proof jumpsuits. Yep, yep. And the shoulder pads. Oof. Yeah, yeah. I did. We did yep. it. I didn't wear the shoulder pads. Yep. They were. That was definitely some uniform. So what's your plan? 
You got like uh, a SWAT team now, huh? Yeah, yeah. It's more of a tactical team. We've kind of uh, broadened what they can and cannot do, uh, whereas SWAT was very specific. Uh, now we have uh, we split uh, our investigations and our tactical team so that they have uh, defined jobs and roles and can work together better. Well, that's nice. Yeah. And, uh, well, we're getting there slowly, bit by bit. Who's in charge of your tactical unit? Uh, so it's uh, one per shift. Yeah. How'd you know? I know everything. Yeah, it is. I would say Frost, uh, and then uh, we have uh, a leader in each shift. What do you mean audio? Why are you saying audio? Yeah. And then who's in charge of your detective team? Slacks? <clears throat> at, <clears throat> at the moment, Slacks, yes. You don't sound but too again, confident in that pick. Um, I, I like results, Brad. I like results. Oh, you need someone that would get your results. Uh, yeah, uh, they're, they're pretty fresh. Uh, they're kind of learning their way, I would say. Uh, just, uh, yeah, waiting for some results right there. You, you heard of that state marshal program? Yeah. He's outside. I have. I, I, I heard your ex is uh, running that. Yeah, my ex-wife. Yeah, she's in charge of that. Yeah, I, yeah. Chief yeah. and Pred, you want to go? You want to go down there and just watch the course real quick just so you can kind of overlook it, Chief? Yeah, I, I'll head there in a second. Why'd you invite I'll, me? I'll be fine. I mean, um... You're just sitting there like you know everything about tactical, so you know just in case you want to. You know, oh no, I don't know everything oh. about tactical. No, 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 dig. No, there was not a dig at you by whatsoever. Just, just yeah, don't don't be naive. No, I don't believe I know everything, but I just believe I know more than you. <laughs> <laughs> what? You want to invite me to Kristen. breach class? I'll go to breach huh? class with you. Okay. Yeah, great. I mean, if we, we're about to head down there now, if you guys want to just hop in the car. Oh, I'd have to be, uh, be, I'd have to be given permission no by Ruby if I could go. You can go to a court case. Oh, I thought he, you invited a... me to the breach <laughs> class. Oh, what? Yeah, he invited me to the breach <laughs> class. When I said that, he was just going to be there just to watch it. Oh, you're only allowed to watch. That's interesting. I'd like to watch too, if possible. Shut up, cuck. <laughs> I'm hey, sorry. hey, <laughs> so, oh, Chris, sorry, Ruby. this is our janitor who was shot down in cold blood by people driving past on 7th Street. Well, let him take off Tuesdays then. I, I did. I offered him to take off Tuesdays. <laughs> maybe you should just take off. Maybe she's not coming to work on Tuesday anymore. Maybe. Well, I, I'm technically not working. I'm not employed. I'm doing this as volunteer. <laughs> oh, my God. It's a hard world. Do you pay him? I, I, I give him a little something, you know, what, every what are you, now and then. What are you, what, you're talking about him like he's a fucking dog. Like, you give him a little something, like you give him table scraps, you give him like a bag of chips. Whoa. Well, I could. If I had some chips, I'd give him chips, of course. Uh, actually, it's the quite opposite. Uh, she paid me $5,000 and I went and bought food for the PD with her. What a nice man you are. Thank you, sir. Hey, you're Listen, welcome. we like this guy, okay? <laughs> I like him. Good addition. It's very helpful. <laughs> what do you mean good addition? He doesn't work here. Yeah, he's just he, bring, he brings up morale. He brings up morale and he keeps things shiny, okay? Oh, uh, is he like one of those janitors in like one of those like movies where he has like loads of wisdom and shit? Like people pull him aside and he gives them like life advice and shit? Well, I haven't haven't heard any life advice quite yet. Um, do, do, do you have any? Uh, maybe for the right person. I spent an hour and a half talking with Esvaldo last night. Ooh, okay. Yeah, Just I'm... those that need advice, I would say. Mm -hmm. So Osvaldo needs advice. Well, hey, we I, all yeah, need I advice. Would say, I don't think he was uh, going to come down and talk to y'all this morning if it wasn't for me. I could be wrong, though. Oh, okay, okay. I like that. I like people who work behind the scenes and get things done. That is a, a lot of what I do. It's a lot of what I do. Andy, thanks for the 15 and, uh, months. 
And then we take the brunt of all the crap that just happens. Absolutely. We take out our trash. We clean people's mess. Yep. <sighs> Sounds like my life. You know something? I'm proud of you, What's Ruby. Up? Really? Yeah. Why? You try. Try? I, I do. Yeah. yeah, you try. I'm real proud what, of what you. Was, what, what do you mean I try? I, mean, I do try. things, Pred. Yeah. I do things. Yeah, you try, man. You do, you do, you do things. You try. I don't like the try business. I've, Why not? I've done a, things. Yeah, there's tons of people. Get things that try. done. Yeah, it's it's good to it's good to try. Okay, I don't, I don't like. Can you pick another word? You do things. I do. I do do things. I do things because no one else will do them because they're too busy, whatever yapping. People do love to yap. I know that's what I love sure doing. Do, yeah. Yeah, or they love to go, you know, driving around the hills. When's your court case? Oh, it's already started. <laughs> I had a court case last night uh, against Mr. K. How'd that go? Uh, I won 50%. Sounds like I a loss. I won the felony. I won the felony. He won the misdemeanor. How about that? What was the misdemeanor? Criminal possession of a firearm. What was the felony? Uh, government issued equipment. I think I won. What does it feel like you won? Hell yeah, of course I did. You gotta take it, right? Take what you're given and if it's good, it's good. You know, I always carry my rocks. What? What, what rocks? You know, I always got my I always got rocks on me. Oh. What, I love what, rocks. You just kinda of twiddle with them in your hands? No, I throw them at cars. That's not very nice. It's fine. <laughs> Have you ever thrown one at a gas pump? No. Yeah, don't don't do that. I've thrown it at explosive uh containers though with biochemicals in them. What happened? Boom. Oof. Uh, are you part of Oswaldo's team? Is that what's happening, or are you just chilling? No, I'm not. What are you doing with your life? I'm um, nothing. Why? I'm right where I need to be. Are See, you, though, Pred? Yeah, things always work out for me in the end. I, You're wearing I'm, the same clothes I met you in months ago. How, how does that look, work out? Let me out? tell you something. I'm one of these guys that things always just work out for them. You know, that's just how it is. It's like, when you're me, all you have to do is that, sure, sometimes things might be a little bit more difficult at times. Sure, sometimes I might be a little disappointed in certain things. But I know that I don't really have to do anything because everything works out for me. So, I'm a, so what is working? what's working for you right now? You'll see. Well, that's what I'm asking. We'll all see. We'll all see. That means you've got nothing planned. We'll all see what happens. So you, what happened? What happened with what? The the pred. Where's Kyle Pred? Right, right in front of you. Duh. Nah, this is not the Kyle Pred. Oh, what do you mean? You've, you've, you've slipped. I don't think I've slipped. Well, I mean, what are you doing? You, you can't even tell me. Oh, I got some stuff happening, I think. Yeah. Okay. All right. Everybody will see my greatness. I'm like a phoenix rising from the ashes. I am. I truly am inevitable. Inevitable. I'm like Thanos. Interesting. I am an inevitable man. Things always just... Look... One of the best qualities about being me is that thing everything just works out. Really? Yeah, I got the cosmos on my side. Can I ask you a personal side. question, sir? Yeah. How's your relationship with your ex-wife? Pretty good. Me and her are getting mm. together tonight. You're trying to become really? a marshal, aren't you? Trying to become a what? A marshal? Nah, I don't know what you're talking about. And me hmm. and her are getting together tonight. Really? 
Yeah, we got a little date planned, you know. Okay. All right. Where you where are you taking her? My apartment. Then I'm gonna oh. bang her like a drum. Your apartment cleaned? No. <laughs> oh. Well, I suppose you could uh, head back and clean up that apartment. No, nah, I don't clean. Well, Dink, Dink does for a price. Keep his keep his stay out of my. I don't want him touching my things. I don't think I'd want to touch his thing. Good. Oh, okay. Keep your hands off my shit. Oh, well, I I point. probably would pay you better. Yeah, well, I'm not asking for payments. So not a high bar. Fuck this guy. <laughs> what? Hey, calm down. I gotta go. I'll yeah, see you good idea. tomorrow. You gonna yeah. be you gonna be around for tomorrow's meeting? Yeah, probably. Why? I'll see you tomorrow. All right. <laughs> Have a good one. <laughs> oh, my face. Heron, thanks for the 23 months. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's called RP, brother. You gotta role play a little bit. My fucking way! Oh, she's in a court case. Oh, she didn't have to text me that. You see, she cares. Subnautica today? Yeah, maybe. Hello? Damn, that shit was, uh... Yeah, Osvaldo's gonna have to go back tomorrow and uh, recover that shit. He will. He's gonna go again and talk to more people. He yeah, got this. Good. He just... He's, he's not real a lot of confident confidence. that he doesn't need the vote from PD or the gangs, and it's like, that's like... It's a large margin. Um, he's not confident... He wants the PD vote, but he also doesn't really know what to offer them because other than keeping their pay up there's really not else you can give them no there's plenty of things he can offer them i don't know why the cops want stop and go back jesus most of uh, our goddamn they, work came from goddamn traffic stops it's the basis of all cop shit because they don't want to have to do traffic stops that's basically what they were saying yeah they're a bunch of they they really slipped off i don't know what the fuck if, listen i don't know what the fuck's the matter with them it's all right their time will come i gotta make some phone calls jenny it was nice seeing you it was lovely seeing you. I hope you're well, Fred. Hansies, thanks for the 31 months. I don't bug myself. All right, cool. If I have money. God damn, I'm going to be so fucking broke. How'd my gun get there, of all places? Got my gun. Yeah, how are you guys feeling today? I think that the RP is going to be... Really fucking good. 
I wonder how Forehead and all of them are going to see this type of shit. I wonder if they're going to see Big Picture, or if they just want to be like every other street gang. Because I, I, I give them so... I give the, the They'll have a lot. Well, I mean, here, I mean, here's the thing, though, too. We don't really fit in into the gang meta, you know? We don't really, we just don't really fit into it. Like the traditional gang meta. I gotta, I gotta do something else as well as inform the gang and shit like that. I mean, my main goal is just going after the cops. Uh, okay, I'm gonna uh, call Mr. Riker back to the stand. Okay. You're still sworn in, Mr. Riker. Okay. Hey, what's up? Hey, Kyle. Oh, hey, Kyle. Sherry, scoot over. No. Okay. Yeah, Sherry, Done scoot over. Hello again. Hello. Um, okay. okay. Hey, what's up? Well, uh, as a police officer, when can you... We're pushing me, you skinny someone? bitch. Call you you wide-bodied bitch, you, with those I'm fucking... I'm not a wide bitch, okay? Why, you wide, skinny, dangly I'm bitch, you? I'm skinny size hmm. queen, alright? Put some weight into it. <laughs> Do it, I mean... Did you have probable cause at the time that you looked oh. for <laughs> Mr. Miller's ID? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have said that out loud. No. Uh, did he give consent to you searching him? He did not give consent to a search. Uh, hey, Kyle, I'm on my hand. Keep those bony fingers away from Based me, Skeletor. Questions, did you illegally search Mr. Miller? <gasps> Jackson Fucking corpse bride looking bitch. He's a police officer. He should know if he illegally searched somebody. <gasps> give a response. To I mean, <laughs> he has SOPs and ideas of how what? he can and cannot Fucking search somebody. I don't legislation. know. Legislation. You deserve angel. SOPs. Okay. Uh, I don't need the back and forth. Thank you. I hope you're having a good day. <laughs> I am. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and sustain that. Um, well, I understand that he, as a police officer, he is expected to understand the law. Uh, typically... Uh, only an attorney or someone with a bar license or a legal occupation could actually make a legal determination like that as a witness, so. Okay, fair enough. Um, is there any experience as an officer? Uh, go on, go on, kid. Ha after, after you arrested Mr. Miller, did you search him again? Uh, he was searched once. Okay. Uh, what did you find during that search? Is Tug's gonna win? Uh, I mean, this, this guy I is his case. As well as all the other possessions. I won't be shocked if he doesn't win, but oof, it's a sad look for PD if he does. Yeah, they're always dumb as fuck, aren't they? <laughs> they f how do they fuck up everything? Okay. You know, I can understand uh, every once in a while fucking something see. up, but how the fuck do they fuck up everything? Thank you. Uh, Two monkeys, why are you still here if you don't want to be here? I'm very... I'm very... I'm very... Honestly perplexed. Alright, Ms. Archie, if you call your next witness. That's right, you used to be a lawyer, so you actually know your shit. I'd like to go on the stand. Okay, Mr. Miller, please approach the witness seat, and please raise your left hand. Um, okay, uh... Let's go in here. Okay, please raise your left hand. I'm going to throw you in now. 
Mr. Miller, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you, under penalties of perjury and death and other horrible things that could possibly happen to you, uh, so help you, Vigors. Okay. Um, that's not an answer. I need a, a yes or a no. Oh, uh, yes, uh, ma'am. Ma'am. Oh, okay, thank you. All right, the witness is sworn in. Miss Archie, you can go ahead and begin. Okay. Uh, hi, Stanley. Hey, remember yes, my I name. Did. Thanks for the 31 months. I appreciate yeah. that. On May 30th, uh, were you incap incapacitated on the ground? Yeah. Somebody get him a tissue. Um, do you remember anything that happened while you were in? Hey, Ash, is that your boyfriend? No, this is she. Yeah. Like, uh, I knew that pussy wasn't with you. Um, I can tell. Fuck you, mean, bro? I know you ain't. I, you just ain't got what she so takes months, man. It's all right. And you I keep waiting for your shot. Maybe she'll give you a chance like, to get to, to get a crack at it, little bro. Like, that sounds like in the same boat. Huh? What you doing, huh? I'm just hanging like, out. They were acting really mean to me, and I was just like, everything. Well, me and you are not the same. <laughs> yeah, we definitely not the same, bro. We not the same. Uh, while you were incapacitated, were you searched? Yeah. Can you can you stop sh talking my potential? Uh, where's your wallet? You know. Uh, I don't really. He ain't into you, know. you because he's next to her. I hate to tell you this. ID? He's sidelining. He's he's I trying to get close to you so he can get a shot at Ash. Maybe you want to share right. him. Uh, no further questions. What? From defense. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mr. Willock, do you have anything for Kai? I don't yeah. Just a few questions. You don't know the circumstance why he's standing there. Mr. Maybe Miller, he's how closer to me when he's closer to her. Day? Some lady, like Ash, called me. I'm assuming it does. She had like, like something on her face. Okay, and so you were <laughs> in a car as well. Yeah. That guy's missing Did a you hand. Have permission to drive that car? Uh, ob objection. Scope. I've already opened the scope. Yeah, he's by a bit of a handicap. The crash itself. No Maybe rebuttal. one arm is just like Give me way second. shorter than the other. Like you know, how sometimes people like has one long leg and one short leg. Maybe it's like that. Guy's too weird to continue. I'm all right with dumb fucks mouthing off and shit, but Jesus, that guy was just a fucking dopey fuck. Okay. Um, you got to remember, Chet. Yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, overrule that objection. I believe you learn a lot about code. someone by uh, reading their Twitch comments. Do I need to repeat the question, Mr. Miller? Yeah. Did you have permission to drive the car? What, what do you mean, I drive the car? Well, you said you were in a car accident. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, Frank, dude, I don't know what happened, dude. <laughs> so you were in a car. Uh, were you by yourself in that car? Frank was with me. Okay. Who was driving the car? Frank. Okay, this is an I have interesting no further questions. angle. Okay. Do you have anything for redirect? What? No. He left it at that. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Miller. No you can go no. ahead and have a seat. I'm having this case of like deja vu for some reason. Uh, why is that? I don't know. Like, I remember I was over here and then like, the police were over that way. And then this lady came and started switching them and then she slacked, let her walk out. Interesting. Well, deja vu does hit in, in odd ways. Do you need help getting out? Yeah, I'm you stuck. Uh, Sorry, oh. would you mind helping me? Yeah. Someone yeah. help that Just fat little... kid out of that chair. I'm, gonna give you... I'm, I'm gonna not give you... fat, a little guy. He's well-rounded. I don't think he's well, legally well. a kid either. He's well, just a healthy one. That's your hair, Eagle? Yeah. 
Yeah, you look yes, like, it's the hair I've always had. You look like an. I can see why you always wear the hat. Oh, there you go. They got. I know. Perfect. It was what I was born with, man. Great. Okay. Um, Jesus. Do you have any other witnesses you'd like to call, Miss Ice? Put the hat on if it makes you feel better. Okay. Well, if uh, that's the case, then I think. Uh, if you guys are both ready, we can go ahead and move on to a closing argument. So, uh, how's things going with your boyfriend there, Ash? Prepared? Could I just have, like, two minutes? I just yeah. to just mine a little That's bit. cool. Sure, of course. We can, we can have a few minutes to prepare your closing argument. I'll be sitting argument. on the sideline. Okay, well, okay. Ash, I'll be honest. I've always told you, Fred's such a nice guy. Nah, I'm not. I heard he was I'm a real too. piece of shit. Yeah. No, I'm poor. That one time and you told me that it'd be nice if you could know Pred more. Uh, yes. Remember all those times when he would take you on a ride along on burger short days? And I would yes, support I, that. Yeah, yeah we did. And you were along. asking me if you should yeah. do that more often and I said, Yeah, go for it. That is and true. You were single actually. at that time. Yeah. Uh, Wait, were you? No, yeah, I you wasn't offending. Yeah. Well, who cares about Benji, that anyway Benji was now? Very against it. Well, I was not, so I think you know. We live the memories. <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah, I, I do remember that. I do remember. Listen, that. Um, listen. I would like Fred to be our friend. You know. He is our friend. Sure. Nah, it's cool. I'm used to not having a lot of friends. <laughs> Well, we could be very good Fred, friends. Did you have an entire army that would kill for you? Yeah, that was different. Yeah, you ask her out. Ask her out. <laughs> ask her out. Go for it. Ask her. Just do. Yeah. She ain't, she ain't into what it. What do you think I'm? She is into you. Oh, she's uh, got a man though. No, she doesn't have a man. Oh, you don't. I am, I'm ready. When no, I, I do. Well, she does. Oh. Uh, see, wait, luck. Are you ready to proceed? Oh. That yes, thread, Honor, that I'm party ready. the other day okay. was great. Uh, prosecution, if you'd like to go ahead and start the with the Playboy Mansion. Hi, Kyle. Good to hey, see you. Hey, what's up, Kit Kat? Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen <laughs> of the court, we've heard testimony today from... Yeah, I'm a hot commodity. ...the charges at hand of joyriding yeah, and criminal possession of Yeah, firearms. I am. We have evidence to back up the testimony provided in the form of hot evidence... Hot commodity, these nuts. tampering from the vehicle that Mr. Miller ejected from. The vehicle was reported as stolen as well as being found with a firearm in his possession that was not registered to him. Mr. Miller did not identify himself on scene, and officers did their due diligence in order to identify him after they had asked him who he was, and he refused to identify himself. He was searched later after being identified and arrested for joyriding. Where yeah, did you know if everybody in here gifts one no sub? Search or violation of due process during I can process. do a subathon and hit 10K Given this month. Given the totality month. of the evidence and the testimony provided, the court today should find Mr. Miller guilty on both charges. Thank you, Your Honor. Fuck that guy. Okay. Hi, guys. Um, okay, Your Honor. Today you heard from Officer Kohenreger that he did not have probable cause or consent to search Mr. Miller, but searched him regardless. Officer Riker stated that Mr. Miller was not under arrest prior to being searched, but upon conducting an illegal search of Mr. Miller's person, Riker was able to identify that Mr. Miller was not the owner of the vehicle and placed Mr. Miller under arrest. While Officer Riker stated that he just felt around his pockets for Mr. Miller's ID, Feeling around someone's possessions or pockets is still searching their possessions. Through the legislation, you can see you have to have probable cause that the suspect has committed a crime or consent to perform a search of one's person. You cannot Damn, obtain Kit Kat killing it, huh? probable cause for the search through searching them. Thanks for the 50 the bits, the cookie cutter. Took advantage of the I do love bits. And cut corners to try to get to the end result faster. The grounds for the arrest... Uh, the grounds for arrest were obtained through illegal means, and since the weapon found on Mr. Miller's person was it's only found after tree. an illegal search happened, it is fruit of the poisonous tree. Based on the evidence and testimony provided here Actually, today, still an attorney, Ash. They could use you. Mr. Miller's right to dignity, right to privacy, and right to property. To deal with all this the defense asks that all charges be dismissed and the appeal is granted. Thank you. If enough people like you take charge, though, much. stuff happens. Okay, um, I, I appreciate everyone uh, bringing forward this matter for consideration. Um, 
with that said, I'm going to go ahead and call the court uh, to recess while I go and deliberate in the cham chambers. Uh, it should be no more than 15 to 30 minutes. Uh, so I should be back by the top of the hour, ideally. So you guys are free to stretch your legs, uh, move about, um, do whatever you need to do. Uh, this court is now in recess. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. I like how you used your foot for the gavel. I did not use my foot. I used my arm. Looks like you used your foot. Well, you have crazy eyes. <laughs> you were standing. Am I the only one that thought she used her foot for the gavel? <laughs> no. Yeah. I saw it too. I saw her pick her up. With, I saw her pick it up with her toes. <laughs> are you into feet? No, I'm not a foot guy. There's no to be ashamed, bat. If you are. Mm -hmm. You know, apparently that's the same part of the brain. That's why it's such a big fetish. Huh? That, I, that, you know, I had a guy tell me that once too. I swear to God, he told me that three times. I think he was trying to... He wanted to see your feet. He wanted to see your tootsies. He wanted to see them didn't dogs. Even, didn't even bring up the worst stuff. Like, when when I got brought to the hospital, they mm -hmm. wouldn't even tell me why I was arrested and they wouldn't talk to me. Because I was mad, like... I was just wanted to get the hospital before answering questions. They were like, yo, why'd you steal the car? Are you, why are you driving so fast? I'm like, dude, I need doctor, dude. And I was crying and they're like, fuck you, kid. And I'm like, what? No, it's, it's, I'm sorry, sorry to hear that, that Tugs. That <laughs> sounds very traumatic. They always fuck with you for some reason, man. I've been doing it for a long time. How do they always fuck up basic shit, though, when it comes to you? I don't understand. It wouldn't have been hard just to ask you questions about the car, maybe, when you were at, at your bedside. They're not very good at communication. Did anybody see you in the car? Did you ever say you were in the car? No. Was, the, was the plate flag stolen on the car? But that, that's the thing. Like, the siren came on after the car crash. And when I kept asking for medical and said, like, can I get medical first? They go, oh, you switch up on us all of a sudden. I'm like, bro, I'm dying here. What do you mean, dude? Can't we wait till at the hospital? And then we get to the hospital, they don't want to say anything. They're just like, you're coming with us. I'm like, what am I arrested for? And they wouldn't tell me. Well, was the car actually like 1060 flagged stolen? Yeah, I think yeah. they said it was flagged. But they didn't know that till afterward, you know? Oh, okay, yeah. So they basically, so they searched you before even verifying the car. Yeah. Oh, also, yeah, they, they fucked didn't up search. big time. They just looked for his wallet. <laughs> In the police report, like, they both say two different things. Like, one of them actually was like, oh, yeah, we were looking for this specific vehicle, but that's not even possible. Kyle, can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah. You did a good job. Oh. Did I do okay? Yeah, you did. You did a really good job. You know what? You're fierce. So? I just, I just want to see more objections out of you, though. Yeah, yeah. You gotta you really, know, need, you really gotta to fucking more. lean into um, your opponent. But like, what do you think? Do you think, do you think it was an illegal search? I mean, the way that it sounded when he was on the stand, it didn't sound like it was a just search. The way that it sounded, it, it sounded like I they assumed guilt before verifying the facts, searched him, and then verified the facts after they did that search. So I think where he was going with it, and I, I understood where he was going, you know when you frisk somebody and like you, you feel around for the weapon? I think he was treating it like a like what officers do with a frisk, but a frisk is very different. He was trying to ID from, him, but he had no yeah. reason to really ID him. He didn't really have I mean, any all, reason all to he do had it. to Literally, all they had to do was get him back on his feet and say, can you identify the owner of the vehicle? That was it. And then they would have had probable cause. They there was no reason to I, identify him. I mean, from what I hear, they didn't even see him in the car. But you would well, know fingers. more about the case than me. I just listened to a little bit and heard what Tug said. Yeah, they you enjoy him being an attorney. Yeah, I like it. I like. I like. It a lot. I like it's... this look you got. You got this, like you know. Hey, I'm gonna go strip after this. Oh well, that. That wasn't really the the look I was I was going for. Yeah, it's but... like you know, if I was your client, I'd tuck a dollar into your uh, your little leg thing afterwards, and I'd be like, "Hey, good job." Have you ever Thanks. thought about getting on top of the table and dancing? You know, I I can't say that I Slash, have. Slash, thanks for twenty months. I got you. 
How are you doing? Are you good? I'm doing pretty good. Things are working out for me pretty well. Do you have um? Do you have a mask, Kyle? By by the way. No. Why do I look fucked up? You you look a little. Oh God, I'm ugly. Oh no, Kyle. I'm ugly. Welcome oh, back, Kyle. Come back. Yeah, what's up? You look great. You you always look great, Kyle. Come on. Yeah, I know I do. So what's up? Uh, What's been going on? Uh, just just this. I have like four or five things. I got to post the docket. Prime, thanks for the ten months. So I'm a little. You know what I like about you? You get shit done. Oh, thanks. I, try. I might need somebody like you. I'm great. Hey you guys, stuff? how you doing? Hello. Good, thank you. How do you guys just I'm... fuck everything up? I'm so I'm sorry, Cohen for. I don't be sorry. How do you guys just fuck everything up? Hey, how, how do you fuck everything up so consistently? What? <laughs> good, good one. Yeah, I like good fucking one. with them. War and Peace, thanks for the five bomb. Uh, what about you? What have you been up to? Let's just say when you're mayor? Kyle Pred, things nah. Fuck being mayor. I got better stuff in the, in the on the horizon. Okay, like what? You'll see. You'll oh. all see. Why'd you say it like that? Cause the whole world will see. Okay, well I'm I'm excited to see what you do. No kit. Hmm. You're one of the most important people to me. Thank you. You're I bet if you died, I would be in your note. I would probably be in your will, wouldn't I? Of I'd probably course. be in your note. Of course you would be. Why, why wouldn't you? I you're, used to have this really good friend. Her one name of my was best Rhodes. friends, Kyle. Her name was Rose Rhodes, and when she died, Ro she didn't Rose. even have yeah, she didn't even have anything for me in the thing. And then I went off and I shot a dog at her funeral. Shot a dog at her funeral. Yeah, I start, I went up on the. I started singing "Seal Kiss from a Rose" because her name was Rose. Oh yeah, that's. And I, I got bet like she would have loved that. Yeah, and then they all booed me. They boo Why'd they boo you? Jealous of my fucking generational talent. I'm, I'm sure Baby, oh. I just want to be a kiss from a rose on the rain. Ooh. How could they boo that? I don't know how they could fucking boo that. I'm a generational talent. Mm hmm. And then I shot a police dog. Oh my god. <laughs> and I escaped custody. Well, they were probably, you know, busy with the the funeral. Nah, they're never too busy when it comes to me doing anything. Yeah. You know that, something? That's... I want you to know something, mm. Kit Kat. I think you're doing a really good job. You're really making it your own. You know, I'll always be there to support you. Like Likewise, I'd, I'd always want to support you too, Kyle. It's all right. You don't have to worry about me. Things just work. I have meta luck. That's great. Yeah, things just work out for me. It's crazy. It's fucking nuts. I know that everything's just going to work out for me. I believe it. You just yeah. you keep working hard. I don't really work. I don't got to work too hard. What? Hey, it's one of the best things about meta luck. Things just work out. You know, the cosmos has chosen me. Oh. Okay. Cosmos rewards me and gives me everything I want in life, regardless of you, me even deserving it. Is it like it. manifesting or? No, I just I just believe everything's always going to work out for me. I I'm heard like lucky. that is that is a thing. Like you just you believe something like. I don't believe. I know. You know. You know. Okay. okay. There's a difference. Okay. I don't. There's no. There's no doubting here, Kit Kat. I know it. I okay. I know it. I, Sorry. All right, I need, Sorry I need some that. of that confidence. Yeah, you gotta have that confidence. You gotta find it. Now look at you. I You're an attractive like... woman. Th thanks. How's things with Ray? That shit fall apart yet? No, nope, things are good. Jesus, what Very the fuck? Happy. What is it? What is this shit gonna be done? I don't. I don't know. He's not the one. Why, why do you say that? Because I know it. I can feel it. I, I listen. You feel. You can I feel can it. I can feel it. I know that. I know it. 
I'm trying to be there for you, damn it. Well, I appreciate you being there. Uh, you know, it... Look, do you want to know it, what I got going on? What do you got going on? But you can't tell anybody. Come I won't here. tell anybody. Come on. <clears throat> Fucking asshole. All right. <clears throat> he's, not, he's not doing anything, Kyle. Oh! oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hey, what, I was. What's going on? I was not beating. All right, I was not beating Kit Kat. Can, I was not beating this cat, woman kid? in the in the hallway. Yeah. It was can accidental. I have, can I have a bandage, Ruby? Yeah. Tell her it was an accident. It was an accident. <laughs> See, it was an accident. I was trying to. That guy was talking talking mess, and I was trying to hit him, and then I just Thank got so filled with it. rage, I punched a woman. What? I think he was. You had to go for find a woman. Else, but I, 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 I just was, had to I punch was a woman. Probably in the way. Well, there's. Like, I mean, there's a man right there. My face you punch was probably in I the tried way hitting the man. Like punch or something. Damn, Kyle. That court case didn't look good for your boys. Doesn't it? Oh God! All right. They keep on fucking up everything. Even stuff we'll that's like what, as easy we'll as that arrest the that they could have. Like you know, if 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 Tux is granted the appeal, then yeah, it's bad, Ruby. But well, you know, I don't even know. I just thought I'd come and see what the hell's going on. Yeah. The marshal's office ain't gonna be happy about this. Really? Isn't that what they're yeah, designed I mean, for? Really? I read the stuff. Really? I mean, oh, you read they, it? If the appeal goes through, I might be able to actually push for like evidence tampering and obstruction of justice, honestly. Uh, on, on who? On your officers. Jeez. You know what, Ruby? I always liked you. Yeah, I gotta go see what this mess is all about. Son of a gun. Son of a gun, indeed. All right. Well, um, me and Kit Kat got to go have a private meeting. Oh, you going on a date? We're going to... No, No, she's not. with Ray, unfortunately. That shit oh, ain't good. Yeah. Tell her that shit ain't going to work out. All right. Nice to see you, Ruby. <laughs> okay. I can only seem like, you know, I got to keep an eye on the door in case... Hey, we're not going to go too far away. Don't worry about it. And you know the judge always makes announcements when they're about to render a verdict if all the parties aren't there. Right. No. So right here, right here. I gotta watch the door. Listen. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna fill you in. Okay. Nobody can know. All right, I won't tell anybody. Tomorrow, I get sworn in as the first marshal. Really? Yeah. Well, that's awesome. That's amazing. Yeah. It's gonna be something. I want you to okay. be there. Okay. Uh, what time? Oh no, probably before the meeting. Okay. And then and then I uh, have to go into the meeting and introduce myself. Well, I'm proud of you, Kyle. I think that's great. See, everything just Hold works out. Hold people accountable. Oh, I'm gonna fuck them up. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna beat their well, ass. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, just just you know, make sure you're not doing it like maliciously, so they can't like claim malicious prosecution. It's going to be malicious. Okay. Well, I wish you hadn't told me that. It's going to be absolutely malicious, the definition of it. Absolutely malicious. I'm going to have, I have anger in my heart. No yeah. other emotions exist inside me. All right. Fantastic. Everything well, I gonna do, do is in malice. Yeah. You're going to do great. I'm, uh, I'm proud of you. No one knows. Don't tell No anybody. one knows. I won't tell anybody. I promise. There's a lot of people that suspect things. You got to tell them. There's, you got to be like, if you hear anybody say anything, you go, Kyle Pred would tell me if he was going to do that. There's no way. Okay. I need got you to it. be a good actress. I. How I, good are I, you? I, All right. Do you have the script? I have the script for Fast Five ready. All right. I'll be Dom. You be Letty. What the hell is Fast Five? Do we, it's the best one. It's where they go to Brazil. Is that like the Fast and the Furious movies? Yeah. They go to Brazil in it. Okay. Haven't yeah, they seen go any to Brazil. Well, yeah, it's, it's, it's Brazil's cool. The true classic. Yeah. The only good one. You know, if you watch those movies in descending order, it's about a group of rogue secret agents that become lowly street mm -hmm. racers, and it's very depressing. 
Yeah. And they use black magic to bring Paul Walker but back to life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you watch it, you gotta watch him in descending. If you wa watch him in descending order. Okay. Buy a bunch All of right, beers I and energy drinks and mix them together, and then watch okay. the entire Fast franchise at 2x speed in descending order. Two? Okay. <laughs> It'll be... Okay. Maybe get a little bit of weed, make a day out of it, you know? Uh-huh. Make, it'll blow the, your it'll the next blow day your day off of work just just to to recoup from from all of oh, that you'll excitement. need a couple days you'll need a, a couple watching them watching it in descending order is crazy <laughs> it is nuts all right i can't can't wait sounds like it's gonna be a great time hey you know you maybe uh, you could come over to my apartment we could watch it together i have a tv and a bean bag i mean Probably just watch it with Ray. Yeah, I need to watch. You know, he wouldn't appreciate it. What do you mean? He wouldn't appreciate the cinema. Ray likes movies. What? What's his favorite movie? What is it? What's his favorite movie? Uh. Um. Well. We watched Cars 3 recently. Oh my god, you watched Cars 3? I'll never look at you the same. Want to head back into the courtroom? Is she coming back? She'll probably be done in a minute or two, I would imagine. Fun fact, chat, I've never watched any of the Cars movies. thing i regret is like i was bringing up like you know how they wouldn't tell me why they arrested me and stuff or like some of the things they said but yeah i mean i think I... that would have been fluff so what we might be able to do is if your appeal is granted uh mm -hmm. based on like the evidence obtained today that we might be able to sue oh yeah i didn't bring could, it down we could go we could go that route, and then you could talk about all of that. Um, yeah, that's a good idea. Even though the incident is out of the statute of limitations, um, they, we may be able to still sue because the evidence that they violated your rights um, happened today. Oh, yeah, that's so a good idea. We'll just have to see. Um, I'll have to probably petition for it. Yeah, I think that'd be good. I mean, it makes sense because, like, we can't do civil till the criminal, so. Yeah. This, I still think it's crazy that they lied in the police report. Like, not even, like, small stuff. It's just, like, Fabrication I, I of evidence is a serious crime. They said, like, um, they were, like, they were chasing my particular car down originally, which there's no shot in hell. They were chasing that the particular happening. car down. Did they ever ID the particular car that they were chasing down? Mm -mm. I think so, they imply in the report they were looking for my car, but that's not even possible. Oh, that's kind of strange. I mean, maybe the car, maybe they taking it. They're taking advantage of the dispatch system reporting that specific car stolen and saying they were looking for that specific vehicle. Everything that happened, um, like. What actually you heard in this court case is like 10% of how bad it was. Like, they were getting me at one point. They were like, like trying to force me to say things. Otherwise, they're going to press the charges. And like, they're like, yo, we're not even calling our superior down unless like you are nice to us and say pretty please. And I'm like, what the heck, dude? Yeah. Yeah, and that's why if we go the civil route, we'll call Tony as a witness, and he can testify on all. Why of go that. the civil route when you can go criminal? And then I mean, civil. We we may we may you mean press charges against the cops? Yeah. Yeah. 
may do that. Based I mean, on, that well, marshal's outcome, office would probably love doing that. Based on the outcome, like, if the appeal is... It's all based on if the appeal is granted, you know? Yeah. Because we get mainly about now about the case. No, Tugs, Depends I'm proud of if you. I, if I argued it well I enough, know. I guess. You always get the cops to fuck up. It's like every time they fucking start doing anything with you, they magically just fumble everything. But I guess they do that with everybody. I think it, yeah, I think it happens a lot. It's just people don't want to go to court. And I'm like, whatever, dude, I'm down. I kind of like court. It's like, to me, it's kind of like, yeah, PD does crazy shit. But like, if you don't bring it to court, then like, are they going to change? You know what I mean? Courts, the fundamentally one of the most important parts of our society. People don't understand it. If you want change, you take shit to court. It is the pillar in everything, and people ignore it. I'm glad you don't, Tugs. You're a smart boy. They want to waste my time in the cells. I always said in court that I fuck them. Good. Wait, what's up, Marshall? Uh, who knows? It was a long time ago. They told me to. Hey, big guy, how you doing? I ain't seen you for a while. Hey. Yeah, Hello. you wake up early as fuck. Yeah, my bad. He's old. I'm for I am 40. Ew. Holy cow. Yeah, I'm a 40-year-old man. Is it like being a grandpa? Yeah. Hey, hey, have some respect for your elders there, son. <laughs> Sorry, sir. That's better. So what's it like being a grandpa, sir? <laughs> 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 Fucking got his ass. Ouch. Mm -hmm. Hey, Maeve, how you doing? Hi, Fred. I ain't talked to you in a while. Yeah, no, I've been living... I sitting a little too <laughs> close. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, our knees are touching. Yeah, you're man spreading. I am a man after all, and, and this man be spreading. Can you spread somewhere else? Hey, hey, give me a second. I'm getting comfortable. All right. All right. Is, is this your court case? Yeah. Well, I was there. Yeah, I'm noticing a pattern. What? You come to court a lot. It's like my third time. That's a lot. That's a lot? Yeah. Some might say you're establishing a pattern of negligence. It's almost like the lawyers are establishing a pattern of lying on the stand. But hey, oh, you do you. The lawyer what didn't take the stand, though. Lawyer. Whatever, dude. Lawyer lying. Same difference. Lawyers, lawyers don't make statements, though, that the judge perceives as actual, you know, fact. They only yeah, work they with the statement. evidence I mean, that's I mean, presented from statements in, in, in court. The, in the one that was mistrialed, Tony lied. And yeah, people are going to lie. That happens. Closing statements. They're considered. And if a lawyer wants to get up and lie in their closing statement... Well, you point that out with an objection. Uh, we, you can't object to closing statement. Yes, you can. If they're misstating I facts that are in evidence, yes. I have been told objectively by many judges in the past. That they're wrong. Yeah, they're wrong, brother. You can't let someone misstate facts that aren't in evidence. I'm going to tell a judge that they're wrong. Yeah, you have some balls. You say, hey, this pussy's misstating facts that are not in evidence. They're making a, f a fictitious statement right now, currently. But I'll tell that to Yuri. You're allowed to stop people from lying. If you believe they're doing so and the facts are already in evidence to suggest that it's not the truth. And then that only strengthens your case. What would you do, Fred? Um, if, what? Uh, if you believe what will happen is wrong. You see someone uh, driving a stolen car. They eject from the stolen car. They refuse to identify themselves, and the EMS says, hey, this guy in your custody or not? Mm -hmm. Thank, thankfully, she didn't commit a crime, otherwise you wouldn't be able to ID 
All right, so but the, the way that the you know the report reads and the way that the facts were saying on the stand didn't sound anything like that at all. It sounded like a man was cuffed, searched, and then a car was discovered to be stolen. What? What? Yeah. Are you listening? Yeah, I was. Yeah, not how I, the statements are written at all. That's how it came up in court. The car was flag stolen. That's the first thing that we said. It came up on the ALPR. Yeah. Uh, car is flagged as stolen. Homie ejects from the car. He's asked to identify himself. He refuses. Why are you asking someone to identify themselves at that point? Because the car is flag stolen. Yeah, but why aren't you cuffing them and identifying them? Well, we can do either. Doesn't matter how how we get to that conclusion is just process. It's not. There's no. I don't know. Judging by the stuff that came up in court, there wasn't any of that. It, it's SOPs. It doesn't matter. I can either ask them. To SOPs don't. Them. Well, brother, hold on. Time out. Can I give you some? Can I give you some advice? SOPs don't matter. I know. That's what SOPs I'm don't trump people's rights in the law. That's why you have to establish RS and PC because that's how you get shit done. Yeah, driving a stolen car is RS. No, driving a stolen car is PC. Okay, so driving dummy. a car that's been reported stolen is RS. Okay, yeah. That's, no, it's PC. But what if it's the driver? Probable cause. The, the owner of the car driving. <laughs> driving a stolen, driving a vehicle that has been reported stolen is not probable cause. Yes, it is. They, driving a stolen car is, in fact, probable cause for arrest. It's not well, RS. It's, it's PC. Difference. There's a difference between driving a car that is stolen and driving a car that has been reported stolen. The only way you can determine the two is by identifying the driver. Had he been the driver, then there's no probable cause. Probable cause is established once you owner. identify the driver. I can't identify the driver until I A, have them identify themselves to me, or I check their ID. I asked him to identify himself. He said, go fuck yourself. I said, okay. I checked That's him called for an PC, ID. brother. Yes, I have probable cause to arrest him for joyriding once I've determined that he is not the owner of the vehicle. No, you have probable Joyriding cause. And... Joyriding actually specifies nothing about stolen vehicles. Joyriding oh, is text. operating a vehicle that has nothing to... that's not yours. Who the fuck is this? I mean, I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I, I reached out to a couple, but I, I saw his own name, but obviously... That I whole searching for an ID card thing is fucking dumb. Yeah, uh, as an ex-cop, I feel like she should know that we can search for one thing in particular without searching his whole body. Uh, so if hey. someone driving a stolen car is PC, and then they have to clear their name through the facts. Uh, the definition yeah, you should of be good to go, by the way, if uh, it was just the no, deliberation. No, we have Decker here as well. Wait, Decker, where's Decker? Decker? Okay, never mind. Decker, Decker okay, today. never mind. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. We have, we have a fair amount of units right now. It's just, it's just operating a motor vehicle that doesn't belong to you or without permission from the owner. I see your things, I think. So I need to identify yeah. what if is, is the owner of the vehicle. Once I have identified he is not the owner of the vehicle, uh, then uh, PC is established. Uh, yes. But yeah, pips. Pips on her. Uh, Brother, it just doesn't. It doesn't say directly stolen, but this is that's what this means. Right. But what it means versus what it says, two different things. I go by what it says. So the fact that it's been reported stolen alerts me to the possibility that the person operating the car is not the owner. But I need to verify that because an ALPR reading of this car has been reported stolen is not probable cause. Well, don't you felony stop stolen vehicles and then identify them afterwards? Uh, if we have the available units, yes. I can't felony stop somebody that immediately ejects from the car and is incapacitated. At that point, there's no need for a felony stop. So I have RS that, he, that this person may not be the owner. So I need to verify that. And until I verified whether or not they're the owner, I have RS. So I identify them. And I can identify them through one of two ways. Either by asking them their name or checking for an ID. I can de-escalate by asking them to identify themselves. Who are you? 
he says, go fuck yourself. Okay, then I'm going to check you for an ID. I'm not searching you. I'm checking you for an ID. He could have 10 pounds of meth on him for all I care. No, it's not our, it's, it's PC though, my guy. It's not, it's not RS, it's Once PC. Once I have identified the driver, then it's Reasonable PC. basis for believing that a crime may have been committed. Or that evidence of a crime prove, present. I can't prove anything until I've identified the driver. Put yourself in the position of the driver, Fred. Because I know what you're like. You would be kicking up a fucking storm. If, what do you mean? Okay, put it, put it this way. If I, let's say, you are driving a car that has been reported stolen, right? Or, better yet, you report your car stolen, right? It's now flagged in our system. Yeah. You then find your car, you're driving it around, right? I pass it, plates flagged. I arrest you for joyriding. Simply yeah, but you're able to identify after I'm in cuffs. Or, you know, when you see me. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Right? But I don't have... If I had probable cause to arrest you for joyriding, based on the fact... Probable cause isn't going. just the... Alright, hold on. Look. Keep doing things the way you want, brother. I ain't a cop. <laughs> Yeah, it's probable cause. It's not reasonable suspicion. The reasonable suspicion is the call that it's stolen. The probable cause is when you see the stolen vehicle in front of you, operated by an individual. It's, it's immediate PC for an arrest, and then identification. This depends on how you handle it. Taking or operating a vehicle without the owner's consent, without the intended to pri how, how come joyriding isn't a felony? Hey, how come joyriding isn't a felony? Shouldn't joyriding be a felony crime? No, no, it's not. But then reckless evading been... is okay. I, so, so I kind of see yeah. how it's designed. I guess it's always been like this. Yeah, uh, Ruby. Years ago, that. was it a was it a misdemeanor too? Always. A yeah, because you can drive in a car and you can. Stop I can't remember. It's been light. a long time. Yeah, you could you could steal a well, <clears throat> potentially allegedly steal a car or drive a car that's not yours, and you could stop at every red light and drive perfectly normal, right? But if you start r driving all over the sidewalk and going through lights, that's reckless. I think it should be separated. I think for the act of stealing a car, there could be an argument that it should be a felony. Uh, well, GTA is, uh, you know, yeah. one. But the thing is, you have to you have to see the person doing it. Well, also for GTA, you also need to establish that they are intending to permanently deprive the owner of the vehicle. That's Starman, thanks for the 56 months. Right, let's go. Okay. Oh, she's back. Hey, what, what time she, what time Damn, she date? Damn, she looks good. Okay, um, before we begin, does anyone have any food? Uh, I do. Do you, uh, be willing to share some snacks with me? There you go. Yes. Go on. Oh, thanks. I don't have food. Yeah, I'm I know sorry. my place. It's okay. Sorry, I'm glad you learned. Uh, I got hey, some. Shut the I got fuck some. up. Thank you, Mister. I appreciate that. I forgot that the all my food was taken. <laughs> What's that? Sorry. Yep, you smuggle one file in through a I, cake, and they take it all. I said I forgot all my food was taken. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, Is everyone present and in attendance? Someone that needs to be at least. In front of me. Hey, viral! Thanks for the seven-month resub. I do appreciate hey, that. Here, perfect. Okay. All right, court is back in session. Thank you, everyone, for your patience. I apologize for being gone for uh, over half an hour, a few minutes longer than I said I would be. Um, but this is a 
a little bit longer of a deliberation to uh, go on than others. So my apologies. I don't know all the facts, so, uh, so I don't know go who's going to win. Uh, I'm going to speak pretty plainly on the factual matters of the case and their implications for my deliberation and to explain why I've come to the conclusion that I have. So to start, we will examine where this case started. Listed in the report is evidence of the vehicle in question traveling at speeds of 135 miles per hour. These speeds could be considered reckless, but this is not a major factor in the equation or the outcome of this case. The vehicle continued traveling at high rates of speed per officer testimony before eventually crashing and the driver ejecting from the vehicle. While Mr. Miller says there was another person driving the vehicle, the court cannot find any evidence of a second person in the police report, in officer testimony, or in any other facts to point to outside of Mr. Miller's uh, sworn testimony. This removes most, but not all, of the doubt of whether or not he was operating the vehicle. Most of these findings are not contested, though, and it all really boils down to whether or not the search was legal to perform. The court has noticed the choice language used to describe checking for an ID as if going through a person's belongings only to look for an ID would not be considered a search. Now, uh, the court recognizes that police do not only have the ability to check the ID of suspects of a crime, but a responsibility to do so. It is imperative the police can identify who they are speaking with in a potentially criminal matter or who are they potentially are accusing of a crime. Additionally, that's part of why these IDs are administered to the civilian population at large, so that government bodies can identify who you are in appropriate times. So this just leaves us with one final question. Is it legal and just for a police officer to search someone for only their ID before an arrest? In this case, we look to the factors at hand and the judgment of the police officers. Mr. Miller was incapacitated and not clearly speaking, and per officer statements in the report, was not interested in readily providing his name to the officers. Officers are required to be able to identify suspects in their custody. As such, it would be reasonable for them to perform an investigative detainment and potentially even an arrest with articulable probable cause. However, officers testified on the stand that Mr. Miller was not under arrest. He was not going to jail unless they could determine if he was the owner of the vehicle. That means he was under an investigative detainment. Officer Riker performed a search of his person to grab his ID, whether you would like to use the language of checking, looking, or any other descriptor, it is still legally considered a search. And this will ultimately bring us to the court's decision. While we believe that Officer Riker had the right to search Mr. Miller for his ID, we do find that the way it was articulated in court by the LSPD unclear and confusing. Why say they have no probable cause for a search when they are they could articulate otherwise? Why claim uh, they're oh, for ID oh, and not a oh, 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 oh. As such, I will be finding in favor of the appellant due to various procedural missteps from the LSPD. Uh, Mr. Oh, Miller will be refunded seventeen thousand seven hundred and forty dollars for his troubles, and this case is dismissed. I will also be referring this case back to LSPD High Command for review so they can refine their internal procedures and training to ensure this does not happen again in the future. That is the finding of this court. Thank you. That killed Wad, dude. <laughs> oh, God. It's the same thing we were just talking about. Approach so that I can refund you. Oh, okay. Hey, good job, Kit Kat. What is your bank account ID? Thank uh -huh. you. <laughs> I literally just uh, had one, two, a conversation two, with the two cops over there That's about story, PC and stuff like that. And they really. kept on saying it was oh, RS. Um, and I'm like, no, it's probable cause. They don't uh, understand. Six, one, seven. They don't understand. Four, they don't zero, understand. five, zero, kind of zero. Funny. <laughs> they don't know what they can and can't do. Okay, Mr. Miller, I'm going to be refunding <laughs> you uh, for the full amount of your charges, okay? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Hey, congratulations, Tugs. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> All right, good shit, Tugs. Holy shit, you I know think. what's funny? I literally just had the same conversation with Maeve and uh, that gentle, that other, that, that fella cop back there about the R what, about it say? being PC and not RS. And he was like, no, it's RS. If it becomes PC after I identify, I'm like, no, you dope. The stolen car is PC. Yeah, I would agree. It is PC. Yeah, they, they, they didn't know that. They didn't know. They I mean, didn't, they in, didn't my, know. in my opinion, they had him dead to rights. Yeah, they, they did. They threw, so. They, they did.
I literally just had a conversation with the same thing that you literally just brought up. I kind of find it a little, a little funny. She didn't consider it a rights yeah, violation, so but rather... I, I'm probably going to have an angry conversation with the LSPD from that. They don't really like me anymore, so... Yeah, they're not going to like you. I mean, wait till, wait, I mean, wait till you got... I mean, just wait. You think they don't like you now? <laughs> Holy shit. I don't really care if they like me or not. Uh, do you have any questions for me, Miss Archer? Or am I, uh, yeah. I'm going to step out of here and if otherwise. Um, do, you, do you have a minute? Damn, good goddamn work. It's justice. Yeah, dude. I should go to court more often. Yeah, the cops don't know what RS and PC is. <laughs> dude, I'm even telling you, like, I still don't understand, like, why... If someone is about to die, your first thought is like, yo, let me check if the plate, like, if this vehicle is his. You know what I mean? Uh, Aren't you going to be like, yo, dude, this guy, kid's going to die, bro. They should probably try and preserve life. I agree with you. Make, make sure that they... No, that's not why they Everyone lost, comes though. First. They lost because of the procedural oh. misstep of not understanding PC was the stolen car. Okay. Yeah, make, make sure Does the cop do it, or... I, I don't know. I think actually that just the just... strongest point is it wasn't the stolen car would have been probable cause but actually the uh right for determining id for the speeding but that wasn't articulated therefore not given no the probable uh, cause thing. is the stolen car that's the probable yeah. cause okay. yeah it was flagged. Uh, probable cause was the speeding then the uh no 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 the, the probable, probable cause was, was not the ID. speeding the probable cause is the the the, the vehicle in itself the condition at this the speed that it's traveling has no effect on it being pc or not I did. I did. Uh, of all people, Pipsqueak gave it to me. So my question would be, um, this incident occurred, you know, well over a month ago. And stuff's about to be crazy, isn't it? Yeah, Pipples has said uh, she's going to kill me and steal my phone. I mean, all I had to do was she's take like 20 seconds to really just look me. things up 100%. Yeah. But, yeah, not even having to look things up. There's that view right there. Oh, a one viewer raid? That's the thing. We don't, we don't, we don't work with federal laws. Yeah, you should talk to Angel. No, I'm, I'm planning to, since, yep. since all my officers just walked out instead of asking for an explanation. Well, they should come back because them being pouty and pissy-faced about not understanding what RS and PC is. I was actually just having a conversation with your two officers over on the bench about the same thing. You were there for it. They didn't understand that a stolen car is PC for an arrest. Hey, kid, what you got? PC just doesn't I, yeah, mean just... sending someone off to prison. It. PC means what you can make an arrest That's and, a crime. you know, bring facts to right. light. Uh, even, even if it's not a, you know, you can say you're lawfully de hey, detained. Hey, Ruby, I have hey. raised, I, I think the kid over there might have crack in his backpack. Cool cat, thanks for this the seven kid? months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, uh, oh, hey, hey, how you, uh, wonderful Sunday. weather we're having, not... Not saying anything. Okay. All right, Bob. All right. Great, great weather. Oh, look, look at that, a bird. What? Hmm. That's our eagle. Yes, yeah, that's Bob Eagle. All right, Rick, you next. Yeah. Oh no. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. He just. Okay. He just ran in. Yeah, the cops so, never. Yeah. The, ca the cops never quick. like being wrong, huh? Listen, I, 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 I'm a cop. You're an ex cop. We don't, we, we don't like being wrong. Doesn't I'm, whether you're I'm never or wrong. Oh bollocks! I'm never wrong. I, I'm the a very, is... I'm a genius. Yeah, I think so. What? I am an actual genius. Really? Yeah. What's your IQ? It's over 120. Wow. Yeah, I'm real oh, good okay. at identifying patterns. <laughs> <laughs> Don't I just have to pay money? Is that why you wear the same sh clothes every day? This pattern day? makes me comfortable. <laughs> That's good. No, That's good. Run for me, did. That's not true. A commanding officer yeah, might have been a sign off the warrant. Okay. Yeah, that's what I use. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, even yeah. even if they said you're legally detained, they, yeah. they have, uh, yeah. they've got enough there to search for an ID. Well, Is they it had just it, the well, way they, they explained it on the stand? I mean, what's the... Yeah, I mean, you have to be able to articulate why you lied in the report, too. What? And apparently they lied as well. Yeah, I can tell you right now that both those reports, they, like, made up uh, a bunch of stuff. 
Like, really? I mean, I have no reason to lie at this point, but when I read that, that was like someone covering their twack. It was it was very mm. odd, especially the the questioning him while he was incapacitated. I went back and I, you know, I looked at statements on the docket from Cohen and You don't May. question incapacitated individuals. And you just cuff them. So on this particular incident, the May wrote, you know, basically her reasoning for questioning Stanley while he was incapacitated. She went into detail about it. I looked back at former statements on the docket from her in similar situations. Nothing like that written before. All she ever said before this state before this incident was like, "Yep, they were hurt. They got medical. End of story." It was it was very strange. They were asking me like, "Yo, is this your car? Why were you going so quick?" And I'm over there on the ground like warning and stuff. And when even the EMS was like, "What the heck's the problem, dude?" Because like I was like, "Dude, I'm hot and." They kept asking mm. him, like, yo, can we wait till I get I mean, medical? And Mave is like, oh, are we switching up on me now, right? And I'm like, what the heck? Yeah, your cops then don't they understand tell their me why basic I was getting procedures. They Otherwise, just... they would have had this in the bag. Listen, I, I'm not all cops, okay? Most. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not a great look that they're detectives. And uh, they're they're and detectives and they don't know RS and PC? It's, it's not great. And then they wouldn't let me talk to anybody because, like, they were doing crazy stuff. And I was like, can I talk to another what? officer? And they were like, you have to. They told Tony. But yeah, Tony wasn't here today, but, like, my two lawyers. Tony, Bobby the lawyer, Tony, Yeah. Yeah, Tony they was the one that represented him in the cells. They said, I need you to have to, to apologize judge. to him. You, you got to apologize, otherwise we're not calling anyone down. No, 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 no. No, you've got your time tonight. <laughs> Happy for you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Kat. <laughs> thanks for uh, thanks for watching the she, the appeal, guys. guys are banging it, it was a it was a good case, Kit. It was a great case. Yeah. You didn't even let me sit into janitor. Oh, hey, um, the... nice meeting you. Bye. You know, I we we kind of got it on a technicality, but still got it. That's all that matters. I mean, if they're too yeah. listen, if they can't. Cops, number one, have to be able to articulate why they're doing something. It's the basics of their jobs. That's what you're doing yourself. Yeah, the basis of everything is articulation of the basic yeah, principles yeah. of RS and PC. If you don't understand what reasonable suspicion and probable cause are, then you're never going to be able to make a, a comfortable arrest ever. Yeah. No, you're right. Um... But yeah, it's the fact that they're detectives, which in my opinion, detectives should be held at a higher regard and standard than just regular officers. Yeah, they're officers. regarded, all right. Yeah, well, maybe you could correct me on this, but from my thinking of the situation as a prosecutor, right? Yeah. My looking at trying to prove the chain of probable cause would have been the first interaction was the speed in which is potentially reckless endangerment, which was why they were trying to stop him before he crashed. At which point you would then be looking for them to provide ID. Failure to provide ID, it then gives you the probable cause. It's for the, the fuck that they fucked up ba that. basic arrest like but that they didn't procedure. do that. So basically, you have yeah. cops coming in the stand not understanding that the stolen car, it doesn't, reg doesn't matter if it was going fast, doesn't matter if it's parked, doesn't matter if it was falling from the fucking sky, that the stolen car is PC to get the individual inside the car, or that you believe was operating the car, in cuffs to conduct your investigation. RS is just not saying, uh, you know, it, like, PC isn't just sending somebody to jail, having enough to press a charge. Oh, exactly. No, exactly. You, and, and that's it. That's They had the probable cause, but they didn't articulate that properly, either at the time or in the court, to prove that they had it. Their issue is, the is that what it is. they don't, they didn't know the basics of what they were doing. That's it, you heard the judge; it was that's, a procedural that's error. What it sounds like to me, yeah. it wasn't. It wasn't a fact that he was guilty or innocent. It was a procedural error on the police. Cool. Yeah. No, so that, it was an inability to, you know, inability yeah, to say, articulate to... what they were Sorry, doing. I I also yeah, so, like I'm, appreciate... I'm looking to get back into law myself, but I come from a, uh, I'm a JAG lawyer, so I'm different sort of, you know. Well, I mean, you picked a good stuff, time so because all the, not like 80 fucking percent of the legislation's gone and they're going to be drafting all new stuff. I, that's what I heard. Now so. I'm going to go listen into this Ruby Angel conversation. Right. I, I appreciate y'all talking. And, uh, hey, no problem.
clearly he was operating a vehicle and what had a legal weapon on him. But I see. I see. you know, so yeah. who is? Oh, it's that's okay. I, hey, I'll, babe. <laughs> see, please don't call me babe. Sorry, Your Honor. <laughs> Anyways, but you understand though. Uh, this one yeah. was kind of painful for me. Painful for me. Um, I'm probably going to submit this one into common law as well. Just essentially outlining uh, protections of officers checking or searching, I should say, for IDs and kind of outlining mm -hmm. how it should be done, just so that there's no confusions about it. Yeah, because usually if someone is incapacitated, number one, uh, their health should be the number one priority, and. Mm. Uh, you know, maybe we'll cuff them in detainment until we, you know, look around the area. Um, but we'll we'll do things like remove their helmet or take off their mask so they can breathe. And mm. if we still can't identify them, we w we'll look in their side pocket for ID uh, until we know that we have, uh, uh, you know, probable cause to go any further. Right. Um, but uh, I just feel like I'm explaining myself over and you over. No, I got an it's idea. Getting a little tiring. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm, what's sure, idea, I'm sure you do, yeah. Well, I mean, what's the basics idea, is, is just cuffing the individual that you believe is the perpetrator of the crime, getting a medical, and then questioning them at the hospital about, you know, the whole situation. Well, the thing is, as it's written into law, they can then search them for weapons before transport uh, to the is hospital. Is that written in the law? Also include... Yes, it is. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, so if someone was to be transported to the hospital in an ambulance, they can check them for... Uh, medical personnel safety if they believe that there is a present risk to their safety if they think Ooh, that someone could have a weapon then i got them. a question but then can they do so mm -hmm. when you do that do you have this do you have the the ability capability to check for that particular gun or check that particular individual for a weapons license or does that come later down the line through questioning do you have to articulate that, that or do you have it by default I mean, you could also check them for a license independently. Since yeah, but what I'm asking is, do you yeah. have do you have to establish some type of reasoning to check for the licensing if they have the firearm in that circumstance? No, no, because I'm looking up their identity. I'm checking the MDT, uh, and it's all right there. Okay, in front so of bingo. Me. Not, yeah, bingo, hundred percent. It, yeah, it's right there. No, what I'm asking is, so imagine the car isn't stolen, right? But someone's down and right. they need to be transported and you have no reason to arrest them, and you check them for a weapon, mm -hmm. and after you move them, do you have to, uh, you don't even have to really, you, it's not even on you to identify the person at that point, or to run that gun, or to do anything with it, that gun, other than to hold it until the person's medical and is over. And it could be a perfectly legal gun, and I just give it to them after medical. I, I mean, the thing is, it's for safety no, first. Do you under, so what, yeah, what I'm just asking is, you understand, like, do you, do you, do, do, do they ha does there have to be the belief of a crime taking place in order to check anything about that gun or even identify that individual? Now, at that point, so that's what I'm trying to understand. Like, uh, you know, I, you know I what? understand. It has nothing yeah. to do with this case. Uh, it's just a general broad question. I would I didn't say in your particular question, no. You can check for licenses and whatnot separately. That's fine. Yeah, maybe you two can talk about it tonight. Yeah, well, that's not happening. We're talking um, about a bunch of stuff tonight. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hmm. Okay. Um. But yeah. Anyway, I, thanks, I Angel. Appreciate understand it. everything. Um. I'm. I'll, like I said, I'll write some of the stuff into common law so it's there in yeah. plain language for everyone. So. And uh, I. I really think. I'm not trying to say that you know Riker is incompetent when I say this. I, please don't take that as this. I'm saying that I think he's incompetent. You should reiterate the concepts of reasonable suspicion and probable cause and what they actually mean, with a lot mm -hmm. of your officers, because I worry that some of them might not understand. That a reasonable suspicion is just that, a suspicion, you know, based off of uh, experience or, you know, some vague circumstances and your experience combined. And probable cause is just facts. And I don't think a lot of people get that. It's a really yeah. simple distinction. So if you could just reiterate that with people, I think it would really go a long way. Yeah. I can yep. put together I'll, a uh, course for you on RS and PC oh, if you want. Oh, really? Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do it cheap. 50K. What the hell? I'll, 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 I'll re I'll re I've got your number. I've hey, got, I've got your I'm number. I'm sure she can number. put her own course together. I'm sure she can yeah. put her own course got... together, Fred. She's the assistant chief, so. Well, she did write a warrant one time on me that lacked PC for my arrest and everything like that. So, I mean, I was just trying to be helpful from what I've seen, you know? Okay, well. That was a, that this? was a good case. I'm Bob. Hi, Bob. Hello. This is Bob Eagle. He's a friend of mine, yeah. Okay. He was, he was a it. DOC guy. I was captain of the Internal Affairs Division up at DOC back in the day. 
Cool. So you like the case? Yeah, yeah, no, I laid I wasn't, stuff, I wasn't yeah. talking to you, but okay. Oh. I'm glad you oh, liked okay. it, Bob. Yeah, I like the case. I thought it was I thought it was a very different case because fundamentally they had him dead to rights, but then yeah. they couldn't articulate the basis of anything that they were doing. And at that point, how can any where's the good faith? I agree. That was essentially where my mind was at too. I think they had him dead to rights and they just couldn't explain why. I like you a lot better when you're not against me. Uh, well, I think it's actually more so, Pred, that um, at the time when I was taking your cases, I was still learning like what I could and could not do, what my expectations were, because it wasn't really clear. Well, now you have the wings spread out like an eagle. Right, and, but my role hey, and expectations what and what I'm supposed to do has been a lot more clearly defined, and I've like actually taken up the role. So in reality, I think a lot of our previous cases probably would have gone a different way if I was to see them again. So. Yeah, you know how I get... What do you mean? I'm a savage in the courtroom. You know me. I love to object everything. I don't let that motherfucker talk. The only person yeah, talking is the judge and me. I know. I know, Fred. So when did you want to meet up? When did you want to do that? You can do it. Uh, I don't know what your schedule is. I mean, you know. I want to listen. I'm working hard. I want to put my judgments into a case law document, and then I want to go rest for a little bit. So. I mean, I'm whatever not... you want, really. Well, I mean, it's up to you. I mean, you're the busy one. Me, I'm just... Look at me. I'm just leaning on this table. That's a pretty good lean. Well, That's a why good don't lean. you go fuck around with some of your friends, do some stupid shit. I have to put this stuff into writing, and then I'm going to go uh, rest my head for... An yeah, what about... And we could, we could do it in six hours. Six hours? Yeah, that works for me. Six hours from now. Because all it's going to take is a fucking hour anyway, you know? Yeah, it shouldn't be that long. Well, six hours, we'll meet up, okay? All right, sounds place? good. Oh yeah. What the hell? Oh yeah. Hey, what's up, Bob? I would like to apply to the federal district. Hog. Hog, you tired madman. I really hope you do win, Hog. I want you to know that. T Jub, thanks for the sixty two months. I do appreciate that. Nah, it's just to get the SOPs going so we can get fucking rolling tomorrow. The RP... The RP is already... The only thing is... That I'm... Hmm. There's a few things that I was toying around with. The idea of... Hmm, I'll keep it to myself. Better to talk out loud about this stuff in private. Copy, copy image IRL. Hell. Scores. Huh. Grape seed. That's the grape seed airfield. gas station right next to the grape seed airfield the cia is texting me but yeah i think things will be cool
Did we finish Subnautica? No, we didn't finish Subnautica, and we're probably not going to finish it today, and we're probably not going to finish it tomorrow, because I got to do a sponsored stream tomorrow. Under the water tower. Go alone. Did I grab my shit? Bofo, thanks for the five bomb. I do wish the boys were around later in the day. I think I would have just done this on a different character. But I think it makes too much sense doing it on this character. Put your hands up. This is a robbery. <laughs> I'm just kidding. How you doing? I got to pull over hey, to send a text. Okay. Hey, Dean Pred, you okay? Oh, you know, you could say I'm living my best life. I am inevitable, after all. Uh, good, good to hear. What does that even mean? What does that mean? Hey, you, hey, you, don't, don't you worry about what it means, fuckhead. Oh. Damn. I do like getting gift subs, though. I really do like that. Abandon them? I would never abandon them. I feel like you guys are ignoring the fact that nobody's around after I'm awake for two fucking hours, man. You know, like, nobody's nobody's around after I'm awake for two or three hours, and I still got fucking five hours to fill. <laughs> Getting shot repeatedly for taking a job to investigate officers. You truly are brain dead. I would never go after them. Never. Hey, what's going on, Eagle? Hey, Kyle. Yeah. It, it worked. I, I got to submit my application. Uh, I didn't even have to mention her ass. Nice. Nice. Hey, now imagine you probably imagine how qu much quicker it probably would have been if you would have mentioned her ass. I should have mentioned her ass. You're right. Thanks, Brad. I owe you. Hey, no problem, Eagle. I'm always there See? for you. Hey, listen, hey. I, uh, I might. You got a radio. No, no, I'm poor. All right, bye. Bye. <laughs> Would you rather get a thousand gift subs to get rid of your foot massager forever? No, I love my foot massager. Yeah, I absolutely love my foot massager. My comfort can't be bought. I am an individual. I am a man that loves his comfort. Okay, I want you to know that. I love my comfort. I love having nice chairs. I love to be comfortable in whatever it is I'm fucking doing in life. Ripper, thanks for the two months. That has nothing to do with laziness. I work out, I work out at home every single day. thinks I have the wrong location, but judging it off the picture. No, honestly, I'm not. I'm at a calorie deficit. I'm not taking in enough. Guy of my size, especially with, with me not being in shape, I'm burning like a fuck ton of calories just by doing at-home exercises. Am I 
not at the right place? Hey, look at this fucking picture. It is the Grapeseed Airfield. I had to double check that. Now I have 2015 vision in one eye and then I'm basically blind in the other. I'm just glad it's not lazy. Under the water tower, go alone. Look in the contacts. Look in the... Under the water tower. Go alone. Look in the contacts. Look in the contacts. What does that mean? Yeah, that's what I'm uh, that's what I'm assuming. Phone dropped for me somewhere, but this is the right spot, right? This is not the right sp Hold on. This is not the right spot. Yeah, this is not the right spot. spot 100 percent five minutes one more chance under the water tower go alone look in contacts under the water tower Unfortunate. Found by someone else. How did someone else come here? Still here? No, I was not on the phone when I was talking to Kit. 
People listen to phone calls all the time. That's one of that's a pretty good device. I know we already said it got taken. But I'm triple checking. about the SIM card. Luck proving it. I already dumped it. <laughs> Marital. Damn, good thing I wasn't ERPing. That's what it sounds like. Someone was listening to not uh, Peter's, because that was not about any of that stuff, but listening to. Were they listening to his phone or were they listening to mine? I got a repair kit. Actually, this person just helped me out a lot. I'm never going to talk about anything sensitive on a phone. Ever. I need to get that tool. I oh, know you can't use that tool. As a cop. Way too powerful. going on marlo hi old pred how you doing pretty good you, got help you still running for mayor no i gave up on that shit you mean you did them a favor right yeah i did my heart wasn't in mayor i mean i couldn't stand being mayor all you're gonna do is hear people talk about their problems for three months i'm not a I'm fucking psychiatrist bitch. yeah exactly what are you doing with your life now yeah, working towards bigger and better things. Like president? Yeah, something like that. What do you mean something like that? You know, I'm trying to figure stuff out. Why are you sounding so suspect? As why the kids you, say. Why do you sound suspect? I'm just catching up with you. Nah, you're meddling. <laughs> I'm meddling? Yeah, you're meddling. You're a meddling In man. In what? I'm a Michelin man. You're meddling with me. I'm not the kid Am from Scooby-Doo. I at the Scooby water tower Doo. because of you? You working with this guy. What's going on here? No. Working with who? All right, never mind. Fair enough. Mm. I wanted to call you and see if you saw the MILF Manor Season 2 announcement. Oh, shit. Who's going to be on that? So, you know, last time it was uh, it was sons and their moms. Yeah. But they didn't know that they were going to be on the show with their mother or their son. Now it's the same thing, but they're bringing the dads, too. So, like, the, you know, like, the ex-husbands. That's a, that's a lot of dudes. True. True. That's a that's a lot of dudes. Two to one ratio. Yeah, two to, yeah, two to one ratio. Yeah. 
But yeah, um, so I just wanted to let you know you missed out because you could have been on that show. Who, who? How would I have been on it? What do you mean? You and Fiona, were, remember we were going to cast you guys on it, but then uh, you we had a falling out, so I... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Me, so uh, me and Fiona could be on it again. No. She's not your mom anymore. Yeah, she is. No, she's not. Well, who is now? Who's mom now? I don't know. You're not my son. We, I uh, unadopted you. How can you unadopt me? I'm like the best kid anybody could ever ask for. You are the only kid that has probably threatened my life more than anybody. That's true. I did have my goons shoot up your off your office at the at the, yeah. at the movie lot. Yeah. I, I pulled a doc. Why I do you, a how do you stay be having goons? I always got goons. You always have goons. You always got to have goons. Every Kyle Pred needs a goon. How many Kyle Preds are there? Only one, baby. Are you a clone? No, I'm not a clone. I've checked. Like Gunner? <laughs> That's Peters. No, Peters is my father. Tyler Peters is not Gunner. I've checked. What do you mean you've checked? How do you... I looked at the back of his neck for a barcode just like in Universal Soldier. Okay. Okay. But he does sound and look a lot like... Small him. Soldiers. Great small movie. Small Soldiers, yeah. I like Small Soldiers. You, you a Gorgonite? Of, you son of a bitch. What? You son of a bitch. You think I don't pay attention to the world around me? What do you mean? All right, cut the oh, you're very funny observant. Business. What the fuck do you want to know, asshole? Listening to my conversations what? with CTH. What the fuck do you want to know? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gorgonites, yeah. Yeah, because we just started talking about small soldiers because you brought up fucking the other bring soldier movie. Up. You brought what Universal soldier? You said the movie with the fuck? Yeah, Universal, Universal soldier. soldier. Yeah, Universal And I've never soldier. seen it, so I brought up a movie that I have seen. Never seen Universal Soldier with Jean Claude no. Van Damme? Ain't that a wrestler? No, he's an action hero. Oh, you mean Jean Claude Van Damme, uh, one of uh, Fingal Dan's uh, relatives, old cop. No, it was Jean Claude Van Damme. Mm, doesn't ring a bell. You're old. I'm not. I'm. I'm forty. Yeah, you're old. It's not that old, man. Am I the only person that forgets it's 2029? What is it? It's not 2029. It is 2029. No, it's not. Yes, it is. We have a calendar. It's 2020 fucking nine. Pull up your calendar right now. It's wrong. It says July 13th, 2024. It's 2029. It was five years since Sanguine. No, 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 no. That was five days. No, it was five years. No, 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 no. You've lost the plot, mate. Did, uh... Osvaldo tell you anything about the... The crypto? That was you who told me about the crypto. He didn't tell you any more about it? No, you told me just to sell it to you if I ever get it. Okay. Okay. Heard you have a whole <laughs> bunch of it. Okay, so he has told you about some of it. No, Who told you I have, how much? Talk. How much do I have, huh? Heard you got a fu heard you got more than anybody else. Well, that's not true. I lost a lot today. Could you get you gamble it? No. How'd you lose it? Uh, sold it. Sold it. For free. Sold it for free? You better not be giving Fiona shit anymore, man. I swear to fucking God. And what if I am, huh? You gave huh? it to Fiona, didn't you? No, I did not give it to Fiona. She sold hers to me. Because I needed more. How much do you have? I bet you're sitting on that shit like fucking Bitcoin in 2011. I have 3,000 left. I heard you had a lot more than that. I did. You're not wrong. So you just, you're offloading it while you can, so there's no money loss, huh? Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. 
That doesn't sound like... But does it does it still hold its value? It went up today. It uh, it Why was at. It uh, I don't know. That's a stock stock broker. I don't know. I don't, I don't know why it would go up. Yeah, why did it? Why would go I know up? that? I don't know. Why did it go up? See, broke. can't look at it while I'm on the phone. Just restart your phone, you weirdo. What do you mean, just restart my restart phone? Restart your phone while you're on a call. Oh. Yeah. But now I can't hang up on you. Yes, you can't. Wait, you don't... You, you don't got that shit, you know? Now I can't... Now I can't hang up. Oh, perfect. You're my captive audience. Damn, all right, beta pharmaceutical, isn't that beta life? Yep, beta life. Isn't Ray Rome? Isn't that Ray Romanov's company from five years ago? Uh, yes, and then Kitty took it from him. So Kitty My runs daughter, beta your pharmaceuticals. No, not anymore. Someone took Got it from the, her. Yeah, the state did. Damn, that sucks. Seems like that shit's worth money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just offload. I can't even. How, uh, much, so how much did you offload? You're right. I sold. I sold it, Fred. For ninety nine each. I had uh twenty six thousand. You ever fuck with any of this stock shit? Just better. I don't see. I don't see that on here. But yes, you. Oh, oh just yeah, uh, go to the. Yeah, yeah, $99,000 a share? No, $99 a share. $99,000 a share? Yeah, and I have 3,000 of it. Up 2.96%. Bean Machine's doing good. Why don't you buy some uh, better right now? Why would I buy that when it looks like I could buy Bean Machine? It's on and up and up. Because you can't even buy better. I can only, yeah, you're right. I can only sell it. Well, you're not in the purchase area then. I have to go to an area to, I can purchase Bean Machine from here. At the, go to the the home and then the top, I purchase. Yeah. Then you change the song. Oh. Yeah, why would I buy this? You can't. So even if you wanted to, you can. Telling me I can though. Do it then. Try. You can. Well, I mean, do you make a lot of money doing this shit or what? Uh, doing what? The stock Day trading. Shit. Yeah. Uh, look at. I need. Cause I only have three thousand. I need two thousand dollars. So I or two thousand more again so i can make money again okay. and not lose it all who do you know that has you know, it i never looked into this you know that has it oh no i don't i don't keep brother i'm not in the know on much uh... i don't ask people questions Whoa. i don't give a fuck <laughs> okay well i need Okay, if you find me 2,000 bet, I'll let you know what, what I'm doing with it. How can I find you 2,000? I don't know anyone else that's into this shit. I don't know anyone that's into stocks. Yeah, well, that's what... You're a resourceful guy. I'm pretty resourceful. All right, I believe in you. All right, I'll see. If I if I find anyone with these shares, I'll tell them to give you a call. Yeah. yeah. But why would they sell I'm gonna, them? I'm going to... Again, you're resourceful and convincing. Tell them it's useless. Why would they believe me? I wear a fucking button-up shirt every day. I don't fucking know, Pred. That's my issue. Nobody's fucking selling it, and I need to get to 5,000 so I can make billions. Probably not billions.
All right, I'm going to go fishing, but I'm going to leave my phone on this whole time. Hang up. Uh, I'm going fishing, Brad. Can you hang up? Hey, can you grab the tackle box? Can you? I can't hang up on you. What? I can't hang up on you. You broke my fucking phone. I'll be back in a bit. Marlo would be the type of guy listening to people's phone calls. Damn, I bet you tons of people say interesting things on the phone, huh? I bet you the people doing that shit heard some shit. RP police. Interesting. Damn, people still playing Last Epoch? I was really into that one. Do you guys think, um... PoE2 is gonna be good? He lived. PoE2... POE2 looks a lot more promising than Diablo 4. I mean, PoE's always had a strong, uh, you know, audience and player base, but it seems like all those games... Brother, can I tell you something? Gaming seems like it's in a weird spot. It seems like everybody hates everything collectively. It seems like... Like, look at Helldivers 2. Everybody was so fucking enamored with that game, and now everybody hates it. Every fucking game, it seems like everybody hates, except for, like, Soulsborne games. Like what is a what is what is a what is a matter in gaming that's causing this like mindset of just like negativity towards everything? Is it always greed? Or what is it? your car fucking nothing 
I mean, um, I don't know. I really want to sit down and play some Baldur's Gate 3. But after Subnautica, we're going to do uh, Cyberpunk with the fucking hyper-realism mods. Baldur's Gate 3, I don't know... I don't know if people like watching Baldur's Gate 3. You guys are hard to fucking please. You guys are fucking hard as shit to please. How you doing? Driving? Is that you? Yeah, I'm driving too. Very cool. That's yeah, I know, right? Been How long have you been driving? Let's see, uh, 25 years. Oh shit, you got any, any accidents? Any All the time, claims? I've almost died so many times driving cars. Oh shit, really? Yeah. Does your God AC damn. still work after yeah. all those hours? Yeah, does AC work in... It's a different car. It's a, it's a, yeah, my car is... My car is... Yes, my car is running fine. You should get your oil changed. Change How many miles this. Ah, oh, fuck. I missed my light because of you. I missed Good. my light. Actually, yeah, we missed our light, too. Good. I'm glad you did. You should get an oil change. No. Car could last longer. I'm not doing that. How long you guys been cops for? Uh, 25 let's see. years. 25 I met, years. I met some of your detectives today. They didn't know what RS and PC was. Hey, hey shut the Damn, fuck up oh, back shit, there. Hey, shut up. Shut the, shut the fuck, fuck up. up. Shut the fuck up. Have your fucking clown ass horn fucking honking ass stop. Oh, we missed the light again. Great. God, we missed the light. It's because of that uh, guy. Yeah, fuck that no, guy. I fucking so you would go, you dipshit. Hey, you calm down before I clamp that car. Technically, it's illegally parked right now. That is true. Dipshit. If it ain't moving, it's parked. Oh, God. You believe this fucking guy back there? I don't b believe that fucking guy. Dude. Look, he's he has a legal he has a legally parked car right there, sitting there. That's that's what a fucking guy. All right, I'm gonna need three hundred dollars to get this clamp off. I'm allowed to clamp you guys now. And technically, you're parked in front of a red curb. But then again, but here's the qu oh, it's a green light again. Oh, okay, oh, it so, was. well, you know what? I got this. <clears throat> Wait there, we're doing parking violation. Dispatch two seventy ten thirty eight. Uh, Found what you mean? Vespucci for an illegally parked. Oh, there we go. He made a right corner. Where's your photographic evidence, there, officer? Now. Seems illegal. It's an illegal parking. I think we. I think I think she's parked in a red. Yeah, and she's in a lane of traffic. Boot this guy. I need to get this documented. He's gonna boot you too. Watch out! Watch Constitutional rights by beating him down for me. That'd be great. Ooh, hold on. Hey, hey, hey! How about you get out of the car and beat me yourself, pussy? Well, that would be illegal, and I might get arrested. Hey, how about you get out of the car and try beating me down? It wouldn't be illegal if they do it. They're backing up on you. They're about to open fire. What's going on? You are parked in front of a red curb. All right, hold on. I'll make this nice again. Here, hold on a second. I'll, I'll offer some proper compensation in order. It's only to, uh, three hundred bucks. To get this thing. Oh no, no, no. How about this for just you know just to ensure? Oh, that's the wrong person yeah. that I just gave it to. You handed you it please to her. Politely to her so she can examine that. Now, can you please give that to him? Thank you. That, that individual just drove off. 
Which one? Yeah, can, just give them the, 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 the nice generous sum of um. Yeah, they got rid the, of the clamps right here, and you yeah. law. That means you guys can be clamped just like everybody else. I can see that. I All can right, agree. Hey, uh, thanks for the tip. Yeah, absolutely. We just remove the clamp and then we just get on going. We eat, we eat, we eat, we eat. The meter over there? All right, perfect. Sounds good. All right, let's get on back and over. Hey, are you all right? I'm good. Sorry, sir. My bike. Hey, hold on. Time out. Hold on. Yep. Yep. Hey. Yeah. I'm gonna need. Uh, I'm gonna need some compensation for that accident. You know, I'm the one that kind of fell on the ground and all. Yeah, but you're the one that hit me, lady. Yeah, but you know, like sometimes these bikes. I can't remember how to turn on, on my own, emergency man. lights. The best I got is like five dollars. I don't have much on me, man. Hey, there's been a vehicle accident. Turn my lights on. How do you turn it on? I can't remember how to turn it on. Hey, Hello. what's going on, guys? Oh God, please don't. I'm sorry. Hey, there's been a vehicle accident, sir. It's not parked. It's running. It's on. This 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 I woman promise. this woman crashed into my car and is refusing to compensate me. No, I said I just don't have money you on me to compensate right now. I mean, there's a bank right around the corner. I think. I mean, yeah, we can go over there. Sure. Yeah, I need five hundred bucks. Five hundred. A repair kit's like seventy-five dollars. I'll just go buy one and fix it myself. What do you mean dry yeah, snitched? Hey, hey, I got you know, this shit on recording time. Looks. He's fucking snitching. He doesn't adorable. even maintain it. There's other things he has. To do. Not snitching when it's a Jesse. Wait, but I'm Jesse, where are you? Out of it. Wait, did Jesse? Do you see Jesse? Yeah, she's right there. Oh, right here. there she is. Hey, how about you keep your thoughts and opinions to yourself? If there's a traffic accident, I have the right to get compensation for it. Hey, how about yeah, you, you about your right traffic snitch, so How about, how about you just keep moving then, dog. bitch? Oh, you're the bitch here. Hey, right, why don't you get yeah, out? Yeah, chill, chill. What's going on? Sir, you better, you get in my face, I'm gonna have to fuck you up. You wanna fuck oh us? Uh, fucking swing Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to defend myself against dog. the two of you. You wanna fucking swing your dog, all right? I'm fucking swinging Hey, hey, I'm being threatened right now. I'm being threatened right now by two renegade bikers. You probably have a gun. Hey, hey, you owe me money! You should kill this yeah, cunt and then yeah, take his money. No, no, nah, nah, you owe me money, lady! Damn, damn, you hey, get the, get the fuck out of here. That's crazy. No, fuck you, Brett, alright? Fuck, fuck you! Fuck you, yeah, yeah, fuck motherfucker! You. The cops left the RP situation. Road Rage RP. Yeah, that's what I was going for. <laughs> this is obviously Marlo on a burner now. Obviously, Marlo. The paparazzi, huh? Paparazzo? Paparazzo.
Game eight, no cars to break in. Haven't seen Alana. Haven't seen any of the boys. This shit is difficult, isn't it? Did you see the news? What news? What news was I supposed to see? Huge news! I don't pay attention to politics, man. What is the news? Are you just fucking with me? Tell me the news! Bro, the, the, the boys need more sol Soldier Boy and fucking Homelander are the best. This season's been trash compared to last season, but it's still been good. Did I watch Gen V? No. Did I? I think I watched a little of it. I didn't watch a whole bunch of it. Damn, Richard Simmons died. Oh, better not be J.K. Simmons. He's a goddamn uh, a national. All right, listen. Richard Simmons is pretty cool, but J. But fucking J. J. Uh, what is it? J.K. Simmons, goddamn national fucking treasure. What's that movie where he's the drum guy? That movie's so good. Whiplash, yeah, Whiplash is fucking good. Not Drumline. Drumline is awful. Alright, I'm gonna call it a little early today because I'm probably gonna have to write up some more stuff to show to Kylie so we can get the ball rolling on stuff for tomorrow. And I didn't really get a lot of sleep last night. I had an upset stomach all night. Hey, that's a nice car. Thank you, thank you. Appropriate crash. Appropriate that guy probably thinks I F8 quit in front of him. That guy probably thinks I fucking F8 quit just right fucking in front of him, man. I did have a bad tummy ache yesterday, man. I spent like a fucking couple hours getting up and using the toilet from like fucking 2 a.m. to like fucking 6 a.m. It was awful. I don't know what stuff I'm gonna bring back. I'm gonna do new things. Focus on like actual like fo focus on like developing RP and stuff. Right now I feel like I'm not really developing too much RP. Mm. I think tomorrow I'll be able to develop a fuck ton. But I will see you guys tomorrow. At 9 a.m. CST, the usual time. I hope you guys have a good day. Be sure to hit the follow button if you're new and join the Discord and hit the sub button. Getting your subs in is important. You know, I don't have to be live for you to sub. 
You can get you can get your subs in now. You know, you could get your subs in now. That'd be really nice. But I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one. I'll miss you. Bye. Oh, great American total eclipse with the gift sub before I leave. What a nice.